Today I'll be doing the first day challenge. This is a challenge inspired by the fact that the 20th year anniversary for Animal Crossing is coming up on September 16th, 2022. The challenge is going to be complete as much of the catalog, aka the game, as you can on the first day, uh, which is September 16th, 2002. Time will start at 6 a.m. Um, I was debating whether or not I should start at midnight or 6 a.m. because you know you could have a midnight release for Animal Crossing, but Animal Crossing days run from 6 a.m. on one day to 6 a.m. the next day. Um, from a viewing experience, it makes a lot more sense to start like at a normal person's starting schedule. Uh, <laughs> so 6 a.m. is going to be the time that we start. We'll only have one town. You are not allowed to use Nook codes and no e-reader cards. E-reader cards uh, were not released until October. Uh, Series 1 was released October in 2002. However, you absolutely can use the island because that was available on day one. And that's going to come into play, you'll see. Uh, but Nook's doesn't open until 9 a.m., so the first three hours are going to be basically, uh, well, you'll see. You'll see. Let's go ahead and get started. And, uh, and yeah, we'll get into this challenge. I'm excited for it. I am not planning on doing this in one sitting, <laughs> so don't worry about that. Uh, but I will pause time between each sittings and start at that same time the next time I stream. Sadly, I cannot stream for 24 hours straight at the moment. But anyways, starting off, we'll just get through the intro of the game. Nice and fun, nice and chill. I'm likely going to reset a handful of times. It's not exactly in the spirit of the challenge, as in you should just accept the first town you get, but it's going to make a very big difference. The town layout is going to make a very big difference. So, oh yeah, let's make sure I'm actually starting at 6 a.m. So 6.01, that's good enough. I got my Animal Crossing copy from GameStop, <laughs> or wherever, Walmart. I'm excited to play it. 6 in the morning, just opened. Oh yeah, I should actually name myself a normal name. That works for me. This is what I would name myself in 2002. So that's what I'd name myself now. Ooh, I didn't even think about a town name. Let's call it... Let's see, what should we call it? 24 hours. Sure, we'll go with that. I might change that if I have to reset my town and try again. Ooh, I can also select which eyes I want. So I'll do that. Oh, whoops. Well, those are not the eyes that I want. I'll just randomize my eyes, it's fine. <clears throat> oh, I should also adjust the uh, chat box. Make it fit a little better. Cool. That's good enough. There. That works. I might adjust it later. Anyways, the town layout that I'm looking for... Ideally, I get a bunch of villagers all close to each other, so that way when I run errands for them, I don't have to run around town. But more importantly, I need a peppy villager in the same acre with any other villager. Um, no, I need a cranky villager in the same acre as another, any other villager. Oh good, I got my favorite eyes. Uh, because cranky villagers have the highest output of furniture as the reward for just standard talking to them. And, uh, and in order to talk to them a bunch, I will need them to talk to another villager so that they are happy. So that they'll talk to each other, and then there's a chance the cranky villager will be happy, and then I can talk to them endlessly until they give me furniture. Or some other item. So, that is what I'm looking for in this town, and I will reset until I get it. So let's see. Uh, Hasu, thank you very much for the resub. 26 months, that's a long time. Thank you very much, Hasu. I greatly appreciate that. <clears throat> and the first Vasa. Is that right? So your birthday is on the 15th, and Animal Crossing was released the very next day. That's cool. Very cool. Well, if you were one of the lucky people, you could have gotten an early release of Animal Crossing on the 15th, on your birthday. <clears throat> I actually don't know how many people got an early release of Animal Crossing GameCube back in the day. But theoretically, I imagine some people did. Hmm. 
and you were two when the game came out. Very nice. So you were alive. Yeah, I played Super Mario 64 when I was two. Yeah. I think. I don't really care where Nook's shop is. A1 is perfectly fine. Oh yeah, I guess I could, um... Should screen cap. Oops. Ellie and Apollo. Well, that was easy. <laughs> oh, wait. Hold on. No, I don't think... I think Apollo was a jock. Dang it. I should really have had this pulled up and or memorized. Oh, he is cranky. Tybolt's the jock. Yes! All right, I got a town immediately first try. Uh, wow, that was very lucky. Okay, we're, we're good. We're good. <laughs> uh... <laughs> And they're all close to each other. Are you kidding me? This is a great town. This is... this. I could not have asked for much better of a starting town. Wow. All right, we got a great start. All right, so let's just go ahead and complete chores like normal. Wow, this is super lucky. Uh, the goal of the challenge is to complete as much of the catalog as possible. Within the first 24 hours of the game's release. So I did not even have to reset my town. I just immediately got the perfect starting town that one could get on the very first day Animal Crossing release for this challenge particularly. Wow. All right. I'm I uh, I am very thrilled. I actually started exactly when I wanted to. No resets. It doesn't get much more authentic than this. But yeah, when I refer to Animal Crossing, I'm referring to you know, GameCube Animal Crossing. The other games were, uh, like, the Japanese releases were Animal Forest, uh, translated from Dobutsu no Mori, of course. So Animal Crossing refers to Animal Crossing. All right. So we got Apollo. I didn't even see who Apollo was with, but they are already right next to each other. That doesn't really matter. There's Apollo. That worked out very well. And ironically, these chore times are actually going to be pretty good. <laughs> Even though I'm messing around a lot. <laughs> cool. So it's 6 a.m. I can complete chores, but the moment I do complete chores, I cannot re-enter Nooks until Nooks opens regularly at 9 a.m. Nice painting. Very cool. I can already donate something to the museum. <clears throat> and what's cool is my timer is actually going to be accurate. Oh, uh, should I care about where these flowers are planted? I don't think it matters. I guess I'll just, just for fun, I'll pretty up this acre, but it really doesn't matter. Um, you know, it... No, it really doesn't matter. Yeah, it really, it really does not matter. I'll just pretty up this acre for fun. Because I'll be in this acre a lot. Alright. These trees don't really... It doesn't really matter where they go because they're never going to grow or die. But I'll plant them over here for fun. We're having fun. I mean, obviously this is a speed run. Well, it's, a, it's not really a speed run, but I want to be as efficient as possible. So I don't want to waste too much time on details like that. But, uh, you know, it's nice to have a little fun. Anyways, this town's great. If Nooks was in A2, this would be a world record town, uh, potentially, for whatever category. But A1 is fine. Yeah, this is a great start. <clears throat> we'll get through the starting chore sequence, and then right after that, well, it'll be 6 a.m. Not much to do at 6 a.m. In fact, I'm not even going to complete chores for a while, but I do need to get to a point where I can uh, start actually doing errands for villagers. The reason why I'm not going to actually complete chores yet has nothing to do with the fact that I can enter nooks, but more of the fact that the default dialogue 
or uh, no, more of the fact that if I complete chores, villagers will now have a chance to roam around to other acres, and then I might not be able to find them very easily. So if I want to complete errands for them, well, before I complete chores, I, I'll know exactly where they are. So I'm not going to complete Nook's chores for the first three hours, but I do need to unlock the ability to actually run errands for villagers, which will happen um, very shortly. <clears throat> oh yeah, I should be I should start marking things. So I found the boxing mat. I got a boxing mat. Gotta write this letter to Ellie. Let's see what stationery I got. Oh yeah, duh, it's the same one. It's always that stationery. Whatever that one is. <clears throat> so that'll be in my catalog. And uh, I can mark that later. Or I could figure out what it is now and mark it now. So I also have an orange box. I also have a tape deck. Uh, let's see, what else do I got? I got the work uniform. I think I started with the Speedway shirt. Hey, what's up, Shiny Hunter? I really appreciate that, thank you. Um, no, it can't be the Speedway. Yeah, it can be the Speedway shirt. I'll check here in a second. All right, so I have now unlocked the ability to run errands for villagers, which I will do right now. Well, that's funny. Normally, I would be overjoyed that Apollo didn't want anything from me, but now I actually do. Oh yeah, I should also check to see if any of these villagers can have rare Gracie shirts. Uh, Tybalt doesn't. Alfonso doesn't. Apollo doesn't. Oh, this is gonna be this is gonna be great. All right, this is gonna be the uh, plan for quite a while now. What shirt did I get? I did have the Speedway shirt. I was correct. So now I'm actually gonna probably start annoying these villagers by talking to them a bunch. Uh, but we'll see. See how that goes. All right, I already got a piece of furniture. I want to collect as much furniture as I can, so that is a great start. But at the same time, I also want to get uh, stationary, because there's not a good way to get stationary. Oh yeah, Paul doesn't actually need anything. So this is going to be fairly fast-paced, with all these villagers being really close to each other. Exactly what I was going for. So yeah, first three hours is just going to be running errands for villagers. and uh, accumulating as much stuff as I can. Cool. <clears throat> so I also have, uh, what is the what is the wallpaper and carpet that I start with? I'll have to mark those as well. I think it's old flooring. Oh, and then Peanut is the other person. <clears throat> Do I have any items yet? No, I don't. Okay, um, I already have three things to deliver to people. <laughs> Hello. Here you go, Tybalt. I think my plan is I'll just check what items I get uh, as I get them. Far out shirt, at least for a while.
There we go, there's some stationery. Cool paper, I like it. Alright, Ellie's out of work for me. That's fine. Tybalt, you got anything? <coughs> nope. Tybalt's out of work. Well, we're gonna see how efficient this is gonna this is. And when all the villagers do run out of things to do, I guess I could go around and collect some money from the trees. Because money will be a factor later on for the island. This challenge got very interesting because of the fact that um, new, uh, new data, thanks to Kyler, has been uh, documented about what items are possible to get from which villager or from which islanders and their you know their moods and which uh, shovel you give them whether it's a golden shovel or a regular shovel and it is uh, very interesting there are a lot of items i didn't know were possible to get such as umbrellas and candy and mushrooms however you need a golden shovel for candy and mushrooms and umbrellas but umbrellas you can get with thousand bell bags and you can get um, island items with normal shovels, which I already knew that, but apparently you can also get NES games with normal shovels using uh, 30,000 bell bags. So there's, this is going to be very interesting. <clears throat> very interesting indeed. Blue pinstripe. Uh, but the island isn't going to come into play until I get the shovel later on. <clears throat> and since I'm not going to get the shovel until Nooks opens, uh, there's not a whole lot to do for the first three hours. Except for this. And I'm pretty sure... And I'm not, a, I'm not positive on this, but I'm pretty sure you're always going to have an errand that you can run for at least one villager. Not positive on that. We're gonna find out. Nice, more stationary. Yeah, anyways, hope everyone's doing well today. This is a fun challenge inspired by the fact that the 20th year anniversary for Animal Crossing is coming out in, uh, well, it's gonna happen like next month, basically. Uh, and, uh, and so, yeah, get an idea of what optimal Animal Crossing gameplay may look like if you knew exactly what you're doing the moment Animal Crossing was released. How optimal can you be? How much of the game can you complete in the first day? I think this is a fun challenge, and definitely in the spirit of, uh, of the 20 year anniversary coming up. I'm very curious to see exactly how much the game can be completed, because I actually don't have a good idea. Maybe, I, I don't know, I don't even know a, like, somewhat, like within even 10% of an estimate. And what's also interesting is the fact that um, you know, you could do this challenge more than once. You may get different results if you do it again, maybe with more optimal strategy. As opposed to the No Nooks challenge, where the the category is, like, solved. There is no time restraint on getting all the items, it's just how many can you get. Here, though, there, the time restraint will definitely come into play, and optimization for obtaining items is going to be very critical. Right, that was a lot of work for one errand. <clears throat> Hopefully it pays off. Yeah, 20 years. That's pretty crazy. 
T only 10 more years in the calendar until, well, until you can't play in the current year. At least not, unless you, uh, until, unless you turn off your GameCube. <laughs> or mods or hacks. Alright, so we got furniture for the reward. Oh wow, we got a fine painting. That will be two paintings already. <laughs> yeah, we can fix that. It's true. That will be a uh, a very good mod to uh, to work on for the next ten years. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking about that, Kyler. What do you think the best plan of attack is for things like the harvest, uh, like the harvest um, festival or the harvest moon festival? Where that's hard coded dates into the uh, into the code. Carpet, interesting. That's fine. Carpets are useful. Paul, you got anything for me yet? <clears throat> there we go. I remember testing this or running errands for villagers around town. See, see how fast they could do 100. This will definitely beat that time because of how close in proximity all these villagers are to each other. But I remember I never ran out of errands. There was always at least one errand I could do. Yeah, we could probably just put the algorithm. That's probably the way to, probably the best plan of attack. Also, I should um, save feng shui items, like red items. Especially red items. But yellow as well. That way I can max out my goods power to increase my ability to get rare items more easily. This is so, this is ridiculously efficient. <laughs> I love it. Ooh, give me the little, the uh, give me the big bro shirt. He did, he just gave me the big bro shirt. All right, I'm putting that on. <laughs> That's awesome. Give me that. Nice. <clears throat> if we're doing a big bro shirt speed run, 21 minutes. Is the record for that now? <laughs> Alright, I did not know what he asked me to do, but I will figure it out. <clears throat> oh, I'm starting to annoy Yuka. to Ellie. <clears throat> yeah, once I start really annoying Yuka, I'll have to like, I won't be able to talk to her for a little while. But I'll work around that. It's no big deal. Stationary is what I want the most. Neat. Oops. Hmm. 
I want red feng shui items and uh, stationery. I will deliver this to Yuka and then I'll check my reward from both of these. I think I can be a little more efficient instead of checking every single time. All right, Yuka's mad at me. That's fine. <clears throat> I will now drop off my stuff. I guess I'll drop it off here. Sure, why not? So I got a boxing match. Oh wait, is a birdcage a red feng shui item? A billiard table's green, I think. I mean, I can check. I have my item list pulled up. Hey, N. Scott. Good afternoon. It is a red feng shui item. Lucky me. Lucky me. Wow. I already got a red feng shui item. That's a fantastic start. <clears throat> cool. It's almost been 30 minutes already. Oops. All right, Alfonso. Yeah, it's too bad I can't talk to Yuka for a little while. <clears throat> Some nice stationery is perfect. Oh yeah, what was my stationery that I got? Misty paper and orange paper. Where'd he go? There you go. What? <clears throat> Alfonso. All right, I got my, I got my first 538 bells. Very nice. All right, Alfonso's out of work. Let's see if I can talk to Yuka yet, because I'm locked out of Peanut, Yuka, and Alfonso. Or no, Apollo right now. Okay, we're good. <clears throat> all good now, all good. Nice. All right, we're at 1%. 1%. Good start. <laughs> There's that squirrel. E ah. <laughs> That's funny. I like that. All 
All right, Peanut is out of errands. Alfonso's out of errands. Let's see if Yuka needs more stuff done yet. <clears throat> Good. It's officially been half an hour since I started a brand new town on September 16th, 2002. Sitting at 1% of the game completed, almost at 2%, I think. So far so good? Only 99% to go. Dang it. Peanut is still out of work, but Alfonso, I need to do something. Pick something up, I think. Oh no, deliver something. Alright, nice. <clears throat> what do we got here? I love these dialogues. <clears throat> nice, more furniture. Good. Yeah, I'm really curious to see what I'm going to end up uh, being at after the first three hours of this. Very curious. Nice, more stationary. Cool. Who am I delivering these clothes to? Oh. This guy, right here. 
<clears throat> you know, bells are not exactly what I want. But I guess I'll take it. Another shirt for Tybalt? Sure. Sure. Why not? <laughs> I really hope he doesn't give me the shirt off his back, because I already have that one. Okay, nice. Table tennis. Uh oh, Tybalt's starting to get annoyed. Is table tennis a feng shui item? But yeah, this is pretty much what I did on my very first day in Animal Crossing, is I just ran errands for villagers. That's pretty much what I did. <clears throat> so it's honestly a fitting way to start this challenge, is to do what most people did on their first day. And it happens to be optimal, for now. All right, all, all things point towards Apollo right now for my errands, that's funny. It is all tied up to Apollo. Good thing Apollo is not annoyed with me talking to him too much at the moment. <laughs> oh, Apollo's starting to get annoyed with me. No, stationary is perfect. Snowy paper. Once I'm at 10, I'm gonna put the uh, birdcage in my house. <clears throat> A thousand and thirty six bells. It's excessive. And not what I want. Alright, Tybalt's out of work. That's fine, because he is annoyed with me. Apollo's almost annoyed. Almost done talking to me. Let's see what he wants. See if he needs anything. Alright, he's out of work too. So, Ellie. What do you need? Uh-oh. Well, Tybalt is not on speaking terms with me right now, so I will deliver that uh, later. So Ellie's locked out for now. What about Yuka? What about these three down here? Yuka's out. Alright. <clears throat> oh, Alfonso, need anything? Nice. Perfect. <clears throat> Works for me. I can talk to Apollo one more time, I think, until he is done talking to me for a little while. <laughs> I 
What were the clothes she was wearing? It was like a red grid shirt, I think. I'll check after this. Alright, that worked out well. Good, good. <clears throat> Apollo's done. Tybalt's done for the next minute or two. <clears throat> nice, more stationary. Mystic paper. Dang, I already got... Yeah, it was a red grid shirt. First duplicate. Uh-oh. Alright, let's see. Can I go talk to Tybalt yet? <laughs> I got two deliveries for him, but he's mad at me for talking to him too much. I am too helpful of a person. Tybalt ha wants to have nothing to do with me right now. Tybalt, are you good now? Yes! Furniture, good. I'll take it. And we got another one. Botanical shirt and lovely table. Lovely table? Is that red? Oh, I hope it is. I'm gonna go ahead and put the red items in my house. Let me see if it is. No, it's not. But at least we got one. Birdcage. One red item. My goods power is slightly improved now. Oh, yeah. Billiards table is not as well. I don't really need the stationery for anything, but I do want to save everything else. say dig deep. <laughs> it's funny. So the goods power has now slightly improved for me and that will mean I will have a slightly improved odds of getting rarer stationary that I otherwise would not be able to get uh, very easily. So it should improve my odds of getting new stationery. Aha, panda paper. Uh oh, Ellie's starting to get annoyed with me. <clears throat> well, I can talk to her two more times until she's done talking to me for a while. All right, I have two things for Yuka. Works for me. I'm pretty sure there's a spider in this tree. Okay, or Yuke is just looking at the tree for absolutely no reason. <laughs> Don't know why she would decide to do that.
I know, Ellie, I know. I got a gift for you, though. No, I don't want money. All right, Apollo, you good now? Can I talk to you? Yep, all right, good. Okay, let's see. Am I at 2% yet? I am! 2% complete! Let's go! 2% done! Alright, not even been an hour. 45 minutes. Another reason to not complete Nook Chores for the errands is once you complete Nook Chores, um, the villagers will start requesting random things like bring me this rare exotic fruit, or bring me a ball, or a fruit, uh, or I mean, or a fish or a bug, among other things. And, but before you complete errands, they won't ask you any of those specialized tasks or errands. And, uh, and so you can just grind these out for an extended period, or like for as long as you want, really. So there's another reason to not complete chores quite yet. Classic bed. I think I have to talk to Tybalt for some reason. Yeah. Red scale shirt. I have both the scale shirts now, interesting. Hey, lucky GameCube. So are there plans to get harder to get items? Yes, this is going to ramp up very quickly. Whoops, uh-oh. This is gonna ramp up very quickly after 9 a.m. And the island is going to be uh, used extensively. In fact, there's some very interesting strategies that I'll implement. There is, there is a, I've discovered, or Kyler, with his uh, reverse engineering of all the Game Boy Island stuff, discovered a way to quickly max out an Islander's mood and very easily as well, without needing fruit. And that is going to come into play. No, I don't want money! <laughs> uh, but it'll come into play with money, so I guess in a way it's kind of helpful to get money now. Um, but we'll see. We'll see when that comes. It'll be after 9 a.m. And the reason why is because then I'll have access to the shovel. Uh, 
Uh, until then, there's the island is not really useful. Until you get uh, like one tool. The shovel's the best one for uh, efficiency, and conveniently, that is the only tool that is possible to get on day one, so it kind of works out well. The shovel is also useful for other things like, you know, the money rock. Alright, we got some more stationery. Can we get a tenth stationery? I actually think I'm already at ten. Yes, watermelon. Ten stationery. Uh-oh. Apollo, you need to stop requesting things from Tybalt. He's starting to get annoyed with me again. Yeah, this, this challenge is actually more fast-paced than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> I feel like I have no room to do anything besides complete errands as quickly as possible. <clears throat> Honestly, I don't really have a rough estimate of what I'm going to be able to uh, do in one day. Uh, I guess a very rough estimate. Anywhere between 30 to 60% is my estimate. <laughs> 60% I don't think is possible. I think 50% might be possible. Um, that's my estimate, but I could be completely off. I honestly could be. I think 30% is reasonable. We're going to find out, though, because I don't really know for sure. I honestly am not positive. And I'm very curious. Normally I have a decent estimate, but this time I don't. Alright, I'm going to see if Ellie's good to talk to yet. Yes. But she doesn't need anything. Of course not. Alright, Apollo's almost done uh, talking to me. So is Tybalt. So... I have to lay low from both of them for a, a minute. I could start collecting seashells to bring them up to nooks. I could. I'm trying to decide if that's efficient. Nice. Furniture is good. I want at least 40 pieces of furniture by 9. A raven pole. Interesting. Alright, Alfonso's out of work for now. Let's see if Peanut needs work. Dang it, that's unfortunate. Alright, uh, I have to lay low from a, both Apollo and Tybalt for a minute. <clears throat> what about Ellie? Need anything? Uh oh. Still doesn't need anything. Apollo is still annoyed, but I can talk to him like one more time. Hey, Cosmic. Oh, I will stay on the first day. There will be no time traveling. Yes. That, that is important to clarify. Absolutely. Nope, it'll just be the first 24 hours. Ooh, a Master Sword. That's a cool one. Alright, Apollo's done talking to me. Can I talk to Tybalt yet? Yes, I can. Okay, nice. Uh-oh. Uh, that's unfortunate. You sure? You sure, Tybalt? You sure you want me to go to Apollo? Yep, basically just do as much as I can in the first 24 hours of the game's release. That is correct. Uh-oh. Yuka wants me to go to Apollo as well. Well, that is very unfortunate. I am going to have to um, stop with 
errands for a minute. And uh, so I guess in that case, let me go... Well, I know what I can do. I have to clear out my house anyways for all the items in it. So, might as well do that now. Because I will use all of these items. Oh yeah, I have the college rule. I forgot about that. Orange box, tape deck. And I have a slate flooring and stone wall. So I got one of them right. <clears throat> Carpets and wallpapers will go here. The college rule is not useful at all. Orange box and tape deck will go here. All right, can I talk to Apollo yet? You good yet? <clears throat> uh, nope. Oh, I know what I can do. I know exactly what I can do. <clears throat> Who should I... I need to get through my birthday dialogue. And I need to wait for Apollo anyway, so I'll do that with Alfonso. I need to get through this dialogue because at some point I'm going to grind out for a bunch of carpets and wallpapers. Or am I? Yeah, I guess I will. I'll try to. At some point, after completing chores, it'll. I'm hoping I will get one of my snooty villagers to go into an acre with another villager. That way I can implement um, carpet and wallpaper a nook carpet and wallpaper uh, operation. Operation carpet and wallpaper, <laughs> where I go for that rare dialogue where I trade item items endlessly with the snooty villager for like an hour to get all the carpets and wallpapers, as well as several furniture items. That will significantly improve my uh, catalog collection, specifically wallpapers and carpets. So I need to save up a bunch of, I need to just save everything. I don't want to sell anything except for stationery. However, I can use stationery to um, improve my my friendship with the snooty villager. However, I'm probably already doing that by completing all these uh, quests or errands for them. No, I'm not going to be streaming for 24 hours straight. I don't have the time to do that. Um, but my plan is once I'm done for the day, I'll just save and quit, record the time, and then start at that time uh, next time I stream. Now, if I was doing a 24-hour uh, challenge, like a 24-hour streaming challenge, I would uh, I would hype it up a little more than just casually be like, oh, by the way, I'm going to stream for 24 hours straight. <laughs> All right, here we go. Oh, wait. Uh, does this map does this matter? Might as well try it. Why not? September 17th. I don't I actually don't know. We're gonna find out. That is not my birthday. But maybe I'll get a birthday cake. Alright, let's see if that was enough for Apollo to not be mad at me uh, for talking to him too much anymore. Let's see if enough time has passed. Apollo! Nope. That was not. Alright, that's unfortunate. I was hoping it would be enough time. It has been one hour. It is officially 7 a.m. One hour since we've owned Animal Crossing GameCube. What a great game this is. I'm having a great time. 
The day is just starting off. I'm excited for the next 23 hours. But two more hours until Nook's open, so we'll keep doing this. And get money. Not a lot of it either. <clears throat> I should be able to talk to Apollo soon. I guess worst case scenario is I just have Ellie and Apollo talk to each other until Apollo's happy. Since that is an option I can do. I think I'm going to go for that. Alright, Ellie's mad. Neutral. That, that's a, a, that'll make him happy. What? Really? Interesting. I thought that was guaranteed both villagers were happy if they changed into a Able Sister shirt. Huh. It might have something to do with which personalities are talking to each other. Apollo is not happy. <laughs> Apollo, <laughs> Apollo, please. Apollo is not once. There we go. Great, that's all I needed. Finally, something new. I feel like it's been a while. I guess it has been a while. Alright, what do we get? Okay. Why not? I'll take a carpet, I guess. Plush carpet, the very first one. Peanut, do you need anything yet? Nice. stationary is exactly what I was hoping for. Elegant paper. Oops. I wasted one conversation with Tyball. My bad. <clears throat> okay. Alfonso needs... Or I need to talk to Alfonso. He has something. For someone. I forget who. You lent it to Apollo, did ya? Did it have to be Apollo? I'm not on speaking terms with that bird right now. Yes, I am on speaking terms with him again. Perfect. I'm on speaking terms with everyone again. That is very good. Furniture is good. Office desk, cool. Mm. 
Dang, now that Apollo's on speaking terms again, he doesn't need anything from me. Of course not. Hey, Tetra. Good to see you. That's cool. You're pet sitting a bunny. Interesting. What a what a good life that bunny has, it sounds like. Very nice. Well, that'll be fun to pet sit a bunny. <laughs> Can't imagine that takes too much effort. Very nice. Very easy job right there. Alright, Peanut is out of work for now. Wow, you're getting paid well to pet sit a bunny? What exactly do you even have to do? Just have to look at it? Make sure it's... I don't know. Alive? <laughs> Very nice. Rainbow paper. Three percent! Let's go! Three percent done in an hour and a few minutes. That's adorable. Wait, so the bunny has free roam? Free range of access to the entire apartment? I thought you meant it had like a giant cage that it lived in, like most bunnies. Or is it like every now and then you let it out? Gotcha. Very nice, that's fun. Oh my goodness. Uh, how long of a of a uh, of an errand train is this? Oh my god. Tybalt, Yuka, Apollo, Peanut. Okay, this is this is gonna be a furniture reward. I I can feel it. However, I don't really care too much about that. I just want it to be quick. Where did this squirrel go? There it is. I'd be curious if anyone else tried this challenge to uh, see w see what kind of uh, see how much of the catalog they can complete. I think I have a very very lucky starting town. I know I do. So this is a great start. Ooh, wallpaper! First wallpaper reward. Ban a wall. Nice. I'll take it. Obviously, I have a plan to get a ton of wallpaper later, but that is excellent. Now, I was also thinking, if this challenge goes really well, what about uh, the day two challenge, continuing this challenge for the second day? We'll see. We'll see if that will uh, be interesting or not. Could be. Optical shirt. All right, shirt for Alfonso. I'm so glad the one shirt. I actually know I've gotten two shirts off the villagers' backs, but Alfonso gave me his big bro shirt. That was such a great reward. All right, more furniture, nice. What do we get? Min at work sign. That is a feng shui item. Next time I 
drop off some furniture in my house, I will definitely put that in my house to slightly improve my goods power. I will take it. Absolutely, I'll take that. Good. A G logo will be the best reward, furniture-wise. So hopefully I get one of those at some point. I also have not decided if I want to allow glitches or not. What do you guys think? Do you think glitches should be allowed? Let me know your thoughts. I haven't done any. And I haven't decided if they should or should not be allowed. There are useful glitches to answer the question. Uh, if it's useful or not. Stationery is great. What do we get here? Maple leaf paper. Nice. I am personally leaning towards no glitches, just for the spirit of the challenge, but I wanted to get your guys' input. So you're down for uh, glitches. How glitchy are we talking? <laughs> well, the thing is, in my opinion, if one glitch is allowed, every glitch is allowed. That's my, that's my opinion. Lunar Rover. Nice. I have to admit, this is going pretty well so far. 19 pieces of furniture. I wanted to be at 40 by 3 hours. I think I'm going to be at that by 2 hours. At this rate. That's great. Try no glitches. Thank you for the input. And thank you for the good luck. I'm leaning towards that as well. Uh, I'm definitely also leaning towards that. The thing is, is that the glitch that would be most useful would be duplicating items. So that way I can get money for free, basically. That would be the main benefit of glitches. Duplicating items, whether it's through um, island item duplication using the island or through walking on tables glitch either of those uh, whether or not you or you could also call them programming oversights but regardless they are probably not intended by the developers so um, either way I'm gonna tr I think I agree I'm gonna try to not do any of these oversights slash glitches I think that's what I'm, I'm leaning towards that, but I wanted to hear your guys' inputs. Um, yeah, if you guys have, if anyone else has any input, let me know what you think. I can, I'm only allowed to do glitches that were known in September of 2002. Well, what if I hadn't, I did not play Animal Crossing in September 2002. Things might have been different if I did. Maybe I would have discovered glitches. <laughs> inputs, no duping, sounds good. I also agree. Cool. I'm gonna I'm gonna go for that then. I think I think that that's that's really all I needed to be convinced was uh, no glitches, no duping, no glitches. Essay paper. Nice. Whoops. Hey, Jeezy Fuse. It, it has it been a while? I guess it has been a while. How are you doing? See, but the thing is, Neo Discovery, is that it's possible the island duplication glitch was discovered on day one. Like, it is quite, quite uh, certainly possible that that was uh, the case. Because it was such an easy exploit.
to figure out. Sounds good, GZ. Best of luck. Especially for E+, plus with how difficult the fishing uh, catch timing is. But yeah. Always a lot of fun to speedrun this game. Considering I love speedrunning this game as well. Alright, we got a train set. That's a big green item right there. Okay, so we got two more feng shui items. Nice. Let me go drop those off in the house, improve my goods power by two more points. Where is that? There it is. Orange. Uh, corn plant. We'll go... Yeah, I'll go in this corner for now, I guess. I mean, I could also put the train set for now. If I really... I might as well. I can replace it later. It's probably not going to be long until I need to replace it, but... Here we are. There we go. Goods power has been increased. Three points, so now it's at five points. Oh, uh, that's a <laughs> that's for uh, Alfonso. Yeah, I I mean yeah, skipping chores is nice for speedruns. There's there's just no doubt about it. <clears throat> Okay, who, this is for Alfonso, yeah. Alright, carrying on, an hour 15. I think I'm at 50. 54, yes. 54 items already. Very nice. Oh my god. Alfonso, stop giving me the shirt that you were wearing. Uh, unless it's good. A noble shirt, fine. Alright, does this squirrel need anything yet? Yes. Why is this town so good for this challenge? How did I get, like, the literal perfect starting town for this challenge? How? It's not quite literally perfect. If Yuka was in the same acre as another villager, it would have been perfect. But it's pretty dang close to perfect. Am I playing on a Wii? That's an excellent question, and one that doesn't really matter. <laughs> I have both a Wii and a GameCube. Uh, the Wii did not exist yet, so uh, yeah, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> I could be playing on a GameCube, I could be playing on a Wii. I do have both. Maybe I'm playing on a Wii, maybe I'm playing on a GameCube. You know, it doesn't, it doesn't, it's not really that important of information. It doesn't affect anything. <laughs> uh, but I do speedrun on my, on the Wii because it's faster for saving and loading. Speaking of which, I probably should save. Because if my, if my power just went out now, that'd be very unfortunate. I should probably save, like, every hour. I can just save and continue. I'll do that next time I run back up. Yeah, even if like my even like after I save and continue and my power were, were to for some randomly re random reason go out later, then uh, it wouldn't be as bad because I'd still have my town. But if I lost this town, I'd be quite sad. So I should probably go save. Oh, I'm not emulating. I'm play. I am playing on the Wii. Uh, I'm playing. You know, everything is Nintendo official. But uh, I honestly, I was just too lazy to uh, set up my GameCube, since the Wii was already set up. It was just more of the fact that the Wii didn't exist in 2002, and I'm, but I'm playing on it. I could have set up my GameCube to play on the GameCube, but I was just too lazy. It doesn't really make a difference for the, uh, <laughs> uh, like, anything for the challenge. 
Gamers did not save in 2002. That's true. I do have a YouTube channel. Same name. Brian and P16. You know what? I'll make up for it. My town is going to save about five seconds faster on the Wii versus the GameCube. I'll wait five extra seconds just to make up for that time difference. All right, we're good. This is fun. I could honestly just run errands for villagers for 24 hours and not get bored. I don't know why I love running errands for villagers so much, but I do. What are your guys' thoughts? Do you like running errands for villagers? Yes, I am the person that completed Animal or that completed a uh, 100% Animal Crossing uh, first ever legitimately. That is correct. Yep, and I made the video on it earlier in the year. Alright, we got more stationery. More mystic paper. That's funny that I got more mystic paper because... Uh, whoops. Because that is the only duplicate item I've received already, and I've gotten a third copy of it. It's always been your favorite thing to do. Yep. Same. I don't know if it's my favorite thing to do, but it's been one of my favorite things to do. It's up there. Top three favorite things to do in this game. I do enjoy fishing. Science table. Cool. You seen my video? Awesome. What'd you think? Interesting, right? I still can't believe I got the three different bit flips that occurred in my town. Probably, possibly I got more, but one, two of them were, uh, were like, they mattered. And one of them was irrelevant. But uh, yeah, pretty crazy. Good times, 100% Animal Crossing. At some point in the future, it would be fun to do it in real time. I don't know how much of it I'd stream, though. But yeah, so when I say real time, I mean no time traveling. I only did that because it was... Oh my god, Apollo... Alfonso keeps giving me the shirt off his back. <laughs> the only reason why I did that is just because it was easier to document it and to stream it for you guys. Not even easier, but practical. It would be fun to, at some point, do it uh, in real time, though. Absolutely. Best console, Wii or GameCube, uh, depends on the application. Honeybee paper. I'm starting to get some duplicate stationery. That's alright, I knew it was going to happen. It was inevitable. Uh, yeah, it doesn't really matter to me. Uh, I personally prefer the GameCube. But the Wii is... I'll tell you why I prefer the GameCube. The Wii is... Uh, is more easily corrupts 1019 block memory cards. <clears throat> Don't know why, but it does. And it terrifies me, because I don't want to keep buying more of them to speedrun. However, the Wii is faster for saving and loading, so it is more efficient to play on the Wii for speedruns. 
I also prefer the GameCube's uh, user interface, the, uh, the like you know where you change the time and memory card management. I do prefer that. So honestly, I prefer the GameCube for almost everything but speedrunning. And the startup sound. Kyler is absolutely correct about that as well. <laughs> Citrus wall. How do GameCube memory cards work? What do you mean? Uh, like how, how detailed of an explanation are you looking for? They save data to uh, just like like any other chip. Using Nintendo's proprietary saving software mechanism. However, I'm sure it's been reverse engineered, so it's uh, publicly known. Uh-oh, Yuka's mad at me. Well, I guess I can't talk to Yuka for a while. Cool. Oh my goodness. I'm locked behind Yuka now. Wait, how far of a train is this? How many villagers are locked now? Oh my god. Tybalt, Peanut, Alfonso, and Yuka are all locked behind Yuka at the moment, who doesn't want to talk to me. How do memory cards get corrupted? Um, yeah, how do they? I guess it just damages the, the memory card in some way. I don't know exactly the, like, the hardware reasoning for the memory cards getting corrupted, but it's possible for the hardware, or for the memory card to get corrupted only for saving Animal Crossing, but not other games. And I have a memory card like that. So... That is a good question. I don't know the exact hardware mechanism for why that happens, but it I think it has to do with like the Wii being too hot when it saves the game. Um, and this is a specifically a problem for the 1019 block memory card. But yeah, Kyler can happen for a multitude of reasons, yeah. Yeah, it sucks, it, yeah. Uh, it is a problem, absolutely. I do not recommend saving a town that you intend on wanting to keep for a long period of time on a 1019 block memory card if you're playing with the Wii. Because it is a risk, it's a gamble. Uh, like, every single time you save and quit. <laughs> Best type of memory card is the 59 block memory card for Animal Crossing. Uh, as far as not getting a corrupted town easily, the 256 block memory card is also should just should be just as fine as well. But 59 block, I've never had an issue with corruption on it. Nice, more new paper. <clears throat> Jumping jackrabbits, that's my organizer. <laughs> I love it. Nice, more furniture. Green lamp. There we go. There's a new green item. I'm going to go immediately replace the train set with it because I know that uh, this thing is just going to be in the way. <laughs> I'm something. <laughs> Indeed. Alright. 
Back to Apollo. So we're about halfway through the first part of this challenge. Once nine o'clock rolls around, it'll be time for the second part of the challenge, which will be the island. But we still got another hour and a half of delivering or running errands. I was hoping to be closer to 30 furniture um, in like 10 minutes, but I haven't gotten furniture for a while. Hopefully I get some more. There we go. Cabin couch, isn't that red? Let me check. Oh, it's not. Dang it. I think the cabin dresser is red. Not the cabin couch. Oh, no, no, it's not red. Not even. Oh. Oh. Paulo didn't like wearing his original shirt. That's too bad. Oh, my goodness. Apollo, please. <laughs> Nice, more furniture. There we go. Yuka is probably good to talk to again. So, once I head back down, I will do that. <clears throat> Well, I'm talking to Tybalt and Ellie a lot, so they're probably going to start getting annoyed with me soon. Interesting that I was at one wallpaper when I had three carpets, and now I'm at four wallpapers with three carpets. Very interesting indeed. 
All right, I'm gonna go try talking to Yuka again. I think enough time has passed. <clears throat> Hopefully. Come on, Yuka. Nice. Nice, more furniture. Good. All right, now we're back to the pace I was hoping to be at for furniture. Four percent, sixty nine items. Nice. Hour and a half in. Whoops, I forgot to deliver the Game Boy to Apollo. My bad. Yes, that is correct. You can use GCMM on a homebrewed Wii to save memory card data to an SD card or to a USB card or a USB drive. Uh, nope, you cannot do that. You, the Wii is just going to get hot. There's not really much you can do about that. It is what it is. If there was a way to do it, I don't know how.
All right, Apollo is on <laughs> uh, no speaking terms with me at the moment. Uh, Tybalt's almost at that point as well. Great. What in the world is going on? <laughs> That's funny. What do you mean, what do you recommend me do? Or what do you mean, what do you recommend for your town? Just save it like normal? <clears throat> the, uh, Animal Crossing is only going to read from your memory card, so you got to save it to your memory card. Hey, Snow Bear. Yeah, uh, when they're mad, it's just because I talk to them too much. You have to just not talk to them for a few minutes, and then you can talk to them again. All right, I have four villagers locked behind Apollo, who is on no speaking terms with me right now. Very cool, very cool. Oh, right. Uh, yeah, all right, maybe five. I forget, is Alfonso locked behind Apollo at the moment? Uh, Alfonso's almost also annoyed with me. Oh my God. Everyone! I'm locked behind everyone! I can't talk to anyone! <laughs> it's all locked behind Apollo! Well, on the bright side, I can- I do have this. Get them- uh, get Ellie and Apollo to talk to each other. Oh, that's a happy Apollo right there. Now I can talk to him. Nice! I'm gonna get a free item. And I have to pay money for it. I got another minute work sign. Great, yay! <laughs> Which I already have. That's alright. I can go drop it off in my house later. Yeah, I appreciate that, Snow Bear. It is good to stream again. Alright, we are no longer locked behind Apollo. For now. <clears throat> Is Croton red? No, it's green. Even though it is red. <laughs> Alright, cool. That's another feng shui item. However, I really only need three green feng shui items, assuming I have four red ones. But, nevertheless, I'll save it for now. Alright, Tybalt no longer wants to talk to me for now, I'm pretty sure. Yoko figurine. Cool. But I can talk to Yuka now, I think. Yuka didn't even remind me who I needed to talk to. She's like, hey, you gotta you gotta do something for me. Oh, right. Alright. 5% by the way. 5% done. 1 20th done with the entire game. Very nice. 
Oh, Apollo wants to talk again. Oh, it's to Tybalt. Right. Alright, well, since he's happy, I can get free stuff. Yeah, I got three... I got three quests behind Tybalt right now. Come on, give me free stuff, Apollo. You know you want to. He, that was a waste of time, but that's alright. Oh my god. I think everyone is locked behind Tybalt now. Alright, let me see if I can go talk to him. Yeah, cool. Alright, uh, I do have to go to the bathroom, so I guess now seems like a good time. <laughs> You're back. Alright, I'm back. Probably not enough time has passed, so I'm gonna also have a snack. Alright, let's go check. Bummer. Well, let's see. What can I be doing that is currently useful? Hmm. How much money do I have? 5,000 bells. I am going to need money, so I might as well start collecting seashells. I'll bring some valuable seashells up to Nooks for money. Nice. Nice. That's a lot of money right there. 
All right, excellent start with shells. Wow. Cap'n's ready for me. Yep, I'm, I'll be ready for Cap'n once I have a shovel. All right, that's enough shells. Hopefully by this point, Tybalt's no longer mad at me. Unfortunately, every single villager got locked behind Tybalt being mad at me. Um, <laughs> which I knew was probably gonna eventually happen, but I just gotta wait. Oh, I could also go to the police station and get the furniture and shirts there. Well, I'm going to at some point, but I could do that now is what I'm saying. I also might as well continue more of the Nook uh, chore sequence since I am in the area. And Tybalt's probably still mad at me. I just don't want to complete chores yet, but I can keep going with the chores, you know, with the chores uh, currently. I did help out some villagers. <laughs> I was gonna laugh so hard if Tom Nook was like, take this carpet to Tybalt. Eighteen mat to Tommy, very nice. All right, Tybalt should be good now. Better be. Where'd he go? Yep. Took your sweet time. Yeah, it's your fault. <laughs> Jade, I can't see. Gold Econo chair and birdhouse. Finally run errands for all the villagers again. Yay.
I forgot those three things from Tybal, not two. That makes sense. Oh my god. How many things do I need from Yuka? Is it two now? <laughs> or is it three? No, wait, I need something from Alfonso. It might be Yuka's delivery. Really? Whatever, I'm just going to Yuka. Why are these errands ridiculously complicated? Where'd that elephant go? There she is. <clears throat> wow, a videotape from Yuka to Ellie, and a videotape from Ellie to Yuka. That is funny, and 500 bells, great. All that hard work. Exchanging videotapes, I see, Yuka. Interesting. What's on these videotapes? Okay, good. I was gonna be so mad if Yuka also gave me money. A bear pole? That's three poles. <laughs> the only other... I'm gonna get the fourth pole, probably, because it's a uh, red item, which I'll get on the island later, most likely. That's, that's ridiculously unlikely. Well, would you look at that, says Alfonso. I already have that shirt. Alright, first duplicate shirt. Bummer. <clears throat> Almost at two hours. Come on, Yuka. I could use some more stationery. No. Alright, Yuka's out of work. Alfonso's out of work. That's fine. Let's see what else we got. Tybalt, what do you need? Eight AM One hour until Nooks opens. One hour until the shovel. I'm excited. Ellie's out of work. Apollo, you need anything? Nothing? Uh oh. So, Tybalt, what you got? Really? So, Alfonso, what do you need? <laughs> <clears throat> really? Peanut? I think you're the last contender for needing a quest. 
Okay, good. Okay, more furniture, cool. Slot machine, interesting. <clears throat> Okay, all the villagers have run out of quests for me. One more check with Alfonso. Okay, good. Alfonso found something for me to do. Good, good, good. Oh my god. Now Yuka's annoyed with me. Great. Okay, well, in that case, I'm going to continue the Nook quests or chores. But I don't want to finish it. Not yet. Not quite yet. Very close, though. Well, one hour. Oh, I could send some letters off to villagers. I should do that before 9 a.m. Because I think I'll get a response by 5 p.m. That gets more stationary that way. Yes. Yes, indeed. I should do that. I think that will work. Oh my god. Alfonso, that was a waste of time. Nice shirt. Look, it blends in. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot about that. That's actually really funny. All right, Ellie, what else you got for me? Cool. Overmuch. I don't think that's a word. Toilet. Thanks, Ellie. How considerate. See if Tybalt needs anything yet. Oh, I know. Um, he's locked behind Yuka. Never mind.
Well, at least it's a new shirt. What was it? The sharp print or whatever? Subdued print. Oh my god. Ellie and Alfonso are exchanging things. Over and over. shirt. Oh, wait. Uh, it might not have been the right shirt. Yeah. Alright. Locked behind Yuka again. Uh, hopefully, I'm in speaking terms with her. Come on, Yuka. Yes. Do you have a 1019 block memory card, Wii U lover? Is that what your uh, town is saved on? Yeah, if you have a 1019 block memory card and you're playing on the Wii, you run a risk of your town getting corrupted. Absolutely. There's nothing you can do. It's not like you can just put your Wii in a cooler. It's the internal... It, it'll... There's a variety of reasons of why it might corrupt your memory card. Um, overheating is only one of them. I highly recommend uh, either playing on the GameCube or transferring your save data to GC through GCMM to the SD card and then you can restore it to a smaller block memory card. Otherwise, you absolutely do run a risk of your town getting corrupted. It's not guaranteed. It might be months, even years until it does, but it is 
it is absolutely a risk. Absolutely. I personally have had two 1019 block memory cards corrupt on me. I have also bought 1019 block memory cards from eBay that were already corrupted and I could not save my town data on them. So yes, it is a real danger. Absolutely. Doesn't mean it's going to happen now, instantly, but yes, it, it does run a, a risk. <clears throat> but I also went five years without my 1019 block memory card corrupting on me on my Wii for one of them, and then I went like a month for another one. So you know that it, it's uh yeah, it could happen any time really. There's not really anything you can do about it. Painter's smock. Neat. I am not doing a 24-hour stream. <laughs> I am, uh, I will split this into uh, multiple segments. Dang it. There. Hey, Trey. Yeah, this is a very interesting challenge. Absolutely. And even though it's 24 hours, it's still somewhat fast-paced. Because there's a lot you can do, even in the first 24 hours. I don't advise putting your Wii in a cooler. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what kind of side effects that may have. <laughs> I have attempted this challenge before, but I only went like four hours until I stopped. Um, and I started at midnight as opposed to starting at at uh, at nine or at six a.m. So, as far as I'm aware, yes, this is the first time someone has actually like attempted. Oops. Uh, attempted this challenge with the intention of playing 24 hours straight. In my case, it'll just be I will resume at the time that I stopped in game. Where am I delivering this to? Alfonso. Okay. <clears throat> I would be curious if other people attempted it. What kind of uh, what kind of like percentage completion they were able to achieve? Yeah, we have about forty-five minutes until Island Mayhem. I'm excited for it. Chevron shirt, cool. Yeah, I've already got the Misty shirt. I, it's, I think it's my third Misty shirt. Or wait, have I? I've gotten Misty stationary. Oh, you're right. All right, I have both both things that start with the word Misty now. Good catch, Snow Bear. Good catch. Now, obviously, I had it, and it would have counted towards my catalog later. Um, but it would have probably caused me some confusion. It's like, whoa, I'm missing something. So, thank you very much. All right, let's get some more stationary. I want to, I want to get some more stationary. Yeah, there we go, Tybalt. We're thinking on the same lines now. What do you got? What do you got for me? Polka dot. I love it. Perfect. Nineteen stationaries already. <clears throat> now I don't know if playing Animal Crossing through the USB loader uh, on the Wii will make any difference for potential corruption for a 1019 block memory card? I could not tell you that. Hmm. 
it might make a difference, but I don't think, I don't see why it would. The goal is to complete as much of the catalog as I can. It's impossible to complete the entire catalog in the first 24 hours. You know, there's events and holidays that occur throughout the entire year. But I can absolutely complete a lot of the catalog in the first 24 hours. It is impossible to get the net and the rod in the first 24 hours, assuming you start at 6 a.m. Because Nook's items will not reshuffle or will not uh, regenerate to something new until the second day. You can only start off with the shovel on the first day, but it's interesting because if you, on the second day, you could potentially get both the rod and the net, but it's not guaranteed. You might get another sho uh, another shovel, for example. Odds are you will get a second shovel instead of a net and a rod. Additionally, if you spend and sell too much to Nooks on the first day, Nooks will immediately upgrade on the second day, meaning you'll be out of luck getting a, uh, a rod and net on the second day. So if I ever want to extend this challenge into a second, like into day two challenge, um, I'll definitely want to keep that in mind. Pair wardrobe. No way, Ellie wants me to bring a big bro shirt to Alfonso. That's his default starting shirt. I don't know if I've ever seen that before. <laughs> Where a villager is like, hey, could you take this shirt to this villager? And it's their uh, default original shirt. Nice, more furniture. Daffodil table. Pretty sure that's yellow. Let me double check. No, it's not. It's nothing. Animal Crossing will not save the game directly to the USB. Um, but it will... Ah, look at this balloon. Uh, but it will... Uh, or you can save your memory card... Or you can save your memory card to a USB via GCMM. Alright, let's see if I can get this balloon. Uh, shake that tree. Nope. All right. Oh. All right. Other side of the lake. Come on. Where is this bridge? There it is. Come on. There's got to be a tree somewhere along this path. Uh, maybe this peach tree as well. No, not that one. Ooh. There is. There's hope. No, it's gonna it's gonna go right through these two trees, isn't it? Come on. Any of these trees? Dang it. Rest in peace, balloon. Not the end of the world, but would have been cool. <clears throat> Back to Aaron's. Now, if I'm considering con extending this challenge for the future, I should go for a perfect town. It would take about 10 minutes, but uh, maybe a little longer. Oh my goodness. Uh, these two interacting with each other over and over again is uh, costing me time. Hello. 
6%. I'm almost at 100 items already. That's exciting. 100 items. Where I think 5 of them were... No, 6 of them were from... Were, no, 8 of them were from Nooks slash my house. So I have gotten 86 unique items from running errands for villagers. No, you cannot... Uh, can you save Animal Crossing on the Wii's internal memory? It will uh, It will not do that, no. It will only save to a GameCube memory card. If it was a game for the Wii, then yes. Like City Folk, for example, will save to the internal Wii's memory, but not no GameCube game will do that. I got it. Paulo's shirt. What was he wearing? Houndstooth tee. Works for me. Alright, I gotta remember to write some letters to villagers before, or in the next 30 minutes or so. Well, wow, it's already 5 o'clock my time. I'm just having so much fun, I did not even realize how much time has passed already. Cool. Nice, more stationary. Come on, please be new. I want to at least get 20. Yes! win. <laughs> 20 stationaries. Very nice. I'm hoping to get at least half of the possible stationaries by the end of this first day. Jade. Hey, get off my keyboard. <laughs> okay, everything's good, right? Okay, we're good. Parlor wall. Very nice. Where's that elephant? Where did- where is she? There she is. Nice. Huh. 
Uh, Apollo looked like he was looking into that tree, but there was a tiger butterfly, so there was another bug in the acre, which means there could not have been a spider. So it was, I don't know, coincidence. I, Wii U lover, I don't recommend opening up your Wii <laughs> and leaving it like that. Dude, I do not recommend that. more furniture. Almost at 40. I did I was not paying attention to what Tybalt won. That's fine, I'll figure it out. Why not just leave your Wii case open? Because it's gonna accumulate dust uh, as well as I don't know. You risk damaging your Wii significantly more if the case is exposed. <laughs> Dust is fairly minor compared to what could theoret what could happen, just like anything really. Dust is pretty gross, yep. Yeah. And it's still not good. If you do plan on leaving your Wii case off, I highly recommend making sure it's in a very safe place and you have an air can to, uh, uh, to, you know, get rid of the dust from time to time. And make sure you know what you're doing. The air duster cans can create water or condensation. You definitely don't want to spray that into your Wii. So you definitely want to know how to use an air duster. Alright, well, Apollo is now giving me more clothes he was wearing. Let's see what they were. I already have that. Dang it. I'm gonna start writing some letters. Whoops. Perfect letter. Ellie's gonna love it. Uh, I definitely wanna send one to Yuka. That's enough with nice letters. Ah, that should be good. Cool. 
I'll make sure to send those off in the next 20 minutes. Seven percent, 100 items. Let's go. If I get eight more unique items from these uh, quests, I'll have gotten 100 unique item unique items specifically from villager quests. That's a great start. It's not a G logo, but it is a new item nevertheless. Nice. Seven more items until I have 100 unique items from villager quests within three hours. That's pretty cool. Okay, none of the villagers in the lower acres need any need me to do anything right now. That's too bad. Hopefully these villagers up here do need something from me. 8.32 a.m. Thank you, Tybalt. Less than 30 minutes remain until phase two of the challenge. Nice. That is a fall shirt. Cool. Five more items. 8.33 a.m. I think I can handle this. Do not give me the shirt off your back. I already have a red tie-dye. Okay, good. 40 furniture. Well, assuming it's new. It's not new. Are you kidding me? I already... That's the one cabin item I already have. Dang. Well, rip. I will use it for the island, though. It will still be useful. Nice. These are good errands right here. Okay, more wallpaper. Sure. I already have that wallpaper. Dang. It's getting rough. I'm also, that's also just bad luck. Four more unique items till 100. Best way to play GameCube games in HDMI is to get an, uh, an HDMI adapter or 
Um, yeah, that's, that's probably the best way. There are other ways. You need an original uh, GameCube as well. Ooh, a Jade Econo chair. Jade! Where'd she go? I kicked her off earlier because she was stepping on my keyboard. But I found her chair. Right. And I got my 40 pieces of furniture. That's what I was aiming for by the end of the first three hours. So I am definitely ahead of schedule. I have very good villager layout. I'm definitely going to get more. And I've gotten a few duplicates as well, so it's actually more than 40. Uh oh, Tybalt's getting annoyed with me again. Nice, more stationary. Dainty paper, I already have that, Tybalt. Come on now. See if Yuka needs anything. Nice. A balloon, and it got caught. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That was very lucky. What do we get? I already have that. How do I already have that? Are you kidding me? So, all right, well, uh, whatever's the eagle pull, that's my rare list. My rare list is item list A. Cool. That's crazy I already got that. Fine painting? I already have a fine painting. Well, I can go donate that one, I guess. Why not? Well, I don't see why I would. Uh, I guess that technically counts for the museum. Oh, it automatically counts it. Alright, cool. Three more things until I've gotten 100 unique items from village requests. I think I'll make it. I better. Oh, my God. 
What? What? What is happening? Uh... What? Well, so much for glitchless. <laughs> what? What the heck was that? I've never seen that before. Uh... Huh. That was weird. Has anyone ever seen that happen before? The shirt changed back and forth, and the palette changed as well. That was so weird. Uh, huh. Why did that happen? That was so random. Will it happen again? Guess we'll find out. Okay. Surely that wasn't a bit flip. Well, no, because it's going back and forth. That's so weird. What the heck? I'm not playing on an emulator. This is all Nintendo official. Never seen that. Very interesting. Anyways, two new items. Two more items fill 100. One more. Modern table, yeah. That's a two by one table. I can now officially do some glitches if I wanted. <laughs> I already did a glitch, apparently. Well, I'm gonna go back and talk to Ellie and see if that happens again. It was switching between the Fortune shirt and the Mario Bros shirt, and now her shirt is back to that shirt. That's so weird. I don't know what the heck was going on. She was wearing the fortune shirt, which is what Apollo was wearing. But then it changed the big bro shirt, but the palette was wrong. And the palette switched between two different palettes. And now she's back to wearing her original red grid shirt. And I have no idea why that happened. <laughs> huh. Animal Crossing just, it just, just a game that keeps on giving. Anyways, I think that's the 100th new item from Villager Quests in under three hours. In fact, 15 minutes to spare. Very cool. Ellie's starting to get annoyed with me. It's fine. She's out of work anyways. Paula, what about you? Also out of work. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and deliver these letters in the mail. And then maybe the villagers will have work for me again. Oh, I really should actually get four more. Yeah, I really should do that. I will send these all to uh, Alfonso. That should be fine. Hopefully. <laughs> I know, we did agree no glitches. 
This run is invalid. <laughs> Reset. <laughs> Have you ever seen that before, Kyler? I've never seen that before. Now I'm curious what was going on. <laughs> Did you see it? Ah, oh, you didn't catch it. Yeah. Basically what happened was Ellie's shirt changed from a red grid shirt to a uh, a fortune shirt, like without ever talking to Apollo. Apollo was wearing the fortune shirt. And then when I talked to Ellie, her shirt changed from the fortune shirt that it, it appeared she was wearing to the big bro shirt, but the palette was off. It was like um, the palette for the, uh, like the fish bone shirt. But then it changed from the palette from the fishbone shirt to like the palette for the big dot shirt. And it happened only when I talked to her, the palette changed. And then when I left the acre and came back later, her shirt went back to the red grid shirt, which is what she's wearing. And I, it wasn't like I gave her a shirt during this process. It just all kind of randomly happened. Seems like some memory corruption. That's terrifying. What'd I get, by the way? A regal dresser. Okay. Memory corruption, though. Now, could that be exploited for uh, future use? Ram chips do eventually go bust. Uh, Ram chips, as in for uh, the memory card? As in, I'm using a 59 block memory card. Well, I'm, I'm, oh, well, I'm playing on the Wii. I know, the Wii didn't come out in 2002. I was just too, I was too lazy to switch over to my GameCube. Yes, that is correct. The entire game is dumped to RAM, um, which is pretty cool. Well, I hope my Wii isn't going bad. Another balloon! No! Thought it. Yeah, rip. Well, whatever happened, very interesting. It was around the two hour, 41 minute mark. I'd be very, very curious to see if that glitch could be replicated. That wasn't really useful, but could it be extended for other applications? I discovered a glitch in the first two hours of this game existing. <laughs> First two and a half hours. Um, I did not use my Wii for my 100% run, so that was all GameCube. Why, hello there, Arcade Zone. I am two hours and 50 minutes into my first day challenge, and so far it has been exclusively, almost exclusively, Running errands for villagers. I invalidate. I also invalidated my run with a glitch on accident. Uh, <laughs> don't know how it happened. It was never seen it before. I use a glitch not known on day one, even though this is day one of the challenge. I discovered it on day one. What do you mean? It is currently day one. <laughs> And yeah, uh, it didn't really, you know, help me in any way or hurt me in any way. It was just random and interesting. Yeah, it is currently September 16th, 2002. Obviously. What do I want to do with this? Is fine. Oh, who is this for? 
Paula. Why is it whenever I get game breaking glitches, they're always it always has something to do with the shirt? Why why shirts? <laughs> no, it didn't break my game, but it, I was I was nervous. Oh, you're right. I need to turn. Everyone must watch my Twitch stream at two in 240p if you want the true experience of being in 2002. <laughs> Honestly, we should probably just someone should just go clip it. Though I think it's we have to we have to clip it after uh, after I finish my stream. But I'm recording everything, so I will save the clip and uh, and uh, we'll see if we can get to the bottom of it. See if it's useful in any other application or if we can do, repeat it. I am playing on a CRT. I absolutely am playing on a CRT. In fact, the CRT was my f was my friend's dad's from the 90s he generously donated another crt to me that was very nice i have two crts now but i prefer this one because it's smaller and fits better on my desk you tossed your crt years ago how dare you kyler <laughs> Ah, that is quite a while ago. Okay, I forgive you. I thought you meant in the last four years, and then I would have uh, would have been unacceptable. 2011, perfectly understandable. That is a massive CRT. Botanical shirt. I'm starting to get a lot of duplicates, which is good because I'm I'm ready to move on to the next phase of this challenge, which will happen in like seven minutes. Trying to think if there's anything else I want to get done before 9. And I think just mailing off those letters was all I wanted to do. I should start mentally preparing my route. Uh, yeah, absolutely. So... An interesting thing I can do with shirts is I have an endless supply of shirts, basically. If I bury shirts and I don't change the, the Islander's mood, there's a 75% chance I'll get more common shirts and a 25% chance I'll get a thousand bells. Oh, right, Apollo. But if you, if Islanders dig up a thousand bells, there's a chance they'll bury a common shirt. So it's a cycle. And a 50% chance they'll bury an umbrella. So I'm definitely going to be using that to my advantage. Now what's interesting is if an Islander digs up an umbrella, <coughs> it will just rebury that same umbrella. <coughs> I'm good. So, it's going to be a way to get all the umbrellas, or a lot of them at least. <clears throat> I will turn shirts into thousand bells and thousand bells into umbrellas. Alright, more clothes. Works for me. I already have that shirt. Dang, I really am running out of getting new items from these villagers. So three hours seems to be a pretty good amount of time to do this. <clears throat> yeah, it's actually working out pretty nicely. You had a CRT with VGA and HDMI? I'll be honest, I didn't know CRTs could have HDMI. I mean, I guess... I guess to make... I don't see why they couldn't, but I didn't realize any of them were manufactured with HDMI. Cool.
Yeah, you can convert it, but I didn't. Yeah, I didn't know they came factory made like that. Hmm, didn't know that. Cool. HD CRTs. Well, now I know. <clears throat> Alright, what do we get? That's new. Finally. I don't know why I'm getting so many duplicates. Like, there's... There's like... 70? No. There's like... No, I guess it makes sense. I was gonna say there's like 50 to 60 shirts in each of the item lists. A little more. Actually, I think it's like 60 to 70. But... A fourth of them are seasonal. So, yeah. <clears throat> That's a good point, Kyler, yeah. My watch, my watch, my most treasured watch. <laughs> Tybalt's dialogue is great. Um, but yeah, that's true. They did take advantage of the fuzziness, yeah. Oh, a number two shirt. I've got three of the numbered shirts now. <clears throat> three minutes. Three minutes. I'm excited. 8% complete. I'll, I'll do one or two, maybe three more errands, depending on how quick they are. This isn't a slow one. <clears throat> this might be the last errand I run, for now. Oh my goodness. Yeah, it's probably gonna be the last errand. <laughs> <clears throat> Yuka, I swear if you say Apollo has this item. Alright, good. <clears throat> Alright, come on. Can we get one more new item at least? Please don't be a duplicate for my last one. some stationary. No. It is new though. I've got a lot of desks. <clears throat> Alright, this is the last one. Last quest. Unless Yuka has something for me. Another balloon? Where? Which way did it go? the left? Oh, then I definitely did not get it. Rip. 9 a.m. It's time for Project Island. This is the last quest. Nooks will now stay open after I complete chores. I am excited. <clears throat> nice, a ranch couch. I'll take it. 115 items so far. I have not even entered the police station yet, so that'll be potentially three more. <clears throat> and it is time to finish Nook's quests. Or chores. It is now time to finish chores. I don't have much left. And there's a painting waiting for us. I already have a kitty shirt. Wait, do I? <clears throat> is that a kitty shirt? I think it is. Well, I've confirmed my rare list is item list A. I can go confirm my common list here soon. Alright, there we go. The last chore for Nooks once I leave his acre. Or once I, uh, once I leave Nooks' shop, it will stay open. So, let me figure out my plan of attack. I think I'm just gonna start off with furniture. Uh, very simple. We'll just start off with the furniture from the island. Hmm. 
Yeah, I'll start off with furniture and figure out what my lists are for furniture. Yay! All done! Alright, let me drop off these shirts. Let me put these furniture items in my house. <clears throat> now that goods power actually will come into play. minute work signs very nice and sell all these seashells buy the shovel and implement project island Feels weird selling things to Nooks since I've been doing the No Nooks challenge for so long. Oh, I had one more seashell I did not pick up apparently. I'll deal with it later. And I got over 10,000 bells. Excellent. Let's see what stationery we got. Fine paper. That is new. Awesome. Lotus umbrella. This is the kitty shirt, right? Not the puzzling shirt? Yeah, okay. However, just for fun, I will buy it. Well, I, I can use it. It's still useful. And we got over here a painting. Oh my goodness. It's useful to buy it. I, wow, I have exactly 10,000 bells. That's, that's cool. <clears throat> Three fine paintings. Uh, Imperial Wall. That was expensive. Oh well. Green Rug. And the Shovel! Sitting at 8% still, very close to 9%. And just for fun, I'm going to buy the rest of the items in Nooks. Those flower bags are actually potentially useful on the island. I should have saved my other flowers, but it's not the end of the world. Okay, plan of attack now is to fill up my inventory with letters so that I can put stuff in them. me. And like I said, I'm going to start off with furniture. Umbrellas can just go here for now. Uh, I'll plant this sapling up in the nook acre. In case I feel like going for a perfect town, uh, I might as well work towards that by planting trees. Where's that shovel? I didn't mean to do that. Look for the money rock. Very nice. If only this was an all-dead speedrun. 
<laughs> All right, good. Got lots of money now. I do need more money, but it's a good start. Drop off this extra stationery that I don't need. Drop off these tickets, I guess. Probably never going to use them, but might as well have them. Put some furniture in my inventory letters. Put my shovel and furniture time. Perfect. Now what I also need to do <clears throat> is first I'm gonna drop off all this furniture down in the uh, F5 acre, because I need to get more, but I need to bring gyroids with me every single time because when uh, villagers or when the islanders dig up the gyroids, they'll replace it with more gyroids and uh, that will slowly add up uh, the number of gyroids I have in my catalog. Now, I wish I could get more gyroids, but unfortunately, uh, unless I have the golden shovel, the Islander will not give more gyroids. So that's a bummer. So I'm limited to the starting three gyroids in my town, and, uh, and those are the only ones that I can cycle through over and over again to hopefully get more and more duplicates of. So I need to find all three before I go to the island. <clears throat> I also need to familiarize myself with this town. I already found one gyroid. I don't need to dig up all the fossils. <clears throat> However, it would be nice to dig up at least three in case I plan on extending this challenge in the future. I think that will be perfectly fine. And while I'm in the area, let's see what we got here. All right, so common item list is C, uncommon is B, rare is A. Simple enough. Still at 8%. <clears throat> no problem there. Alright, back to looking for gyroids. <clears throat> I need to find all three, so I should not leave any acre unchecked until I find them all. Oh yeah, what gyro did I find, by the way? Mega Alloyed. Right. And remember, it's only catalog. I don't actually have to have a physical copy of the gyroid for it to count for the catalog. Um, so that is good to know. <clears throat> and also very crucial information for this challenge. <clears throat> All right, two fossils and a gyroid so far. I know there's some gyroids up here. 
Yeah, I'll go ahead and fill up the rest of my inventory with furniture for now. <clears throat> Keeping room for a uh, <clears throat> few gyroids. Okay, that'll work. I remember seeing some fossils over here. Or something, some buried stuff. Where was it? There was one in this acre, I thought. No. Where was it? It was it was around here. <clears throat> it was in one of the villager acres. <clears throat> I definitely should have been paying closer attention. Well, it must be down here. <clears throat> Alright, there's the second gyroid. <clears throat> One more gyroid to go. Yeah, there it is. Yes, is the other gyroid. Very, very good, very good. All right, um, so I actually found all three gyroids. Perfect, I don't need to find the other fossils now. However, I'm going to dig this up. Eh, there we go. All right, we dug up the three gyro, or the three fossils, in case I ever want to extend this challenge. You can only appraise three fossils a day and then after that <clears throat> um, well you only get three back in the mail oh yeah what's the name of my island it will be uh, one day One day island. I like it. Ah, finally I can relax. What were the gyroids that I got? I need to check that before I bury them. Oh. <clears throat> Three hours in. 21 hours remain. A little less than 21 hours. Oh, the maple bonds as an orange feng shui item. I should probably put that in my house. <clears throat> However, I'm going to save treasure chests because they're special feng shui items. And I really don't need any other items at that point. <clears throat> All right, time to prepare my island. I do. This is my favorite right side island acre, so that was very lucky of me. Especially since I'm already very familiar with this island layout. Oh wait, no, this is not my favorite one. Dang it! I thought it was. I am not familiar with this one, but I will make it work. I wish I had an axe to chop down all these trees. Oh well. Lots of space over here though. I do like that. I am a fan of that. Oh, I didn't need to dig that up. Oh well. 
This seems like a good spot to draw the line. Considering there's already two flowers here. All right, yeah, what do we get? Mega Alloyed, Tall Percoloid, and Mini Squelchoid. I think this is a good spot to draw the line. <clears throat> Alright, that should be good. So now I can start burying everything. Alright, what I really should also do is shake the coconut trees. So, furniture, I guess these first three will just be gyroids. No, I shouldn't have these first three be gyroids in case the villager randomly decides to uh, dig them up. What should I, where should I put the gyroids? In case the villager's mood falls, and then decides to dig up the gyro and place, replace it with a thousand bells. That would be very bad. I should put them in a spot where I know the villager, where that situation will not happen. So basically, on the Game Boy Island, Whenever a villager digs up a piece of furniture, depending on its mood and its personality type, it will rebury it. Oh, and the shovel it has. It will rebury it with another item. It doesn't have to be furniture. Whenever it digs up any item, it will check a table, run a, an RNG check, and see what it will choose to uh, rebury. <clears throat> oh yeah, I wonder who my islander is. I haven't even talked to them yet, or looked at them. However, it doesn't really matter, thankfully. Definitely could, but with my strats, it does not matter. Where should I put these gyroids at? Hmm. Just so I know that I'm dealing with the gyroid. How about right here? Yeah, this this is perfect. These three are gyroids. <clears throat> okay, I'll be back with more furniture and shirts and uh, whatnot. Not yet. If I was a pro gamer, I could do both the island and... <laughs> uh, and this at the same time. I probably should once I get it set up. Yeah, I mean, I don't see why not. So I could be on the Game Boy Island right now. In fact, I could play both at the same time. 
Oh, jeez, I could play both at the same time. Great. Yeah, I can play both at the same time. It's gonna be fun. Alright, I got my two GameCube controllers. I'm using the Game Boy Player for the uh, island. And I can play the island. But then you can't see what I'm doing back in town. I can't stream both at the same time is the problem. Dang, I'll just have to commentate what I'm doing on one versus the other. <laughs> like, wow! I can't believe it, I just got a... Just got a blue bench back in town. If only you saw this. I could point my webcam at my CRT. <laughs> Alright, so my game plan now is to bring more items to the island. Setting up the island takes time. It's already been 20 minutes. <clears throat> It is what it is. Oh, how do you get the island? The uh, Game Boy Advance with a GameCube to Game Boy Advance link cable. I guess if I'm going to play both the island and my game at the same time, I should just fill up the island as much as I can. <clears throat> that includes shirts. I could do carpets and wallpapers. Uh, probably should. I don't see why not. Well, actually, I do see why not. Never mind. I can get these in a different manner later. Shirts and furniture. For now. You can use a glitch to get to the island without a Game Boy. But you can't, you'll need a Game Boy to do any of the, you know, any of the Game Boy games. Which is how you get the island items. Alright, so it's going to be about 10 more minutes of setup, but after that, I should be good. Yeah, I'm going to have to play the island and, and run more errands at the exact same time. I think my plan is I will show... Well, I have to. I have to stream the island. Never mind. Yep. So you're going to see mostly gameplay of me doing island stuff. Uh, starting in a little bit. Now, if I use my old capture card... Oh, wait, no, it doesn't work. My new computer isn't compatible with my old capture card. Or rather, vice versa. Never mind. I have to use my Elgato for capturing GameCube currently. Or, I have to use my Elgato to capture either the Wii... No, I have to use my Elgato, no matter what. There's no other option. Yeah. That's fine. Just trying to figure out the logistics of streaming both the Game Boy Island and my town at the exact same time. Now, I can play them both, and I can see them both, but I can't stream them both. Oh, uh, it is what it is. <clears throat> I 
All right, I'm gonna bury shirts over here. Abandoned dragonfly, and it's moving slowly. If only I had a net. Do I have enough stuff? I think so. We'll see. After this, there'll be one more trip to the island, and then my island will be all set up and ready to go. Oh, I just realized something. I can't do... I can't use the shovel in town if the shovel's on my island. Oh, that's unfortunate. You know, also I just realized though, all the furniture I put in my house, I should actually probably use that on the island. Yeah. Furthermore, I have more shirts in here. Save one of each, though. I can always order another Big Bros shirt. I think that I think one more trip should be enough. If I have extra space, I can bury the shells or bell bags. <clears throat> yes, I can do that. In fact, might as well.
Yeah, I think that's a good plan. I got my plan, I think. I hope. Well, this is kind of pointless bringing all this furniture down here, since I'm going to run up and get 10 more shirts anyways. Oh well. Yeah, in hindsight, this was probably completely unnecessary to do all of this. <clears throat> Alright, so I got space for four more shirts. Is that it? Yeah, I guess so. No, not this. Oh, I have an idea. I'm gonna save my blue Aloha shirt. Put on something new. This. Sure. Alright, there we go. I should be set for the island now. Should be good to go. And then after this, I will actually transfer my data to the Game Boy Advance. And then I'll be playing both the Game Boy Island and Animal Crossing simultaneously. That's gonna be fun. When did the Game Boy player come out? Just out of curiosity. Doesn't really matter. Came out in June of 2003. So, I mean, I I guess I shouldn't really be playing on the Game Boy Player, but it doesn't really matter, because you can just play on the Game Boy Advance. Anyways. It'll be fine. I can't stream it if I play it on the Game Boy Advance. So I'm going to play it on the Game Boy Player just so I can stream it. It's not the end of the world. Animal Crossing does not have an ending, unless you consider 100%ing it via the catalog. By the way, we're at 9%. Cool. Yeah, well, speedruns are just like uh, completing certain aspects of the game. So like Golden Rod, Golden Net, once you obtain that item, then you're done with the speedrun.
And if you consider the credits, when K.K. Slider plays his music on Saturday night, as uh, you've seen the credits, therefore you beat the game, that is uh, a category as well. There we go. All the shirts are buried. That'll work. Now to fill up the rest of this space with stuff. I definitely have more than 10 spots. <laughs> well... Island setup just takes so long. There's not really much you can do about it. So let's see, I have 13 spots remaining. That will work. I'm going to repurpose these items. A little inefficient, I know, but it is what it is. I'm gonna move these items, rather. <clears throat> It is what it is, and these will be replaced with a thousand bells. You'll see why. No, not ten thousand. Let's 
Alright, first two columns. Um, in fact, I have another plan as well. It has to work out perfectly. Good deal. My other plan is to switch out this column of shirts with uh, the other column of furniture. <clears throat> to see why. It's, it's good enough. I don't need to get too detailed. Good enough, good enough. Finally, thousand bells. All right, next I need to create um, a border for where villagers could potentially plant flowers. And this will be with 100 bell bags. Oh, 
Oh yeah, I was supposed to shake all the trees for their coconuts. Eh, too late. Not the end of the world. All right, and now I need to prepare some bell bags over here. I'll drop them off. There we go. Ready to go. And I will drop off the shovel here. Sure. All right, I think my island's ready. Oh wait, nope, not yet, almost. One last thing. more row of flowers because if the villager plants a flower its mood will drop back down to uh, neutral or it'll, lo it'll lower it by one but if it buries flowers and plants them by itself uh, then it will not if it replaces like 100 bells with a flower bag it will not and therefore <clears throat> wait can bell bags Ah. Yeah, that's fine. One more. There we go. Alright, now we're ready to go. And we do not want to be inefficient and drop villagers' moods just in case the villager can dig here. I don't think it can, but just in case. I think the island's ready to go now. Yep. And just in case it decides to uh, go here. Oh, and one more potential spot. If it if flowers for some reason can go here, I don't think they can. But if they can, I will account for that situation. All right, now we're ready to go. Finally, the island is ready. It took 50 minutes, about five to 10 minutes longer than I was expecting. But that's all right. I have to go to the bathroom. This is a good time. Alright, so once I start catching my boat ride back, I will switch.
Very good. Transmission complete. Here we go. All right, so we have a strat here. It's a very cool strat. Oh, I flash! <laughs> that's my uh, that's my Islander and my No Nooks challenge. That is so funny. So the strat here is to give him three 100 bell bags. Here you go, Flash. And then afterwards, force him to go back inside. Flash over here. And then he will clear out the inventory and now he has max happiness. And the reason why that works is because it raises his happiness by one for every single uh, item he has in his inventory after you drop it, uh, after you tell him to go back inside and then come back outside. So now he has max happiness without any fruit. Uh oh, uh, I did mess that up though. Okay, um, I, he was not supposed to be max happiness quite yet. I kind of already messed that up. Flash. Kind of already messed it up. Flash over here. Flash. No, I already messed it up. Um, dang it. It's not the end of the world, but it's kind of annoying. All right, so now I'm gonna try to play two games at once. He kind of just plays for you a little bit, but this is difficult. This is hard. Ah, uh, this is gonna take some getting used to. It kind of just sort of does his own thing after a while. So I'm currently playing two games at once. You can only see the screen for the Game Boy Island. However, I am in fact playing uh, both, I'm playing in town and on the Game Boy Island simultaneously. However, I'm not going to be super efficient in town while I do the island. But I'm currently talking to Tybalt. No. That's alright, no worries, no harm done. Tybalt does not need anything done. Oops. How am I gonna do this? I wish I had more hands. <laughs> Where? What is Flash doing? Oh, he needs a shovel. Flash, get over here. All right, I have a strat. I'm gonna poke him a bunch. There we go. Flash over here. Okay. I wanted to lower his happiness, so that way I can implement this strat with the thousand bell bags. There we go, we got an umbrella. Cool. Got another umbrella. Nice. I'm delivering a picture book to Ellie currently. I got some stationery. Noodle paper. Flash. I already have it. Oh, 
All right. So now I will give Flash more uh, bells so that he is happy with me. And then he is max happiness now, right? Oh, he's not. Oh yeah, duh, I have to bring him inside. Um, that's fine. Come on, Flash, let's go back inside. Yeah, you know, any day now. Alright, he's max happiness again. I wish I could just pick him up and move him quickly. Flash over here. A balloon! There's a balloon in my town. I am currently chasing it. Meanwhile, Flash is going to go on a... I got it. I got the balloon. Flash is digging something up. Alright, he is now on the furniture spree. So... That goes well. I got a kitschy clock back in town. I don't know where the heck Flash is. There he is. Alright, back to running errands in town while Flash just sort of is doing his own thing, isn't he? Making sure he stays at max happiness this whole time. Yuka did not need anything from me. I guess my strat here is to run around by holding B with my right hand, running errands, and then going over here and pressing A for Flash to dig stuff up. Oh yeah, now that I've completed chores, the errands are gonna be, Alfonso wants a fish. So, uh, <laughs> Alfonso's done. Yeah, that's not happening. All right, so we we got the gyroid. The first gyroid has been replaced. Flash, where the heck do you think you're going? This is hard, playing two games at once, I'm not going to lie. Definitely takes practice. <coughs> I delivered a shirt to Ellie. Got a piece of furniture. I got a picnic table. Apollo is awake, it is now 10 a.m. Doesn't need anything. I'm returning a picture book to Tybalt back in town. Nice, more stationary is good. Hot neon paper. Perfect. Oops. 
High Vault's out of work for now. Flash, meanwhile, is doing his own thing. It's fine. Where'd Yuka go? There she is. The villagers haven't left their acres yet, as far as I'm aware. Yuka wants an apple, so Yuka's out of errands. Unless I get an apple. Wait. Yeah, I can get an apple from, uh, from a villager. Flash could plant an apple. However, it won't grow into an apple tree for four days, so that doesn't really work. Everyone's out of errands, or is out of chores for me to do. Requests. So in that case, what else could I do in town right now? Here, I'll focus on the island and think about that. Back in town, what else could I do? While I do the island stuff. Hmm. I could shake trees, I suppose. I've already written letters. Don't need to do that. Flash, where are you going? What else could I do in town? I could sell more seashells. That'd give me a little more money. Oh, I could make a perfect town, or at least I could start planning on a perfect town. Just for fun. Oh yes, is Flash still at max happiness? Yes, he is. 100 bells to plant flowers keeps him at max happiness. Good. Flash over here. I don't... Yeah, okay. Yeah, I could work towards a, towards a perfect town. Doesn't really help me on day one, but if I wanted to extend this challenge, definitely help me on day two. Or day 15, I guess. For the golden axe. Um, I could go try to find the other fossils around town. Or I could just keep wait, just keep waiting for uh, villagers for errands. Oh, I know what I could do. I am going to try. Hey, Flash! No, no, no! God, I didn't mean to enable sleep mode. How do I get out of that? <laughs> okay. Flash. Try. It. Okay, try it again. I am going to try to get um, Yuka to max happiness. So yeah, I got a plan. I have a plan. Flash, meanwhile, is scouting everything he has or has not dug up yet. I guess he's dug up almost everything over here. There we go, he found something. Yeah, I should try to get Yuka to be max hap or max friendship with me. That's what I meant to say. Because then she will be able to play the game where we endlessly trade items with each other for an extended period of time. Oh, Flash can't dig up that spot. That's right. Flash, have you gotten everything down this row? Nope. We're almost done with the first round of island games anyways, so I might as well get ready to go back to the island. I'm 
gonna go and shake all the trees with peaches on, uh, on, like, on the trees in town, so that way, um, that way they'll regrow after several days. This is fun. This is, uh, this is a lot of thinking early on, but I'm having a good time. This is, uh, an intense way to play Animal Crossing, that's for sure. Two at once. Two games at once is not easy to do, but it is fun. Uh, you know what I should do? I should go and sell all these seashells at Nooks so I can have a little bit more money for the next island visit. Flash, where are you going? Stupid bird. <laughs> Okay, sure. Flash over here. I'm picking up seashells back in town. Flash is almost done with all of the furniture and or all the things he's digging up around town. I'm doing a quest for Peanut to deliver a shirt to Ellie. Wow, Flash digs up the few remaining things on the island. We got some more furniture from Ellie. I got a vaulting horse. Meanwhile, now I'm just gonna let Flash sort of run around all by himself and uh, dig stuff up as he sees fit. Selling seashells to Tom Nook, not by the seashore. Get a few more bells for the island. <clears throat> there we go. Flash is now just wandering around however he wants <laughs> planting some beautiful flowers happy as can be and I'll let him do that while I run back to the island and let's see what else do I need to bring with me I guess that's good enough for now. I have three new pieces of furniture for the island. Where's Flash at? There he is. All right, that should be good for the island. It is now time to uh, transfer it back over. Once I start the boat ride, I'll switch the inputs back over so you can see. All right, so this is gonna be the first island trip and I'm excited to see what kind of haul we get. <clears throat> We're gonna get a bunch of new furniture, bunch of new shirts. I'm also very curious to see what my item lists are. I'm gonna start a notepad document.
where I um, have the uh, my rare, common, and uh, uncommon lists. So I only know furniture for now. I could definitely deduce shirts and uh, stationery pretty easily, probably wallpaper and carpets. But we're gonna find out uh, what my item lists are for my island, my rare and common lists are for my island. All right, we're back on the island. I think uh, Flash got basically all of the items dug up and reburied. Let's see what the hall is. First, we'll start off with uh, shirts and umbrellas. I already have that. Nice. Are you kidding me? The first umbrella is a... Uh, island rarity lists are not a thing. Huh, I swear they were. Well, all right. Uh, flame umbrella. Nice. Nintendo parasol. And this is why money is valuable. Oops. Did he dig this up? No. <clears throat> wow. Look at all these umbrellas. Dainty. Nice. Leaf umbrella. This is going great so far. I already have that. Right? Yeah. Sharp umbrella. Well, look at all these umbrellas. Danger shirt. Batbrella, right under the sunny parasol. Well, that was a great haul, umbrella-wise. Very nice. Already have that. So I don't know what to do with these extra umbrellas. I guess for now, I'll just... I don't want to rebury them, though. Hmm. How do I want to do this? Um, I guess I'll just drop them for now. If these count towards the Islander liking me more, or instead of using 100 bell bags, and I can use umbrellas, that would work. That's what I can use them for. I already got a botanical shirt. I already got that. It's possible he didn't, like, Flash didn't get dig up all these things, but that's new. That's new. Oh, yeah. Nice. Grass model. Sweet.
Hmm. <clears throat> decisions, decisions. Well. I do know I need to put 100 bell bags here for flowers as a barrier. I'm excited to see what the hall ends up being. This is not an accessible spot. This is not an accessible spot. So it's really just three spots that I don't know what to do with yet. How about if I just bury some umbrellas here for now? Oh wait! I have more money right here. Eh, that's a lot of work. I'm just gonna bury three umbrellas. Hey Animal Crossing Dan. I like your nibbles emote. How are you doing? Alright, that should be good. That's enough money for now. All right, now I can go back and see what kind of haul we got. Judge's bell, cool. A lot of these are crazy red slash lottery items. Two island items so far. Oops. Nice, another red item. I'm going to save red items as well as treasure chests, which means I need to bury something in place of where those items could go, temporarily. Should have kept the birdcage in my house. Oh, well. oh yeah, nothing can go there. Neutral corner. I'll just rebury that. Already got that. Already have that. It's possible. Flash not rebury it. That might be a red item. But it's two by one, so nope. by the way. 11% so far. I found the red corner. <laughs> Another 
surfboard. Yep, I'm doing well today. Life ring, nice. I found all the corners. But yes, the island was accessible on day one when the game came out. You could do this immediately. Speed bag. Vibraphone, cool. got that. Already have that. Treasure chest. I will save that. And for now, replace it with 100 bells. Actually, I'll put flowers there. Because that's an obnoxious spot to try to get Flash to go to anyways. Not really worth it. Alright, now this column. A ukulele, alright. Alright, we got our first chess piece. Ooh, a strange painting. <laughs> Our first crazy red painting. Oh, another chess piece. White king, right? Oops. Ooh, another red item. I will save that. Honestly, this is an annoying piece of furniture to try to get Flash to dig up as well as this one, so uh, this seems fine. Next column, this one. Already have that. Hey, we got our first NES game. Clue Clue Land. Nice. Ah yes, the shirts. I remember the trendy top. Already have a surfboard. Golf! 
another NES game. Cool. I can reorder those from the catalog, so I'm not going to worry about saving them. Another ukulele. All right. Trendy top. Jagged shirt. Oh my goodness. Kitschy clock. I already have that. Shrine lantern. Already have that. Cactus. <clears throat> Gerbera. However you pronounce that. I think the rest of these are shirts and gyroids now. Jade. Check print. I already have that, right? Yeah. A shirt. <laughs> I like it. I'll check the gyros last. Almost done here. One more column. Nice, it's new. Oh, I already have that apparently. Alright, I already have all that. <clears throat> Now just the new gyroids. Mini Crocoid. Mega Umbloid. Mini Stromboid. All right.
Very good. Going to sleep mode. Yeah. There we go. All right, I am transferring data back over from the island. Cool. And just like that, we've doubled our furniture in half the time. <laughs> Where the two thirds of that time was spent prepping the island. So now I am at 13% completed already. Now I can go to the island. Oh, flash. Knock, knock. Let's see if this counts. Yeah, it does count. Now, I force Flash inside, comes back out, and he has max happiness. Umbrellas do work. Cool. Flash this way. Flash. Ready to go. I think first order of business back in town is to actually just save. Flash, where are you going? Okay, that's fine. That's there for you to plant a flower. Flash, where are you going? Well, Flash is doing his own thing now. I'm now saving. Save and continue. Alright. So, next order of business is going to keep running some errands. Ellie does not need any work done. So Flash did dig up that spot. 
flowers can go there. Very interesting. I'm picking up all the wallpapers and carpet. Flash? No. Do not go over there. Picking up all the wallpaper or I'm picking up all the wallpapers and carpets in town. Because I'm gonna try to activate the game with Yuka where I trade carpets and wallpapers endlessly. Flash stop. Looks like Gracie's coming to town in a little bit. That's nice. Oh, I should I should make second characters. Oops. I should make other player characters to get more shirts as well as wallpapers and carpets. Yes, I should. Uh, I mean, I'll get around to that. Currently I'm talking to Yuka a bunch to try to make her happy, whistling, so I can play the uh, endless item trading game. to increase her friendship with me, to increase the odds of playing the game later. I'm done, ta done talking to Yuka, that's probably enough friendship points for later. Hopefully I can get her to spawn in the same acre as another villager. <clears throat> Gonna try to get some more furniture. From uh, doing errands for villagers. Oops, I gotta stop doing that. No one wants an errand right now. Bummer. I got a flying saucer from Alfonso. Very cool, very cool. Honestly, actually pretty cool.
Hmm. Try to run a few more errands. I need to put the Apple TV detour arrow, or whatever the red items in the treasure chest are in my house. That's what I need to do. I also cannot find Apollo. <laughs> Apollo appears to have, to have to have gone inside. Which means I now have a chance to get items from inside villagers' houses. Flash, do you see anything? Flash is scanning the area of items he has not dug up yet. You sure you haven't dug all these things up yet? I got some woodcut paper. Where did that bird go? There he is. Honestly, I should bring these wallpapers and carpets to the island. I really should, actually. putting red feng shui items in my house, as well as a treasure chest. All right, Flash is replacing the gyroids with more gyroids. Good, good. Apollo is inside having lunch, or breakfast, I guess. Trying to decide my plan of attack. Back in town. I 
I think my plan of attack is to bring over the wallpapers and carpets. Um, oh, I should go find the golden spot. I also wish I could make some more money somehow. I could sell valuable items from that I find at the island. What are some valuable items? The R-Wing would be a valuable one. Luigi and Mario Trophy are valuable. Yeah, because exchanging that for money for umbrellas would be very nice. Um, obviously I can pick up more seashells. At some point, I will create new player characters for more clothes. For now, I will go and sell more seashells. I'll let Flash dig up shirts and whatnot. Alright, I've officially cleared the beach of seashells. Well, now I have. Flash, have you dug up all the gyroids? Yeah. I can sell this extra stationery. Flash, how are you doing over there? You found anything new? Alright, yeah, you did. Good. I'm selling all the seashells for another 2,000 bells. Flash, where are you going? What? Ah. Right, he'll do that, won't he? Flash, I swear to god, do not shake any more coconut trees. I gotta bury something there just so that he won't drop the shovel. I forgot that he does that. Cost me two coconuts. Should be fine. Alright, I'm going to start making my way back to the island. Flash, I know you have not dug up everything yet. Really? Have you now? Sure about that.
All right, one final sweep. See if you, in fact, got everything. Somehow I'm not convinced. Help! Oh my goodness gracious. How on earth did that happen? <laughs> sure you got everything over here, buddy. Sure you got it all. You say so. I am back on Acre F5, transmitting data. This is very fast-paced. <laughs> this was a lot more intense than I thought it was going to be. That's good. We should be at over 100 pieces of furniture after this session. I hope so. Better be. Better be over 100. I'm going to start looking to see what item group I'm getting off the island. Um, I got... What was something I got? Tulip tape? No. What did I, what did I even get from the island? Well, already forgot. It's just so fast paced. Cabin bookcase, maybe? Anyways, let's see what this hall ends up being. You know, I'm actually going to go ahead and plant some wallpapers, or bury some wallpapers here. Um, I should actually do furniture. And I need to plant something here. Or bury something. None of that is helpful. I guess this first row will be wallpapers. These are all shirts. Yodel. Nice. These will be carpets. I only have four carpets. I must not have brought them all. Whoops. Mm-hmm. 
Star shirt. I like it. Ooh, a red armchair. Alright, that's the last... Well, no. Not the last red item. But, very nice. An oil drum. Okay. It's 11 a.m. It is, uh, it is still morning. It has been five hours so far. Look at that. That's pretty crazy. Five hours, and we are currently at 14%. Almost 200 new items. I will get that here in just a second. Interesting how my, my, my uh, time is off by a minute. There's our 200th item. Diver Dan. Of course, of course. I already have a neutral corner. I already have a cactus. I don't think Flash dug that up. But he did get that. Nice. Two hundred and one items so far. <clears throat> a G logo! Yay! That is being saved. Now I can buy a bunch of G logos to fill my room up with good luck. Awesome. I can max out my goods power now without too much effort. That is that is great. <clears throat> two hunt two more items until a hundred pieces of furniture in five hours. Another neutral corner. I need to bury bells here so Flash doesn't drop his shovel. Right. Nice. I think that's a red item. Eh, whatever. At this point, I don't care. Another G logo. Yo. You only need 10 special items till it's maxed out. At least your goods power. So that's what I'm gonna work towards, is 10 special items. We'll see what else I find. Antique clock, interesting. Another surfboard. Ivory piano, that's cool. A treasure chest that is being saved. So let's see, we're at 15% now with uh, five hours in. Not bad. <clears throat> Ukulele, snow cone machine. I think I have that. Yeah. 
Another detour arrow. Nice. Another snow cone machine. Okay. A base, <laughs> a bass. Nice, lots of new stuff. Love to see that. And then we get a Diver Dan, of course. Nice, we got the Rooks. Oh yeah, I actually didn't have a Mark Treasure Chest. I have all the island items. Excellent. Fresh shirt. Cool. I have all the island items now, so I don't care about any island items that I find. I also have a judge's bell already. Ooh, a new painting. That is three paintings now. Already got that. That's a cool one. Already got that. All right. Already got that. Did Flash get any of these items in this column? Jade. Doesn't seem so. Jade, I can't see. <laughs> my cat is blocking my view. Jade. An eight ball shirt. Jade.
Turn up top. Jade, you're pressing buttons on my keyboard. Stop. Cat. Jade used to be considerate, of, considerate about not pressing buttons on my keyboard, but she stopped caring. She'll just lie straight down on my keyboard. No cares. It's honestly kind of annoying. It's a little adorable, but mostly annoying. <laughs> Alright, that'll do it. For now. I could wear one of these shirts. I'll wear the botanical shirt. Nah. I wanna wear the Anju's shirt, actually. I guess. All right, and finally, the gyroids. Are you kidding me? I got a duplicate gyroid that's very unfortunate already. I thought I got a duplicate. Thankfully, it was a mega stromboid, not a mini stromboid. Nice. What? Okay. Another good haul. There, I'll wear, I'll wear the star shirt now. Nah, that's obnoxious. What else we got? Fresh shirt? Sure, that, that seems neutral enough. Yeah, too many stromboids, that would have been crazy. Okay. Oops. Very good. Alright, so far so good. Very good. 16% complete, 231 items already in five hours. <laughs> Not bad. <clears throat> Not bad at all. I think I'm gonna stream for another 45 minutes, maybe two more island sessions, and then call it a stream for now. Uh, but yeah, we got 45 more minutes. I think is going to be my plan. Maybe a little longer, actually. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe another hour. Right, what am I doing? To the island.
Alright, we have a happy bird. Wow, you saw that? Nice. Alright, my plan now is I'm going to make a second character. Ah, uh, nice 11 a.m. music. It's been a while since I've actually listened to music <laughs> while doing a challenge. Because the No Nooks challenge, I was just listening to the same default music over and over again. Yep, I'm gonna make a second player character. That way I can get more shirts and more uh, wallpapers and carpets. This will be the first time I save and quit. <laughs> Good. All is well. Alright, new character. I'm starting to get better at multitasking two games at once. Definitely just take some practice. What is my other name going to be? Well, I can think about it. I don't have to rush. What should I name my other character? Hmm. I guess I could do MP16 for now. No. We got Brian, who was the first character. Flash already got that item. Hmm. I could just do like a an emote. <laughs> there. Whoops. Flash, get over here. Flash. Flash, I swear. Hey, do not eat this coconut. There we go. I can just do player two. Or I could do guest. Yeah, we'll go with guest. Alright, 
right, so far so good. This is nice, I can just mash A and B at this point to get through the intro dialogue. Yeah, isn't this an interesting challenge? I think so too. I've never actually played two games at once. Oh, uh, well, I mean I have, but I've never played both the Game Boy Island and playing in town at the exact same time. Not for an extended period of time, at least. So this is challenging um, my uh, abilities, and it's something new for Animal Crossing. I'm enjoying this challenge so far. It's a good challenge, I think. Now, I know a lot of it's going to be island stuff, but, I mean, that's just the most efficient way to get items. I'm pretty sure I just started with the rugby shirt. That is really annoying. I'm actually going to... Uh, I'm going to reset. So I'm trying to get new shirts. Starting with the rugby shirt is lame. Now it's not going to cause Rossetti to appear. I'm just making a new character again. And I, I got time. I think. Yeah, I got time. Oh, I know who the second player is going to be, Jade. Of course. My cat, of course, of course. I'm also doing a lot better at actually um, making sure Flash is digging everything up. More thorough. Alright, I got a new shirt. Oh wait, no, that's an optical shirt, isn't it? Uh. Yeah. Dang it. Well, too late. Oh well, didn't get a new shirt, but I'll at least get the new wallpaper and carpet, and have a second player.
All right, let's get these gyros. I can also get the money rock with the other characters to get some more money. I think that's a, a good plan. I would like to pay off my first debt for one of the players' uh, houses today. Just in case I want to extend this to a day two challenge. Flash, where do you think where do you think you're going? Where do you think you're going? This is also a strategy for player two that I can use later with having a shovel and a player who has not completed uh, errands if I need to. Could come into play. In fact, it's likely it will. I better save and quit and load up my, uh, my main character now, and then run back to the island. Oh wait, I need to take out the wallpaper and carpet. Oh, and that also gives me access to some more furniture I can um, bring to the island as well. There we go. Alright, Flash, you're almost, you almost got everything. I'm saving and quitting on player two. See if Flash missed anything. I don't think it. Yeah, he, he still has a few things he can get. Flash, did you get this one? All right, I'm loading up my main character again, or my main player. Flash is still finding things to dig up and, re and bury. That's good. I'm starting to get an island tan. <laughs> I'll let Flash just sort of run around by himself, see what he finds. I am almost back to Acre F5. All right, I think Flash found everything. Good. Oh yeah, what did I get? I got steel flooring and wood paneling. Got it. Steel flooring, wood paneling. Transmitting data.
steel flooring wood panel. Very good. So this next haul will hopefully put us, push us almost to 20%. It's not even noon yet. <laughs> not even noon of the very first day Animal Crossing has been out and I have over 200 items. That's about to go up significantly more as well. Before afternoon, already, <laughs> already a sixth of the way through the catalog. <laughs> that is really funny. All right, first up, we're gonna be wallpapers. Regal. I already have an imperial imperial wall, dang it. And a parlor wall. I already have that. Okay. Alright, twelve new twelve wallpapers total now. Not bad, not bad. have a diamond shirt. That's new though. No it's not. That sucks. Oh well. Alright. Carpets. Nice. Nice. All right. All new carpets. Double digits with carpets now. I like it. Wait. What? Oh, never mind. I thought... Yeah, okay, we're good. I thought the coconuts were uh, shaken off of the tree they were in front of, but I just moved them over. <laughs> of course... All right, now we got for or we got no, we got a row of uh, clothes first. Cool. All right, I got the check shirts. All right, well, I think there's one more still. Nice, getting some new shirts. I'm very happy about that. Already got that right. Yeah. I already got that. <clears throat> All right, time for a bunch of furniture now. Ban of vanity. Nice. Don't need that. I think that's new. Nice. Nice. 
Don't need that. Nice. I already have that. An Apple TV. It's not new, but it's a red item. It's the last red item that I'll keep, I think. Right? Yes. Oh, right. That is pointless. Ooh, another NES game. DK Jr. Math. Very cool. Chair. I already have that. And that. Already starting to get some good amount of duplicates. That's too bad. Well, that's new. So is that awesome? Alright, looking for another treasure chest or G logo or a Mario uh, a Mario trophy would be cool as well. Alright, or anything new, but especially those, because then I can max out my good power, which will be useful later. A white knight. Check. A Henanangyo. Uh, I probably butchered that, but. Check. Eighteen percent, and we're not done yet. I was very curious. Classic table. Clue Clue Land. I already have that. I already have a classic table. That's new. What? Three classic tables in a row? What the heck? Not directly in a row, but very close. What well, I I didn't look. What was it? Golf. I already have that. I already have that. 
Aha, a new painting. Four paintings now. There's a treasure chest. That's what I was looking for. Blue bench. One more uh, special feng shui item, and then I'll have max on my goods power. Three golf bags now. And a conga drum. Let's check out the gyroids because I really want to know. Mega Harmonoid. Mini Gongoid. And Howloid. Awesome. Future shirt. Dang it. There we go, there's a new one. Oops, that's a hundred bills. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Hey, look, a big bro shirt. I'm putting that back on. I will see, we'll see very close to 20%. I'm pretty confident we're at 19%. Very close to 20%, I imagine. <clears throat> Which is exciting. It'd be nice to get to 20% before noon. That'd be very cool. If I had brought a few more wallpapers and carpets earlier, I definitely would have made it. It'll be close. We'll see. Yeah, it is crazy how many repeats I'm already getting. <clears throat> yeah, these are all repeats. Those are all repeats, dang. Yep. And I do want to get... <clears throat> <clears throat> you know what? I'm gonna... I have an idea. Wait, never mind. That's not what I meant to do. I want to bury some more bells for umbrellas. Here works. Good to go. All right, moment of truth. Am I at 20%? Nope, 19, as I thought. That's all right. If I do an abbreviated session on the island, I might be able to get 20% before, uh, yeah, before noon. I might do that, just for fun. If I do a, a quick session. Nice, we got some umbrellas. Good. Flash over here.
<clears throat> Alright, let the fun begin on the island. And back in town, I'm running up to go do some more errands for villagers. Uh, but first, while I'm in town, I want to drop off all my new feng shui items. I'm dropping off all these treasure chests and G logos and Apple items. Two, two red armchairs, two Apple TVs, two G logos, and three treasure chests. I like it. Just missing one treasure chest. Flash. Keep where do you think you're going? <coughs> all right. Now that my goods power is up there. Run a few errands. Wait, did. Is that an umbrella? Oh no. What are those? Or are those just shirts? Alright. Tyball, what do you need? Nothing. Really? You don't need. You don't need me to do anything for you. Paulo doesn't need anything either. Alright, whatever. Ellie wants a ball. Are you kidding me? Well, if I find a ball, at least I can complete that, that quest. Alright, I need to get Flash over to the gyroids. I'm going to do an abbreviated session to try to get 20% before noon. No one needs anything in town, except for a ball. Well, I'm gonna look for a ball. Alright, Flash, you're gonna start making your way down towards these gyroids. And I know you're gonna get distracted along the way. That should be enough. Gives me a few minutes to dig everything up. Take the boat right over. 
Hopefully I hit 20% before noon. Sorry. There we go. So we're going to get new carpets, wallpapers, and gyroids. That's going to increase my odds of getting new things. And a f hopefully a few new pieces of furniture as well. Oh, and umbrellas. Hopefully I get a tenth umbrella so I have double digits in the items. That would look cool. I think my Wii clock actually runs a little fast. I don't think it's actually one-to-one, -one, but now I think about it. So I feel like it's getting off slightly compared to my timer. Like my timer will be at 558 by the time it hits uh, noon. I know I started at 601, maybe not. Anyways, I got a few minutes before uh, the clock strikes noon. Let's see what we got here. Daffodil parasol. Yes. That is a tint umbrella. I love to see it. And a leaf umbrella, which I already have. That's fine. I got tin umbrellas. Awesome. And a jagged shirt, which unfortunately I already have. Alright, let's see what we got here. Starting with wallpapers. Mod wall, that's new. Yes. Three minutes, two minutes really. Classic wall is new, awesome. Exotic wall is new, okay, we're good. We're definitely hitting 20%. Yep, all these wallpapers are new. 20% is, uh, that's not new. But uh, very, very good odds. Also not new, dang it. That is new though. Alright, I have time to rebury these wallpapers, but I'm gonna dig up the carpets and gyroids and check. Actually, I'll just check now. 20%! Yes, 20% before noon! I haven't even dug up the carpets! Let's go! I did it! 20% before the afternoon with two minutes to spare. Nice! Hey, Cold Eggman, thank you, thank you. I appreciate that. Less than six hours in, already 20% done with the game. First day. That is really cool. I'm glad I decided to do an abbreviated island session to try to hit 20% before noon. It just feels like a really cool achievement. Probably actually might be able to get 21%. Well, I don't know about probably, but maybe at this rate. <clears throat> Wow. Let's go check out the gyroids. Should be three new things as well. Gargloid, yes. Tall Sputnoid. Mega Tutoid. <laughs> sure. Is that 21? Nope, still 20. That's fine. 290 items before noon. That's cool. The challenge has been going great, actually. I've had a ton of fun already. Uh, first three hours were errands for villagers and completing Nook's chores. Next three hours have been setting up the island and completing, or like getting new items from the island. And there we are, the six hour mark. It is officially noon. 20% done with the game, only a fourth of the way through the first 24 hours, 290 items in the catalog, 4 paintings, 
And uh, looking at the spread, we have 135 furniture items, 17 wallpaper, 16 carpets, 75 clothes, 10 items, 9 umbrellas, 1 shovel, 23 stationery, and 14 gyroids already. Looking good. <clears throat> Looking very good. <laughs> the reason why it's my timer's not quite at 6 hours is because I started... Uh, I, I set my time to 6 a.m., but when I started up my game file, it was already 6.01. So, uh, that's realistic with, you know, starting a brand new town as soon as Animal Crossing was released. <clears throat> Assume you live right next to a GameStop or Walmart, and you just ran and picked it up, and you came home immediately. ASAP. Alright, let's see what else we got. <clears throat> Uh, I already have all of that. That might be new. Yep. I can't remember how many columns over I had Flash dig up. I think it was only... It was either four or five. I think it's only four, though. <clears throat> None of that is useful. Alright, six hours in. So far, so good. I think my plan for the evening is I will do one more solid island session and then call it at that for uh, for tonight. <clears throat> Let's see, did I go this far? Yes, I did. That's new. Nice. Oh wait, I have a pot machine. I might have actually been at 21% and I didn't even realize it. Let's see, am I at 21% now? No, I'm not. I would not have been. Snake plant. I think I already have a rocking chair. <clears throat> cool, cool. I don't think I went this far over. <clears throat> I'll dig up a few things and check. I don't think I went this far over. No, I remember burying that there. And that. And that. Okay, yeah. <clears throat> he dug up a few random things on the way over to the gyroids, but I'm not going to bother trying to find two things that he dug up. Alright. Excellent. I can drop these off. Cool. One more good island session, and then I'll call it a day. I am now at 21% though. Nice. So this will definitely put me over 300 items after this next island session. I think that's a pretty dang good accomplishment for the first six hours. It'll be like six and a half hours. A little over six and a half hours by the time I'm done. That sounds good to me. I know, I got Flash again. <laughs> isn't that... That is so funny, isn't it? Look at this strat, though, Cold Egg, man. Look at this. Max happiness. Uh-oh. I messed that up. You're not allowed to poke him. You're not allowed to... Uh, unless he has a tool in his hand. Alright, let's try this again. Back inside. 
Yeah, so basically how it works is if they, they can hold up to five items in their like inventory space and if they go inside, it'll clear out all the items in their inventory and increase their happiness by one for each item they had. So you can give uh, you can give just like 300 bell bags and then force flash to go inside and then uh, and then he'll be max happiness when he uh, when he comes out. Also, yo, what's up, Dune? Thanks for the raid. Appreciate it. How was the stream? Hope it went well. Yeah, everyone who joined, I'm doing the first 24-hour challenge. First day challenge is what I'm officially calling it. And basically, when Animal Crossing came out in September 16, 2002, this would be how much can you complete in that very first day, starting at 6 a.m. It's a very interesting interesting challenge idea and I'm having good I'm having a pretty good successful uh, run so far I must say and I'm having fun whoops flash try this again no harm done that that happens I've even accidentally entered sleep mode earlier today and uh it's all good <clears throat> Thank you, Dune. I appreciate that. I'd be curious if anyone else was ever interested in trying this challenge as well. If they have everything uh, needed to do the challenge, and what kind of results they end up getting. This ended up being a much faster paced challenge than I was expecting, because I'm playing in my town as well as on the island at the same time. So I'm playing essentially two games at once. Both Animal Crossing, both related to the same game file, of course. But trying to play two games at once takes takes practice. It's not easy. But I've I've slowly gotten better at it over the last two hours. Thankfully, Flash can uh, the Flash is the name of the Islander. He can uh, he can dig things up while I'm playing in my main town. Flash, you're not supposed to go that far, but that's all right. That's that's why I was that was there. All right, column three, it's time, I guess. Oh, you're running some Golden Net E+. Very nice. Yeah, I know how Golden Net runs go. Believe me. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, yeah, it can be pretty, uh, pretty lackluster with as far as RNG goes for quite a while. It only what I pressed Y. I didn't know that could happen. Well, that's obnoxious. I guess you can't press Y. I don't know why. Uh, Flash, you're supposed to pick up the shovel. Alright, let's try this again. Back, back over here, Flash. Back over here. Now I sold a bunch of seashells back to Nook, so I'm back at 2,600 bells. I honestly don't want to sell too much to Nook because after a while he will uh, upgrade his store on future days, and I don't want that to happen because then his store will be out of, or then he'll be out of commission, and I won't be able to, um, you know upgrade my house. 
and I want to prioritize that. And as well as getting the tools, golden, or you know, getting the rod and the net, I want to prioritize that over Nook closing his shop. So I don't want to sell too much to Nook on the first day. Flash, what are you doing? Dig something up, please. Flash, over here, can we please go into it in a systematic manner? Flash. You don't get the net and the rod on the first day. I was thinking ahead if I were to do this for a day two challenge. Yeah, I was thinking, I was thinking uh, a little bit ahead. All right, I just got a star shirt back in Oh my goodness. <laughs> I accidentally enabled sleep mode. Sorry. Flash. This would actually be, I think, easier on a Game Boy Advance or Game Boy SP, because I'm using two GameCube controllers. The Game Boy Player wasn't released until March of 2003, or maybe it was June 2003 in America. North America. Uh, which is, so I technically should not be playing on the Game Boy Player, but I couldn't stream it for you guys if I was playing on the Game Boy Advance. Though I'm sure you guys are, would rather see uh, <laughs> footage of me running around in town now that I think about it. But I wanted to at least stream some of the island stuff so you can get an idea of how it works. <clears throat> My next stream I may actually play on the Game Boy Advance instead of on the Game Boy Player because I think it would be a better viewing experience for you guys now that you've seen how the island stuff works. There's not really much point in just showing this off for the majority of the challenge. So I think I think that's what my game plan will be. You get you get the gist of how the island stuff works. And then you can just see me actually running around in town, which is what I'm doing now, instead of me commentating on what I'm doing. And then I can play on the Game Boy Advance, which is actually what you would be playing on in September 16, 2002. Flash, have you got- have you already dug up all this stuff? Maybe you have. I do wish I had a second shovel. I think Tybalt's having lunch right now. Yes, he is. <laughs> it is between 12 and 12.30. Tybalt is officially having lunch. I'm returning a glasses case to Apollo. shirt. Says not to complain about it. Yo, Wick, thank you for the raid. I appreciate that. How are you doing today? Stormy shirt is what I got from Apollo. I do believe that's new. It is not. It's sad. All right, Apollo's out of requests.
My game plan now is to com continue completing chores in player for player two. Actually, I don't want to do that. I'm going to make a player three. So I can get more carpet and wallpaper. Meanwhile, Flash is doing whatever the heck he wants over there. Apparently he's already dug up that spot. I don't know. Actually, I am going to complete chores for player two, I've decided. Player three can have an unfinished chores, uh, yeah, or maybe even player four. It doesn't really matter. Flash, you're not making my life easy. Currently talking to everyone on player two. Alright, I'm finally going to plant flowers for uh, Tom Nook <laughs> with player two. And I think I've decided next time I stream, uh, I won't show off the Island Game Boy uh, advance like what you're watching on the screen right now because I think you guys get the idea and I can just show off what I'm doing in town while I'm playing the Game Boy Island. That'll make my life a little easier as well anyways. Alright, I'm gonna save the flowers. What? Ellie found a ball? <laughs> Wait, what? That is so funny. Okay, so what happened was Ellie requested a ball from player one earlier today. Player two is currently completing chores, but is not to the point where I can run uh, villager quests yet. But Ellie just said out of like the corner of the acre, hey, I found a ball because a ball spawned in the acre and she ran towards it. Uh. <laughs> So, uh, I was like, wait, no way if that activates errands. But it does not. But that was interesting, nevertheless. I was running back to my house to drop off all the flower bags, because I'm going to save them for later. And I'm going to drop off the saplings as well, they could also be useful. Interesting. I completed a villager quest during a segment of chores when it, was impo when it should be impossible to complete a villager quest. I was not able to collect the reward yet though, so now I'm curious to see if that will count as, to see if I'll be able to immediately collect the reward when I get to it, when, it, when, I, when I unlock it. 
Meanwhile, Flash is about 75% done. <laughs> I got a maple bonsai from Peanut. I think I already had that though. Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna make sure Flash dug up all these gyros. Kind of important, since they are the highest odds of being new every single time for now. I think he got them all. Yeah. Oh, you know what I realized? One thing that I could do in the future if I were to do this again to improve it is I should uh, I should make I should actually write letters to all of the uh, villagers um, during the chore sequence for four players immediately because that way, hopefully at 5 p.m., they will all write me back and they will they'll write me back in you know hopefully new stationery. I don't think it makes too big of a difference, but it might be the difference between a f one or two pieces of stationery. Not the end of the world, but I don't know. Maybe it's not more efficient because I can do this while I'm doing the island. Flash, where are you, where are you going? You got more things over here. You're not done yet. Finish writing a letter to Ellie, which is who I wrote the letter for for uh, my main character. All right, I now have to complete a, a an errand for someone. No way. Um, Ellie, when she found the ball and said, I found, it's a ball. It automatically counts as completing the uh, errand. I got a cowhide rug, which I already have. That's unfortunate. But I completed, wow, that's so crazy. I completed uh, an errand for Nook by bringing a ball to a villager. No way, it doesn't count. It didn't count for Nook. I completed a villager quest, but it did not count because it didn't initiate it. I didn't initiate it with this player. I initiated it with the other player, but that did not count. That is so interesting. And then Ellie doesn't need anything, so, but that counts. Oh, that's hilarious. Well, now I know. Now we know.
All right, we'll get another carpet from Apollo now. That's all I wanted to get through in the chore sequence until I need to hurry up and save and quit and reload my main player. Character. Apollo, where are you? There you are. Flash, where do you think you're going? You're not done here. You got a few more things. Got it all. All right, I'll let Flash walk around, see if he uh, finds anything that I didn't catch. I got a plaza tile. That's new. All right. No, it's not. Dang it. But I can bring it with me. What is Flash doing? Oh, he, he found something that I missed. Good. Alright, I'm saving and quitting with player two. About to load up player one. See if Flash finds anything else that I missed. What about over here? I feel like I missed some stuff over here. Yep, there's something. Good find. In fact, it was an NES game. Uh, that could be very useful. It is 12.30. 12.27. I'm loading up player one again. And I think Flash found everything. I think he's dug everything up. At least just about. Now going to bring more carpets and wallpapers over to the island, and I'm running over to the island as we speak. <clears throat> Alright, well done Flash, I think you found everything. There. There we are. So looking at the catalog, we're at 21%, 296 items, six and a half hours in. I should hopefully get at least, hopefully at least 10 new pieces of furniture, but we'll see. Hopefully at least three new wallpapers and carpets. Hopefully like a few new pieces of clothes. Um, and hopefully all brand new gyroids. Then after that, I'll call it a stream. I'll write down what time I concluded this session at, and I'll start there next time. I can't believe it's already been six and a half hours. This has gone by so fast. I'm having fun. It's very fast paced. And uh, very interesting challenge, I must say. I must say it is. A few new things have happened today. And uh, that's what I love about Animal Crossing. New things happening. New discoveries. New... Th yeah, just, just new random things happening. Also, I'm starting to get more shirts than I need, so I can... I can start using them as gifts. Here we are. Alright, let's see what we got. 
starting with wall papers. Concrete wall. Alright, so I do not need to make a player with the concrete wall wallpaper. Another concrete wall, of course, of course. Groovy wall. Very nice. Another groovy wall, really. Alright, can we get one more wa new wallpaper? Yes. Alright, three new wallpapers. There's actually one more I can dig up. Another groovy wall. Wow. Alright, what do we got here? Citrus carpet. Nice. Cabana flooring. Very nice. Plush carpet. Oh, I already have that. Kitchen tile. Nice. Can we get one more new carpet? No. That's alright. Three new carpets, three new wallpapers. I think it's new. Yep. That is not new. Bummer. That is. Cool. Nice. Don't need that. All right. I'm gonna replace this, pla replace these with carpets. So I'll have two rows or two columns of wallpapers and carpets. All right, time for garbage items now. Tulip table, don't need that. Hopefully get some new stuff. I really hope so. Good. That is my third Apple TV, which I'm actually gonna save. Cause that is the, oh no, I can't, Never mind. I have no more room for red items. I need a treasure chest or a G logo. How many snow cone machines is that? There we go. Speed bat. Oh. Never mind. There we go. Basic painting. Nice. New painting. That's awesome. I think that's new. Yes, I got the. I have a completed set. I don't even think that's the first one. Oh right, that's just a hundred bells again. Can 
think I have that. Okay. I think I have that. Yeah. I already have that. Are you kidding me? A tape deck? <laughs> Oh, that sucked. None of those were new. Alright, still plenty more to dig up. Alright, those are shirts. Six ball shirt. And Andrew shirt. I have both of those. Hey, there we go. Something new. It's nice. Also something new. The first vase. Also something new. Okay, there we go. Yes. I think I have this. Yeah. But that's alright. That was a good one. Yeah, one week challenge could be interesting as well. Absolutely. Lime chair. I think I, I think that's new. Flowery painting. Yes. All right, that is six paintings now. Awesome. Well, the reason why well you, the reason why I started on September sixteenth was well you know why. But yeah. Obviously, you're welcome to do the challenge and starting whatever day you would like, but this made sense to me. Because the first time I did this challenge, which was a few years ago, I did not consider what day I should or should not start on. I just started on, um, like, if you were to pick any day of the year, what would be the most optimal? Just like you're thinking. And, uh... Ooh, a famous painting. Wow. And I... I'm trying to remember what day I ended up picking. I think it was sale day, maybe. I don't remember exactly. I didn't get past 4 a.m. I also started at midnight. Yeah, I'm burying everything. I don't... I don't need to... I don't need to... Uh... Actually... You know, uh... Send them off to the museum. And I can rebuy them in the future. Here we go. I'm only I only have the white queen left. Oh, and the black queen and the black bishop. Alright, that's fine. Nice. All right, this is not a bad haul, all things considered. I haven't even used Apollo being in the same acre as Ellie yet. That has not even come into play yet, but it will later, probably, possibly. Pine chair, nice. I got everything that starts with the word pine. Uh, except for like a pine cricket, of course. Every thing that appears in the catalog. Orange box, really. Bug zapper. I think I have this. Yeah, I think I got like four of them last time. <laughs> Or three of them, that's my fourth one. Alright, not the greatest haul on that column, but we got one more column of, fur column of furniture.
Wait. This is a pointless spot to put something. The Islander can't reach this spot. But it can reach this spot. Whatever. Diver Dan. Refrigerator. I was hoping to get one more treasure chest so I could max up my goods power. But, oh well. Or anything else uh, that has a special feng shui. Bonus. Flip top desk, nice. There we go. <laughs> the very last item is a treasure chest. Wow, that's amazing. All right, great. Very last furniture item. All according to plan. I like it. All right, I'm replacing this with a piece of furniture. All right, the rest of this, uh, we'll do the gyroids first. Mega Bowtoid, all right. Mini Nebuloid, uh-huh. And Mini Tutoid, do I have that? Okay, thank God, I have all the other Tutoids. I have, I have all the Tutoids. <laughs> That's pretty crazy. I've completed a gyroid set, which is not a real thing, but it uh, kind of is, in a way. Alright, the rest of these are closed. Let's see what we get. That's new. Awesome. Not new. Not awesome. Two ball shirt. I think I have that. Yeah. Number three shirt, I think I've got that. Yep. Yep, got all that. I've already got that. I'll double check. Yep. Oh wait, no, I don't. Blue check shirt. Right? That's what it said? Yes. Awesome. That can be confusing. Dang it. Oops. I think I have that. Okay. Yeah, I'm not getting a whole lot of new shirts. However, I could start implementing my strat here pretty soon. Where um, I don't increase the villagers' friendship. But instead I have them dig up shirts and rebury them, and they may rebury a thousand bells or a common shirt, which would not, uh, which would actually give me more new shirts, potentially, or theoretically it should. Wow. Yeah, that was both the blue check print and shirt. All right, well, I, I did. How many new shirts did I get? I guess I got two more that I can dig up. Not a lot. Nebula shirt. Okay, at least we got something new. Another caveman tunic, of course. All right, well, that's it for shirts.
so, um, once I return to town, I will see what the final uh, percentage is. Now, here's actually an interesting inefficiency. I will not be saving my Game Boy Island to the uh, uh, to the Game Boy Advance. But if I were to do a 24-hour challenge for real, I would. So that's that's interesting. Oh, I need to drop off the shovel, I guess. I don't have to. Uh, I'm going to. Actually, no, I don't need to. I can drop it off later since I'm not saving it to the island. Maybe that is actually fine. Okay, cool. All right. That means I can do some stuff with the shovel back in town um, next time. All right, let's see what we got. 23% completed, 331 items in the catalog. It is not even 1 p.m. yet. Seven paintings, 159 furniture, 20 wallpapers, 19 carpets, 83 clothes, 10 items, 23 stationery, 17 gyroids. Only one duplicate gyroid so far. Not bad. You know what, I'll push for 333 items in the catalog, and I can, I guess I could implement my, uh, yeah, I'll do a few errands, that sounds good. I'll do a few errands, go for 333 items in the catalog, and then call it a day. I also haven't found the golden spot, I just realized. That's funny. Alright, I'll try to get two more items. One of the benefits of maxing out my goods power is so I can get more diverse stationery. Now this is a house right here. Just for fun, we'll organize it. Look at all those treasure chests. Listen to all those treasure chests. And Apple TVs. <laughs> and G logos. It's awesome. All right, let's run a few errands. Tybalt, I think, uh, wants a fish. Didn't actually want furniture, but I guess I'll take it if it's new. I don't think that is. Oh, it is new. All right, one more new item. Nice. Yeah. Sure, Apollo, I can keep delivering things to Tybalt. That works for me. You know, I think I'll also check my catalog just to verify everything. Alright, new outfit. Hey, there we go. I got all the wavy shirts. Alright, that's 333 items. That was easy. 
Let's see. Let's see if I'm actually correct. Hundred sixty one pieces of furniture. I wonder what I'm missing. Well, I'll figure that out later. Twenty wallpapers, nineteen carpets, eighty four shirts, yeah, ten items, twenty five stationaries. Oh yes, because um actually I do need to record those. I, I thought I'd be at twenty four, but apparently twenty five. Yeah, simple paper. Oh, I never recorded Mystic Paper. That's funny. All right, there we go. I was actually at 333. Um, already. I don't need to confirm the gyroids. I know that I have 17. Uh, I'll confirm them later, later on. Before Nooks closes on this day. On this fine day. And there we have it. Pick that up. Oh wait, what time is it in t in my uh, my town? It is 12:52. So I will start the day at 12:53 next time. And there we are. All right, let's get started. Dang it, my cables got a little twisted. Oh, there we go. I actually untwisted the cables, amazing. All right, so first things first, let's go straight to the island and get that loaded up. Yep, looks good to me. Get the island going, because I will be multitasking the island and gameplay back in town. All right. Timer, timer. That's all right. Not the end of the world. I'll adjust the timer on my boat ride over. Wow, this, the screen is very dim. <laughs> I guess I will just have to get used to that. I need like a stand. Let's see, what can I do about that? I have some tape, like some duct tape. Let's see if that works. Kind of. Hmm, what else? I need like a wedge. How about a Nintendo 64 game? Oh, that's perfect. <clears throat> Alright, nice. <coughs> yeah, that's perfect. Alright, I got my Game Boy Advance. Got my town loaded. Do this. So the primary uh, amount of work I'll be doing today will be in town, and it's going to be getting uh, stationary. I'm going to try to get as much stationary as I can by running errands for villagers again. I'll be continuing that process once again. Uh, I'll be doing that with the other... Ooh, actually... Never mind. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I'm gonna think about that. Now I think about it, should I run errands with the other character? However, I, I should not do that. The reason why is because goods power is not actually factored in to the equation until you've completed chores. And goods power is, uh, you know, I, I raised it for the point, or, you know, for the whole point of getting stationary. <clears throat> Rare stationary, that is. 
So, at least for a while I'll be running errands with uh, this, my first main player character. And then I'll switch over to the other player character after a while. <clears throat> wow, I cannot see the Game Boy Advance at all. I'm going to have to turn on the light. My eyes. Even that barely helps. Alright, zoom in. <laughs> oh my goodness, this is very, very uh, small and not bright. <clears throat> well, we'll see how this goes. Alright, so I'm playing on the Game Boy Advance now. Beautiful. Flash is going back inside. Come back out. He is max happiness. Excellent. And I will give him a shovel. Where is that shovel? Is this the shovel? Do I have the shovel? Did I not drop off the shovel? That's not good. <clears throat> I thought I dropped off the shovel. Why would I not just leave it there? Oh my god. Why would I do that? That was such a dumb decision on my part. Well, let's try this again. That was very stupid of me. I could reset. <laughs> nah, I'm not gonna do that. I guess the reason why I brought the shovel with me last time uh, was just in case I decided to need it back in town, but I don't. And I was like, oh, well, next time I stream, I'll just, I won't be, you know, I won't be careless. I'll double check to make sure I dropped off the shovel. I also am charging some AA batteries that are rechargeable. So if these batteries end up dying, the ones that are currently in the Game Boy Advance, I will hopefully have some charged batteries ready to go. We'll see if that actually happens. Wait, what am I doing? <clears throat> Alright, let's try this again. Transmitting data. <clears throat> Alright, try this again. Transmission complete. Game Boy Advance. 
Knock, knock. Alright, Flash is out. Dropping off some bell bags for him. Try this again. Alright, he has max happiness. There we go. He's got the shovel in his hand. And he is now digging stuff up. Perfect. This is going to be great. It's going to be a good time. I wish I had four hands. This would make my life a lot easier. I'm not playing two games at once. This is going to be fun. Oh yeah, Tybalt's out of commission because he doesn't need. He, he wants a bug, which is not possible. doesn't need anything. Great. Wait, what? Okay. Yeah, this is difficult. I don't even know where Flash went. There he is. Alfonso. No, Flash, you stupid nonsense. Get over here. Oh my goodness. Alfonso's out of commission. Tybalt's out of commission. Peanuts going inside. Am I gonna actually have any chores to run? <laughs> this isn't good. <clears throat> yes. They're all going inside for lunch. <laughs> it is past one. That is prime lunch time. <sighs> this is very hard. <laughs> I can't even see the Game Boy. I need a Game Boy SP. I, I just can't see the Game Boy at all. Oh I need like a lamp, just super bright, shining straight on the game. I can't see this thing. <laughs> I don't even know where Flash went. There he is.
Why is why? I need an SP. Yeah, I need an SP. This is too hard. <laughs> this is way too hard. It, I need a backlight. Who designed this Game Boy Advance? Who thought this was a good idea? This is difficult, and I don't know if I'm going to get stationary. Oh my goodness, she wants an apple. I mean, that's technically doable, but I, need, I would prefer, a sh I need a shovel. Because I guess I need to start implementing Operation Annoy Apollo and Ellie. <laughs> but I need a shovel. But it's on the island right now. It's currently in use. Plus, Apollo is... Where is Apollo? There he is. These two animals need to talk to each other and be happy. I don't know where Flash went. He dropped the shovel. He just put it down. Flash, get over here. This is this is too difficult. I can't see my Game Boy. I need a shovel. Ellie doesn't need anything from me. Flash, get over here. Where are you? He's shaking the coconut tree. Stop it. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Hmm. This was going well earlier, but this is this is a struggle. This is a struggle. I need more hands. Oh no! Because I have a second character now, we're starting to get uh, dialogue related to them. Which is going to uh, get rid of the ability to, uh, or that's going to reduce the odds of other dialogue now, since there's more dialogue in the dialogue pool. I can't. I'm going to turn off the light. <laughs> No, that's worse. Yeah, I need a Game Boy SP, like, badly. Flash, what happened to you? Why are you not max happiness anymore? Oh, because he planted a flower over there, you stupid bird. I did not tell you to plant a flower. What do I, oh my Game Boy is running out of batteries anyways. This is this is a real struggle, let me tell you. Okay, let me think about what I want to do. How do I want to tackle this situation?
What I need is I need more villagers to... I need to run more errands for villagers. But half of them are locked behind needing special rewards. And even once I complete the special reward, if I do, they don't need any more errands for the rest of the day. So that means... Basically, what that means is I will only have two villagers that need something done. And it's currently Apollo and Peanut. Yuka wants an apple. Tybalt wants a fish. Um, Alfonso wants an insect. Ellie wanted a ball, but she already got a ball, so she's done. Now I'm just going to let Flash run around by himself and and uh, dig things up. But I need a shovel. If if I get if I had a second shovel, Ellie and Apollo could um Yeah, they they I could get them trapped and then I could get a bunch of stuff from Apollo and Ellie. Cuz right now they're Cuz right now Apollo is whistling. Flash is digging stuff up. Okay, I got a mosaic wall. That's good. Yay, something new! <laughs> Hawthorn bonsai. I like it, I like it. Alright, so I think the plan, it's been a bit of a struggle of a start, but I think the plan is um, to uh, pay more attention to stuff going on in town than, uh, than on the island. And unfortunately, I had to deliver a letter to Ellie from Jade. I might actually delete Jade's character. Because, look at this. This is ridiculous. Where did Flash go? Yeah, I think I'm going to have to delete Jade's character. This is... This is... I'm looking at the same letter over and over again. <laughs> Alright. I think that's my plan. I think I've got a plan of attack now. I have to delete player two. Flash is still doing his thing, digging stuff up. That's good. <clears throat> Alright, I got my Game Boy positioned pretty well so I can see it better now. That's, that's excellent. Yep, time to delete player two. That was a mistake, for now. Yeah, that was a mistake for now. I didn't think about the fact that I was going to impact villager dialogue for player one. Now I could use the island to duplicate my shovels. However, that seems cheating. Oh, we got a letter in the mail. Oh yeah. Um, yes, of course. This is the letter from Nintendo. From a brand new 59 block memory card, which I'm using. And welcome to Animal Crossing. A whole new experience. Yes, that's right. I almost forgot about this. So this is a grab bag that contains three things. Donkey Kong, I think, is one of them. Tennis and, uh, yeah, there's Donkey Kong. Tennis and then KK Love Song. 
Perfect. So we got some new items that way as well. Awesome. 24%. So moving along, Jade, I can't see. Alright, so far so good on the island. We're still doing well. I think I'm getting into the swing of the new setup. Jade, stop. Just lie down. I have too many things I have to focus on right now, Jade. Charlie, with the sub. Thank you very much, Charlie. I appreciate that a lot. Where is Flash at? Where'd he go? Oh, there he is. He's still doing his thing. Nice, I got some stationary. Please be new. Alright, that's a fine spot to lie down, Jade, I think. Daisy paper. That should be new. Excellent. Yeah, it's perfect timing to say hi to Jade. She is currently lying down. She finally found a good spot. And meanwhile, I am playing two game two games at once. And it is uh, it's a good time. Having a great time. <laughs> what do we got? Big bro shirt. I do not I'm wearing that. I obviously do not need that. Alright, Flash is still going strong, digging stuff up on the island. Oops, Alphonse is over here. Oh yeah, half of them are inside right now. Because it is lunchtime. Yo, Chris. Hey, Chris. Wow, 51 months and tier 2. I appreciate that a lot. Thank you, Chris. Yes, Whooper indeed, Whooper. It is good to see you. And uh, I am currently playing two Animal Crossings at once. And uh, it is it's going great. And now... Yeah, that's a number, all right. 51, that's a, that is... That's a big number. Oh, they're mad. Alright, the island's still going well. There we go. Now they're happy. The eagle and the elephant. Chris, let me, let me, uh, you know, when you're older, I'll tell you about that. About the eagle and the elephant. Ooh, I can get a uh, carpet, money, or furniture. Uh, let's go with carpet. Steel flooring. Flash over here. Where do you think you're going? Flash over here. No, absolutely not. Do not go to the right.
All right, now to get them to whistle again. Suppose I can do this. What? Or not. There they go. Okay, that'll work. Yes, get some carpets. Jade, get off my keyboard! God. <laughs> uh, Jade has no, does not care if she's lying on my keyboard. She'll just lie right on it, not a care in the world. Does not understand the implications of sitting down on my keyboard. All right, flash. Come on, you two, whistle. Oh my goodness gracious. All right, island's still going good. These two, this eagle and this elephant, they just do not like to be happy with each other. Come on. Come on, you two. <laughs> These two do not get along. Why do they move next to each other? Wow. Okay, that should make Ellie happy at least. Flash over here. You gotta, you gotta come over here. You, you gotta come over here. Flash, where did you put the shovel? You just dropped the shovel somewhere. Pick up the shovel. Put it back. <laughs> oh, now they're... Oh, okay, that worked. Come on, Ellie. What do you want to... You want to give me something, I know you do. Yes. Yellow Bolero. I have that. Well, this is, uh, this is great. Flash, get over here. Where did Apollo go? Did he run off? Yeah. Oh, they switched. <laughs> there we go. You know what? I actually want to talk to Apollo. Apollo can. Yeah, 
Flash, what are you doing? Well, this is not working out very well. I don't know what I should focus on. I was hoping to get more stationary. Flash is still digging stuff up on the island. That's good. That is that's a happy bird. Apollo should be giving me furniture more quickly. Carpet. I already have that. That sucks. Hey, K Man. Flash dropped the shovel. I need to figure out what to do about this. Alright. Try this again. Flash. Get over here. Actually, yeah, this is a perfect spot. Alright, nice. My goal is to catch a nice frog. It's not a bad goal. At this point, I don't know if it's better if I should just like divide the work or uh, focus on one thing at a time. <clears throat> hey, 
Hey, healing sage. Oh, no wonder I wasn't getting anything new. My inventory is full. Alright, well in that case... Flash, pick up the shovel. Your work is not done here. Okay, what do I want to do? Do I want to divide and conquer? Or do I want to focus on one thing at a time? At this point, I don't know which is more efficient. This feels very inefficient doing two things at once while only doing half the work from for both. But on the other hand, it will diversify my items a lot more but everything is taking twice as long to do, and that sucks. If I had two shovels, this would be a lot easier. Okay, I'm going back to the island. This is very painfully inefficient. Let's see what kind of haul I got on the island. If I do this challenge again, I don't know what I'd change. It is, I need a better setup for my Game Boy. That, that's number one. Step one is a better Game Boy setup. Step two is grow two more hands. <laughs> All right, I'm transmitting data. <laughs> Game Boy's in sleep mode. Oh, it's raining! That's cool. It wasn't raining earlier. Interesting. Oh, how's my day going? It's going well. It's going well so far. Uh, a little overwhelmed with this challenge at the moment from, you know, trying to play two games at once, but other than that, yeah, it's going great. Interesting that it suddenly is raining. I wonder if that... That doesn't make any difference. That's actually just going to make it more annoying to uh, uh, <laughs> see everything I've dug up on the island, but that's alright. Yeah, if I, I wish I had two shovels. I'm thinking about focusing my attention back on the mainland for a while. I think that's what I'm going to do, because this is overwhelming. And uh, I think I can actually get more accomplished back in town. For now. Hmm. 
I'll think about it while I dig up all this stuff. Let's see what we got. Hopefully we got some new stuff. An old brick wall. Hooray, that is new. We got a parlor wall that is definitely not new. Also not new. Oh wait, yes it is. Yes. Nice. Two new things so far. Good. Exotic might be new. Nope. Plaza wall. Yeah. Alright. Good. Those are all in my rare list. Excellent. Floral wall. Alright, that's in my common list, but that is new. Nice. And plaster wall. Well, that was a really lucky haul. Alright, five new things. See what I mean? Like, that was five new items. Back to back. Back. Stone tile. That is new. Nice. Modern tile. Another stone tile, alright. Plush carpet, that is not new. Hey, that's new. Nope, not new. Not new. That is new. Awesome. All right. Good deal. Okay, so there's four more carpets that are, uh, four more carpets in my rare list left, and four more in my common list. So my carpets are actually almost done. There's five more rare wallpapers and two more common wallpapers. All right, now for the furniture. Whoops, what did I just mark? Dang it. Naomi figurine, nope. Nice. I think the wobbling is new. Yes, good. Don't need that. Clue Clue Land. Yeah, this is, it's, I, I just wish I had two shovels. I think my life would be so much easier if I had two shovels.
Yeah, so what I could do is, and it's not even like, like, is it a glitch? Like, I could drop off my shovel on my island. I could come back to my island to pick up my, like, to pick up my shovel, and then I'll have a shovel on both my island and, you know, back in town. Like, I could do that, but is that a glitch? That's the question. And even if it is a glitch, do I allow it? All right. Four island items in a row. Very nice. Five in a row. There we go. Five in a row is four to the fifth. Jay, get off my keyboard. God. Alright, we're good. At any moment, Jay could actually, like, press a button to just end my stream. <laughs> Good jade. I'm gonna save the famous piano, or the famous piano. Famous portrait, famous painting. There, I got there. Where is it? There it is. She has a lot to say today. That's all right. She's allowed to have lots to say today. Donkey Kong. Another G logo, very nice. Yeah, 
cat. She's a good cat. Motsy's doing well as well. Ringside table. I already have it. Yep, he is doing just fine. Living the dream. Nice, more ranch stuff. More, nice, more Cabana stuff. Samurai suit. I already have that. Alright, let's get see what the new gyroids are. Tall sproid. Tall Tympanoid. Mini Plinkoid. Alright, nice. 20 gyroids. And the shirts. Nice, a heart shirt. That's new. Concierge shirt. Don't need that. Ooh, a flame shirt. Let's go. New shirt. That is the new shirt to wear. shirt getting some new shirts do love to see that checkered shirt no don't need the checkered shirt oh yes I do It was a checker board shirt that I wasn't sure if I needed or not. Nice. There's actually only five more rare shirts. That's crazy. And there's seven more common shirts. Only five more rare shirts. I almost want to be done with shirts. Oh, I do need the nine ball shirt. Wow. I do need the oh I need the dice shirt as well. Dang. Um I can I think I'm actually out of tie-dye shirts I can get. Definitely do not need a Chi Chi print. I've gotten so many of those. There's another one. So I only need four more rare shirts. 
That's crazy. Um, that is not a shirt I need. Right? Yeah. So the four rare shirts I've left are a, a racer shirt, BB shirt, puzzling shirt, and thunder shirt. It's crazy. <clears throat> so, let's see. What do I want to do now about the situation? First of all, I need to bury things here so Flash stops dropping random stuff, or ra randomly dropping a shovel off when he shouldn't be. Fix that obnoxious behavior of his. I think I'm going to do one more round of island stuff. And then at 2 o'clock... Oh, wait. No. 2 o'clock, Apollo goes inside for lunch. I need to... Uh, I need, No, I'm not going to... He'll be back at 3. Yeah, that's fine. One more... One or two more rounds of island stuff. But 26% completed already. So, some good progress already. 90 close. Okay, let me think about this. <clears throat> so I'm almost out of shirts that I need. I'm almost out of wallpapers and carpets as well. Right, so I can go to the island now, which is what I'll do. So I'm going to start off making sure I get... Oh, wait, nope. Drop the shovel. Drop the shovel. No. Uh, drop the shovel. Dr dr okay. Try this again. Kind of messed that up. My bad. I'm going to start off making sure... Oh my goodness gracious. Alright, Flash, stop. <laughs> I accidentally poked him. And now he's not happy with me anymore. I'm going to start off making sure he gets the carpets and wallpapers. And then I'll sort of let him do his own thing. For, uh, for a little while. While I run some more errands. But yeah, I want to make sure he gets all the carpets and wallpapers, since those are the most important. Alright.
There he goes. Alright, see if Apollo needs anything yet. Okay, he wants me to write him a letter. That's fine. Right, I for no flash. No, 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 no! Oh my God, you stupid bird! Get over here! I look away for five seconds, and he sprints to the other side of the island, and he plants a flower. <laughs> Dang it, I made him, I poked him on accident, now he's mad at me. Alright, get over here. Shake this tree, shake the stupid tree. Oh my goodness, shake this tree. Thank you. Now eat the coconut. And this one. This is going really poorly. <laughs> Alright. Now over here. Over here. Over here. Okay, he's max happiness. Over here. Over here. Over here. God, he does not listen. He has a mind of his own. You just have to mash A. Otherwise, he just completely ignores your what where you want him to go. All right, we're back in business. All right, I wrote this stupid letter, Apollo, but apparently you have to write it well for him to give you a gift. Oh my goodness, Flash, stop! He is so fast, he is the Flash. <laughs> Barber's pole. Mm. 
Alright, you two need to become friends again. Oh, Apollo's not inside. I thought it was lunchtime for, for him. Maybe it's 3 o'clock. Nice. Uh oh, my Game Boy's battery is running low. That's not good. Static shirt. Sweet. Flash is doing his own thing now, good. Where'd Apollo go? Oh my goodness. This is why I need a shovel to trap them so they don't run around the map. mad though. Deal. He just bought my uh, he just bought my Donkey Kong for three thousand bells. Nice. Nice. Dang, I don't need the six ball shirt. You're not being productive right now. Mm. 
Oh yeah, uh, let's go wallpaper. Dang it. Should have gone carpet. Where'd Flash go? I, I do not have eyes on Flash right now. It's not good. Oh look, a red dragon flies. Well. Here we go. Yeah, I don't have eyes on Flash right now. Oh my god, he got himself stuck. Alright, he's he's back in business. He's so happy. Where'd Ellie go? Ellie, where are you? There you are. Ah yes, the magic vase of happiness. <laughs> Oh yeah, he can just take items. That's right, that can just happen. Flash at there he is. All right, he's doing his, he's doing his own thing. It's all good.
Okay, I have a theory I want to test out. It's with Alfonso. I'm gonna try to see if I can, if he can just become happy from normal dialogue. Because I remember, um, lazy villagers. Lazy villagers, once they're happy, they literally just stay happy for like an hour straight. And I get a ton of items that way. Like a bunch. And that includes carpets, you know, that includes everything. Carpets, wallpapers, stationary, clothes. Oops. And, uh... Uh, and furniture. Okay, I'm gonna see what happens if I just give it to him. Does it make him happy? Oh, I already have that. No, he just still gives you something. Sorry, I'm dealing with the island. I accidentally pressed B. Sad. I have an idea, actually, to get both Peanut and Alfonso to talk to each other from adjacent acres. Uh, if I could have anything right now, it would be carpet. Very nice. Oh, yeah. However, the only problem with this strat is I would need a shovel. Well, at least it's new. Thank <laughs> you. 
Let's go back to all uh, Apollo and Ellie for now, and then I'm going to go back to the island here soon. I'm getting better at multitasking. It's still very hard, though. Hey, hey, no, my goodness gracious. Flowers are kind of obnoxious. <laughs> kind of in my way. Let me see how Flash is doing on the island. Looks like he's dug up uh, a lot. Wow. He's actually dug up quite a bit. Letting him do his own thing has worked out very nicely, I think. There we go, he found something new to dig up, finally. I think that actually worked favorably for me. Cool. So, oh hey Poke, how's it going? So I'm heading back to my island now. 27% complete. My multitasking has improved since the beginning of the stream with my new setup. And looks like my AA batteries that I'm charging right now are halfway done charging and my Game Boy seems to be back into green for battery life so it's uh, it's probably still got a good hour, maybe even hour and a half left in it before it before the these batteries are dead. And I can put into sleep mode while I'm on the island. 
So, I think I've got a good system going now. Oh yeah, anyways. Here, here you go. Here's the island. And sleep mode time. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that poke. That is, that, that sounds rough. Uh, but that's that's just life, right? Uh, but yeah, I'm doing well. I'm doing well. I am enjoying my time in real life and in Animal Crossing. And uh, right now, this challenge is very interesting. It is a challenge for sure. Oh, okay, I got the playroom rug. Good. Uh, but yeah, all is well for me. All in all. Okay, so you'll get to you'll get to see him again in December. That's fine then, right? That's only uh three months away, four months away. No big deal. All right, here we go. I actually got a, f a handful of new items back in town while Flash, I think, dug up basically everything in town. Or, I mean, on the island. So, let's see how it goes. Oh, hello, Flash. He dropped 100 bells for me. That's nice. All right, so I have an idea, or I have a, I have a strat I'm going to implement. I am going to start burying random shirts. No, I'm going to start burying random shirts near Flash's house before I increase his mood, because then he can dig them up and replace them with um, either a thousand bells or another common shirt. So I can turn shirts into a thousand bells which I can turn into umbrellas. So I'm going to start focusing on getting more umbrellas now. I think that's going to be my game plan. But for now, let's see what new stuff we got. An arched window. That is new. That's a that's my common list. So I am almost out of common wallpapers. In fact, I only have the cabin wall left. That's the last common wallpaper. Ornate wall, nope, don't need that. Regal wall, uh, nope. Cabin wall I do need, that's the last common item. Last common wallpaper, wow. I have no more common wallpapers left to get, I got them all. But I still have five rare wallpapers. Dang. Kinda hoping it. that's not how it'd go down, but, oh well. Five rare wallpapers left. Yeah, that's crazy. Five rare ones, and I got like ten uncommon ones. Oh, my battery, the AA batteries are done charging. I don't know, it made that noise. <laughs> nice. Alright, diner tile. I don't think I need that. No, I do not. Charcoal tile, nope. Don't need that. Nope, don't need a shanty mat. Dang it. Nope, don't need that. Come on, at least one new thing. Oh my goodness. That's unfortunate. I think once I'm down to like two two wallpapers left and two carpets, I'm gonna stop trying to go for them. Cause I don't think they'll be productive at that point. Just to get two new items, which I could potentially get in town. Old flooring. Eight mat to Tommy, dang it. Come on, what else we got? Kitty carpet. Bummer. 
Nope. There we go. There's something new. Good. It's one of the rare carpets. Excellent. All right. I'll take that. I'll take that. One more rare carpet, and I think I am done with carpets. For now. So I need a backyard lawn, ornate rug, or blue flooring. Are the final carpets. Oh yeah, more wallpapers. I don't need that. Or that. Now furniture, right? Yep. I think that's new. Yep. Good. I do like starting off with a new thing. Is that new? No, it's not. I remember getting that. That might be... Nope, it's not. Pretty sure that's the only model item I have, yeah. There we go. Oh yeah, I have all the corners. <laughs> I think that's new. Nice. Yay, Nook's portrait. <laughs> that's a fun one. Shirt. Nope. Nope. I am going to replace these shirts with more furniture. And back over here, I'm going to bury these shirts. Because I can implement that strat I was talking about. In fact, how many shirts do I have left? I have four rare shirts. I think when I get one more rare shirt, I'm gonna stop trying to go for rare shirts. I think that's a I think that's a good plan. Ooh. Nice. That's also five thousand bells. I'm gonna keep that item. Because that is a lot of money. I mop. <laughs> this has been a good haul furniture-wise. Made up for the lack of uh, wallpapers and carpets. And it's not even done. What else we got? Nice. I think I have that. Yep, it's fine. I, yep, got that. Yep. Tennis. Oh yeah, I already have that. I need pinball, excite bike, and uh, balloon fight. They are the only NES games left that I can uh, that are common. Ooh, a strange painting. I already have that, but I'm gonna go ahead and start keeping paintings now.
even if I already have them, and I can start donating them. Branch hut, hutch. Oh, I already have that. Dang it. Oh, I think I have this. Oh, I don't. Now I do. What exactly is going on? I am, well, I'm doing the first day challenge. Get as many items as possible. Complete as much of the catalog as possible in the first 24 hours. Currently, I'm doing item island strats to get items. Well, I'm doing, I'm multitasking technically. But at the moment, all I can do is dig stuff up. That is a lot of mossy stones. Coffee machine, I already have that. Don't need more diver dans. Yeah, we're not using any nook codes. Because they did not exist in 2002. Well, they did exist, but they uh, they were not really discovered. Uh, like, universal codes, that is. For a little while. I'm also choosing not to do player codes as well. Well, player-to-player -player codes. Just one town. Violin. Dang it, I got that back in town. The second half of furniture has been pretty underwhelming. Dang it. Is that new? Dang. Like 20 duplicates in a row. That is unfortunate luck towards the end of this island session. But I'm, I'm, I'm still at 27%. I gotta be close to 28. Almost at 200 furniture items, though. I think that's gonna happen next island session. Oh, wait, that's 100. Oh, no, we're good. Ranch armchair. Already have that. Don't need a low lantern. I think I have, yeah. Dang, this is unfortunate luck. Treasure chest. Oh, there we go. We got the first item in the game. A blue bed. There's still plenty of furniture I can get. Still plenty of it. Let's see what gyros we got. A tall warbloid. Good. Mini sproid. Good. A bow void. Good. 28%. Hooray. I am going to move the gyroids now. They are going to go right here. Oh, there's already a carpet there. That's fine, actually. Dry roads are going to go here.
until I think of a better spot for him. Yep. And just to be safe, I'm gonna put 100 bells. Well, it's fine. All right. Back to the island. First, I will give Flash a shovel. happiness. Yep, all right, good, good, good. Let me get through the carpets and wallpapers since that is the trickiest part. Meanwhile, head back to town and uh, nice new paint job. <laughs> See if Apollo needs any any work done. Or Ellie. Yeah. <laughs> 
Alright, trying to get Ellie and Apollo to talk. Oh, there they go. All according to plan. <laughs> There we go, we got all the gyroids replaced. Flash is still doing good work on the island. Flash do his thing for a little while. He is digging furniture up on his own free will. What do we get? Hey, there we go. New new item right there. Sure. Don't need it, but uh it's nice. Cool. Where'd Ellie go? Ah, uh, Apollo, over here. Okay, that works. Yep, sprint over here. Next to Ellie. Island's still going well. Flash is still digging stuff up. 
Nice. Oh, birch flooring. That's new. It's one of my common carpets. It's also one of the floors you can get from uh, one of the default houses. Nice. Flash is still digging stuff up on the island. All's well there. There we go, there's the game that I was hoping to play. Blue chair. Nice. Today is only halfway over. In fact, it's only a third of the way over. Sure. Corn plant? Why not? So I'm, now I'm thinking ahead to the middle of the night hours. That might just end up being island only. We'll see. Like between 2 a.m. to 6 a.m., that might just be island stuff. Which means I need to get Alfonso happy. Uh, that should be one of my priority plays uh, before too much longer. No, 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 this is, uh, I've only been streaming for two hours today. This will be split up over several days. This is day two. The in-game time is almost 3 p.m. I started at 6 a.m. And uh, so far, so good. Flash is still digging things up on the island. He's doing a great job. These two don't seem to want to be happy at the moment. Nope, that's not going to do it. Wow. Alright, Flash found more things to dig up. There, that'll do it. Catch a string fish? Hate to break it to you, Apollo, but 
I don't think you'll be finding any string fish in the near future. Now or in the near future. <laughs> Hey, I got a checkered tile. That is in my uncommon list. Nice. Where'd Flash go? Oh, there he is. He's still finding things to dig up. Come on, you two. There. Ooh, a bus stop. Oops. Sweet. I think that's new. Oh, it's not. Yep, I see Flash is still digging stuff up on the island. Perfect. That'll make him happy. Perfect. Oh, I lost eyes on Flash. Where'd he go? Oh, there he is. Still going strong. Oh, I don't. Now I do. Is that new? Yeah! I only have three figurines left now. I was very lucky. There we go. 
All right, Flash. Let's uh, let's go over here. Let's go over here, buddy. Here we go. He found something new. Goals to catch a sea bass. That is more realistic than a string fish of hollow. No, giant snakehead. Ah, oh, you can catch that, I guess. It's not too late. Well. Actually. Flash, where are you going? There you go. We're going with furniture for now. Yes. I think I'm gonna go for go with furniture as my reward for uh, for the rest of the challenge if I have the option. Because there's still plenty of uncommon furniture that I haven't found. Cabana wall, nope. All right, a little bit longer on the island. You know what? I'm gonna start heading back to the island. Actually, I think I'm basically. I think I've Flash has basically dug everything up. I say that and I see him dig something up. <laughs> Flash. All right, we're gonna do. I'm gonna do a quick sweep across my island. See see what he's missed. Did he find something? No. And I'll start heading back towards my island. There we go, he found something. I had a feeling he hadn't completely cleared out this column yet. Three o'clock, so uh, yeah, everything's fine. All is well. I think he's basically gotten this whole right side of the island. Oh, he found something. All right, good. Yeah, that was a tricky one. Go down this column flash, see if you need anything down here. Alright, let's go back up. All right, that should do it. Back to the island. That is a brand new set of items to dig up and hope that they are new. And I'm gonna bring these shirts with me. Hey Greens, thank you for the good luck with the challenge. Finally getting into the swing of playing the Game Boy Island and Animal Crossing at the same time. Still not perfect at it, but I'm definitely getting better. So currently at 28%, 405 items in the catalog. Almost a third of the way through the catalog. With a little luck, I might actually get there with this island trip. And um, I have five possible wallpapers I can get remaining from the island. Once I get down to two, um, I will stop trying to go for wallpapers, I think, for now. And um, once I am down to... Ooh, I'm almost out of rare carpets. Once I'm down to two rare carpets, I'm also going to stop with the carpets. And I only have 
four rare shirts left. Once I'm down to three, I'm gonna stop trying to go for rare shirts. Because I think that's just... The amount of... The rate of return is just not gonna be high enough to really be worth it. At least, I'll stop for now. Maybe if I'm having a real hard time getting new items later on in the day, I'll go back for them. But for now, I think that is perfectly fine. And... Here we got a thousand bells, which I don't need to dig up because that can turn into an umbrella. But possibly some new clothes. Red scale shirt. No, don't need that. Kitty shirt. Nope, definitely don't need that. These should all be common shirts, I think. Which, um, I. Yeah, I don't really need most of these. But Thousand Bells can turn into umbrellas. So all these shirts can turn into bells, which can turn into umbrellas afterwards. And I need lots of umbrellas. I, th I think there's still like 20 umbrellas I can get. So I definitely want to take advantage of that. enough 100 bell bags. Alright. Um, yeah, that's fine. I'm gonna keep... You know, these flowers actually need to go. They're, they're in the way. They're very nice, but they are absolutely in the way. Okay. That should be a good couple columns of shirts. Now... And I think I'll go ahead and plant 100, yeah, 100 bells here. Or bury them. That way I have even more of a buffer. Look at all these yellow pansies. It's funny. All right, now for the fun stuff. Potentially. Regal wall, don't need it. Gold screen wall, I do need it, yay! That's the last wall, oh wait, no. Right, we're on wallpapers. Gold screen wall. I need one more rare wallpaper, and then I'm done with wallpapers for now. Oh, wait, no, that's a lie. I need two more. My bad. Rose wall. Rose wall. So we're looking for a kitty wall, exquisite wall, modern screen, or green wall. Hey, we got the exquisite wall. All right, come on. If I get one more rare wallpaper... I'm gonna be so happy. That's gonna be that's gonna just be excellent. Oh yeah, carpets. Stone tile, nope. Fancy carpet. I do need that. It's one of my uh, common ones. Fancy carpet, good, good. That's fine. Bamboo flooring. Nope. Oh, I should be saving more furniture and bringing more furniture to replace the wallpapers with uh, furniture. Yes, I should. Green rug. Dang it. I need a green wall, but not a green rug. Don't need that. Nope. Yeah, I should I should not be getting rid of my furniture. I should be collecting more furniture now to 
switch out carpets with uh, a carpets and wallpapers with furniture. Yes. All right. I'm done with carpets. Um, I'm gonna start. Yeah, I'm done with carpets for now. I'm gonna start switching them out with with other stuff. Yes. Absolutely done with carpets for now. Oh, I already had a kitchen tile. That's fine. So, I guess I'm not done with wallpapers yet, but I am now done with carpets. Um, so I need a lot of more, I need a lot of furniture. Interesting, interesting. Hmm. This might be a situation where I come back to the island later. With more furniture. Because I absolutely do not need... You know, I could do one more round of wallpaper. But I am definitely done with carpets. 100% done with carpets. One more round of wallpaper. So I will switch out all these carpets with wallpapers and... Uh, We'll do one more round of them. But after that, I need to just bring furniture to replace all this stuff with. Yeah, sounds like a plan to me. So in that case, I'm actually going to not donate any of this stuff. Because I, I don't need to. I can just buy it later. It doesn't contribute towards the... Well, the museum, it doesn't like track when you donate it. So it doesn't really matter when you donate it. I'll get more items I can... Or more furniture I can sell for more later. Green rug, right, don't need that. Did I already dig all this stuff up? I'm pretty sure I did. Yeah. Okay. Done with carpets. Oh yeah. Yeah, oh yeah, that's that's another new carpet. I have one rare carpet left. Which is the Packyard Lawn. However, I don't want to... Yeah, well, let's see what we get here. Don't need that. Don't need that. Oh, and we got gyroids now. Gargloid. Oh, I already have a Gargloid. I wonder if this is faster. I also don't know if that counts towards my catalog now that I think about it. I need to test that. I need to test that. All right, so my plan now is um, I will come back later with more furniture and uh, to replace all these carpets with. But for now, I guess I'll just rebury some of these carpets in order to, uh, you know, there's still there's still potentially one more carpet I can get. So 
So I'll be taking these nine carpets back into town and replacing them with, well, some new stuff. All right, here we go, furniture time. Nice, 190, or wait, no, how many furniture is that? 199. I only need a white queen and a black bishop. Ooh, an Ico figurine. That's number 200. Wow. One more furniture. I'm over a third done with furniture. Basically there. As is. There it is. Over a third of all the furniture has been collected already. I'm sitting at 29%. I am like 20, like less, a little less than 20 items away from over a third complete with the entire catalog. Wow. 30 wallpapers, 30 carpets, 25 gyroids. I'll probably, yeah, we'll see how many gyroids I end up getting by the end of this. Maybe about half, maybe a little more. Who knows? We'll see. Speed bag. Nope, I need a sand bag, not a speed bag. Another white pawn. Don't need that. A white knight. <laughs> what was the white item I need? White queen, that's right. Ranch armchair. I think I have that. Yeah. Yeah. The f the new furniture is definitely going to be, you know, it'll be less and less with every single session. But that's just the way it is. There's a new item. The rate of return is definitely dwindling. But the thing is, is that the items that I do get, most of them are crazy red or lottery items, and this is the only way to get them right now. So it, they're, it's still worth it, in my eyes. I could bring these uh, these seashells back with me for more money. I mean, I could, but eh. Twenty-nine percent. I think I'm definitely going to get thirty percent uh, here shortly. Oh, 
Oh, that's a hundred bells. I don't need to dig that up. Oh, come on. Yep, the rate of return is dwindling fast. Pineapple bed. I already have that. Bomber. Tape deck. <laughs> there we go. A moving painting. Awesome. Ah yes, back to shirts. Caveman tunic. Don't need that. Already dug this up. There's, there's actually not a whole lot of new shirts that are possible for me to get, but I'm still hoping to at least get one or two. Come on. Yeah, there we go. All right. Um, I am now also done with shirts. <laughs> I am done with shirts on the island. I'm done with wallpaper, shirts, and carpets. That's crazy. So that means I want to replace all of this stuff with furniture. Uh, which means I should probably focus on furniture back in town for a little while. Especially while the villagers are still awake. Oh, I guess I could always just get furniture in the middle of the night with a second player character. Of course. <clears throat> that is always an option. Come on, can we get one more new shirt? That'd be cool. Nope. Nope. 
Dang it. There's still three rare shirts left and five common shirts. Yeah, I'm definitely done with the island for now. Definitely done with the island. I don't know why I'm reburying these shirts. I don't need to. A cherry shirt? Guess I already have that. Another, another cherry shirt. All right, we're not reburying those shirts. In fact, I'm also going to. Yeah. What do I want to do? What do I want to do now? These are the three gyroids. I'll dig these back up. I'll bring them back into town. Because, yeah, I'm done with the island for now. I need more furniture. Simple as that. And I need the shovel. Alright, cool. We're done with the island for now. Hooray for no more ridiculous multitasking. I'm at 420 items in the catalog. Seven shirts away from 100, which I definitely think I'm going to reach. And... 25 gyroids, 26 stationary. I'm hoping to get some more stationary as well. Now, umbrellas I can focus on later when I have more money as well. Yep, I have lots of umbrellas I can get. Wallpapers and carpets, I'm basically just down to uncommon wallpapers and carpets now. When I make a new player character, I should choose the uh, house with the shanty wall, because that is a free item. And I should also try to get either a paw shirt, mint gingham, folk shirt, or daisy shirt. Since those are default shirts I could start with that I can get right now as well. As far as furniture goes, I have a lot of uncommon furniture, so I think it's valuable for me to focus on furniture since I'll likely get more new furniture quickly or quicker on uh, back in town for now. Especially, well, anyways, it really doesn't matter what time of the day I do this, but if I'm trying to do errands, it needs to be the middle of the day. Or does it? No, it doesn't. Yes, it does, because of the goods power. If I'm trying to go for stationary, I have a window of time to get rare stationary, more likely. Okay, got it. I'm all situated here. Yeah, I should have brought this furniture with me. Oh, well. All right, now that I have the shovel, it is time to get Ellie and Apollo to hang out next to each other. Where's Apollo at? Please tell me he's not inside. Oh, if he is, I have a, I have another strat. He's probably inside. I think it's lunchtime for him. Yeah, yeah, it's lunchtime. Okay, in that case, um, I will focus on Alfonso and Peanut. I can get them to talk to each other in adjacent acres. Um, using a little trick. Let me make sure they're both outside before I go to all the trouble. Peanut should be outside. Yeah, okay, good, good, good. Peanut might be annoying to get this to work. Peanut, you gotta go this way. You gotta... You gotta go over here. Can I get... This acre sucks for, uh, for trying to get this to work. Because this bush... Okay, well, uh, hopefully we can get this to work. There we go. All right.
Dang it. This this acre is really bad for what I'm trying to do. Especially where Peanut's house is located. Dang it. Can I go up here? I guess I can... No, I can't get it. I could get Peanut stuck right here in this corner. That might be the only method I could I have to work with here. I don't think I can get her stuck down in this corner. I'm going to try for this corner. Basically what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get Peanut and Alfonso to talk to each other so that Alfonso's mood will be happy. This might work. But to do that, I need to get I need to get Peanut in a in a spot. Oh. Huh. Wait a second. Oh, I did it. I was like, wait, that shouldn't be possible. No, 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 you stupid squirrel. You stay right where you're at. You do not run back into the bounds. Okay, we got Peanut stuck. I don't want to talk to you. I just want you to stay put. There we go. All right, Peanut is stuck. Now Alfonso's turn. No, 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 Alfonso, you... You go over here. There we go, that should work. Dang it, it didn't work. No, no, back here, this way. Turn around. No, Peanut got out of the, tr got, ugh. This is really annoying, but I believe. Oh my goodness gracious. No, 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 no. No, ugh, dang it. Wait, we're good, we're good, we're good, okay. I thought I, I thought she got back in bounds. Yeah, you're not going there. Alfonso, get over here. Turn around, there we go. No. No. Oh, this is so frustrating. Alfonso, no. Get over here. This can take forever. <laughs> I just need them to talk to each other. Just once. I need Alfonso to get in this corner now <laughs> turn around turn around Alfonso turn around I said turn around there we go all right no he turned back stop it stop stop all right you know what new strat we're gonna get you slightly trapped don't rush me <laughs> stop it stop we're gonna get you semi-trapped so that I can get this stupid trick to work. Is this a glitch? I don't know. Now I think about it, maybe this is a glitch. But at the same time, it can it just randomly happens on accident. Like, all the time. There we go. All right, I got Alfonso stuck in this corner. Good, now I just need to try to get Peanut stuck again. Where did she go? Where did she go? Uh-oh, oh my God. Well, hopefully Alfonso didn't teleport.
Wait a second. <gasps> Wait, what? This isn't a. This is incredible. Wait. Where's Alphon? Yes, they're talking. They're talking. I did it. I got him. I need to get Alfonso stuck again so I can repeat this. Yes, I did it. Now I can play this game with Alfonso. And Alfonso will, it, he's just gonna whistle forever. I might as well uh, see what Peanut has to give me first while she's whistling. And then I can go back to Alfonso. Yes. <clears throat> oh, and with this strat, I can make money. I Give me that 10,000 bells. With this strat, um, I can also make a ton of money. Yes. All right, we're good. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Agreed, Alfonso. And I can check if I need to buy these things. Yes. All right, we're in business. This this was the way to go. Alfonso does not like lose his happiness when he gives you something new. And so you can just talk to him endlessly. And he gives you a ton of clothes as well. Alright, this is the strat for a little while. Probably until the end of the stream. So probably about an hour of this. I don't remember how much stationary he can give, though. So we're gonna find out. This is a good way to get carpets and wallpapers as well. I don't remember how much stationery he gives you. Now that I think about it, I don't know if it's a lot, but we'll find out. Anyways, nice, we got this strat going. And Peanut didn't even, I didn't even have to like glitch her into this corner. I just pushed her from one side of the corner to the other and she just walked right over. So I'm gonna say this is not a glitch, it's more of a an Easter egg. <laughs> nice. So now we just got to get them to talk to each other again. To do that, just got to run down a little ways. There we go. Okay. All right. I got the strat. Just enough for the camera to. Uh, pan over a little bit. 
In fact, I have a strat where I can do this. Right, don't go past this line. And they'll re-talk to each other again. Maybe a little further. Where the other holes in the other acre don't go away, but it's far enough for them to re-talk to each other. See if that's enough. One more. Apparently. Come on. Okay, not far enough. Interesting. Uh oh. That that's a problem. Okay. Okay, that's fine. Peanut seems to be the easy one to get back into the corner. My mom always told me I'm special. That's right, Alfonso. Oh, I need a modern wall or a modern screen. Oh yeah, if you say no, then they'll offer you something else. That's right. There we go. I should also save my furniture that I collect as well. Oh, Alfonso's whistling again. Nice.
Nice. Thirty percent. Yes, thirty percent. Wow. Right, and let's see, like less than 10 items away until a third of the entire catalog is complete. Wow. Come on, Alfonso, I thought you were going to give me more clothes. I got lots of clothes that I still need. I thought I was going to get more of those. And I also thought he would be happier for longer. You two also need to talk. Come on, there we go. All right, I, I seem to have a strat. Just sort of do this little, little loop. We'll run over here, get them out of the camera, come back, come down here, move the camera, go over here. Where'd Alfonso go? No wonder that didn't work. Okay, that should also work. However, it makes me nervous. Alfonso, move. Oh my goodness. All right. All right, this strat seems to be somewhat effective. Yeah, I guess if I could just give Peanut more space to uh, walk around, maybe that'll be, maybe that would work. Also, I bet this would be helpful. Yeah, life would be a lot easier if they were just in the same acre. But Apollo and uh, 
Ellie are in the same acre. Just Apollo's having lunch until four. So I thought this was gonna pan out a little better. But uh, at least this kind of works. Kind of works. Alfonso's gone. Dang it. Well, it was fun while it lasted, but unfortunately, I think uh, I think that strat's done for now. It was a good, it was a good attempt. I thought that was going to pan out a lot better, and I thought he would give me stationary. So at this point, I think just running around and talking to all the villagers actually might work. We'll see. Money is nice. <laughs> hmm. Wish I had more of that money. Oh my god, I actually, she actually she actually does that. Well, that sucks. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
Thunder shirt. Yes. Yes. That's a rare. That's my rare list. That's crazy. Alright, nice. New shirt. I'll take it. Well, at 4 o'clock, which is in 5 minutes, Apollo and Ellie should be out uh, at the same time. And then I can implement the shovel strat with them. Cabana wardrobe. Uh, yeah. Dang it. Oh, he gave me he gave me this A shirt. I already have I already have an A shirt. Yeah, now he's happy. Lucky GameCube. Thank you very much for the sub. I really appreciate that. <laughs> you, you always have, <laughs> uh, you always have a sub whenever I stream. That's funny. I don't know exactly what that means. Ooh, right. This guy will actually, uh, yeah, he'll, he'll give you a bunch of options. Real to real, I'll take it. Sure. Um, but thank you very much. Oh wait, that's 13 months streak. 15 months total. Thank you very much, Lucky GameCube. I do appreciate that. Wait a second. I think I got Alfonso and Tybalt mixed up. I think it's Tybalt that stays happy forever. Rick Rack, what's the last one? Red Bar Shirt. I might have gotten the personalities switched up. Never mind. I actually don't know can't remember. I might have actually... If... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. One of the personalities just never, like, or rarely will lose its happiness when, um, when you talk to them a bunch. Even when they give you free things over and over, assuming they're already whistling. I can't remember if it's lazy or... or, or uh, or jock. What is Sven? Sven's lazy, right? I think it's lazy, which I was correct with Alfonso. Is that right, Lucky GameCube? That's funny. A cabana screen. We'll say, uh, we'll say no. It didn't matter. My goal is to get... Uh, oh, I'm officially a third of the way through the catalog. Over a third of the way through the catalog. There we go. That was my goal for the day. However, now what I want to do... Is get Ellie and Apollo in the same acre and start testing out that... Oh, and I should save all this furniture. What is this? Oh, yeah. Alright, I will talk to Apollo until 4 o'clock game time now. Kitty shirt, neat paper, and neat paper and apple. Do I need that? No. Nah. Hmm. 
Oh, but entering Apollo's house will now make it so I'm going to get more... Uh, I'll have less odds getting unique furniture from him. But I think I do need some of the things he has in his house. So I'll just roll with it for now. Ah yes, here we go. Crazy red game. Track model, I'll take it. Paul's mad at me, or he's annoyed with me. It is four o'clock. He should leave his house now. There he is. Ellie sh is, should be out till five. Yep. All right. We're good. All right, Ellie. Uh, over here. How many? Let's see. One, one, two, three, four, five. So I want Apollo here. No. Here. Well, these flowers gotta go. They were fun while they lasted. Same with these. Apollo. Oh good, they're both looking at the bug on the rock. That works out well for me. Oh wait, those those other flowers didn't need to go. Whoops. Oh wait, yes they did. All's good. All's yeah. All's well. All right. No. Stop reading the sign. <laughs> All right. Now we're in business. Regal bookcase. He already gave me an item from his house. That is funny. Well, that's cool. Too bad I don't need it.
Alright, Ellie's dialogue seem to be pretty bad, but Apollo's are good. No, he's only giving me regal bookcases! That is so funny and annoying at the exact same time. Well, all because I entered his house. The only way to reverse that is to, uh... All, the only way to reverse that is to, uh, save and quit. Which, you know, at least it, it can be reversed. Come on, Ellie, you gotta have something good. Some good dialogue. I want to believe. Her dialogues are so bad. <laughs> the odds of getting two regal bookcases as my first two pieces of furniture items are one in a hundred, by the way. Wait, did I mark the Rick Rack shirt? Okay, yeah. I've been implementing three different strats. The strats are uh, the island games, um, this, and this is the first time I implemented this strat, and then doing errands. So I've done all three of them, and they're all useful in different aspects. Earlier I was playing, uh, I was doing things in town while also doing the island item, or island game on the Game Boy. So I was playing two games at once, and it was difficult, but I finally figured out the strat to play two games at once, kind of effectively. Uh, right. Carpet. Yeah, it was, uh, it was some difficult multitasking. Don't need that. Maple bonsai. Nope. 
But yeah, this strat seems to be pretty good. And I, I won't be able to do this strat in the middle of the night because Ellie will be asleep. So I gotta do this while I can. I think I can do this until like 9 p.m. I'll be well. I'll be able to do this in the middle of the night with another character. But when I but the problem is is um with ooh, a rocket with <laughs> with this character. With, well, the problem is that I want to have my goods power maxed and. Um, it doesn't actually max until you complete chores. So, you have to complete chores. But the problem is when you complete chores, all the villagers will have a regular sleep cycle again. So Ellie will be in bed. And I will not be able to uh, have boosted goods power while, um, uh, while I've completed chores with one of the players. But before I... Okay, that should make him happy, right? Oh, no, it doesn't. But be, but um, but after I complete chores, I'll boost a good power, but before I won't. So that basically, what that does is, well, as it stands, having boosted goods power is only useful for stationary, which I'm not getting anyways. So honestly, I could do this any time of the day. But I was kind of hoping to get some more stationary. Oh, Ellie wants a ball again? Huh. Interesting. I do know where a ball is. Alright, I'm done with this strat for now. Well, I'll get one more piece of furniture from Apollo. If there was- I wish there was a way I can get stationary quicker. Now, if I could run more errands for villagers, that would be nice as well. But the problem is, is once you complete chores, villagers will request errands that are like once per day. And some of them are impossible because um, I can't catch bugs fish. I'm going to I'm going to go with uh, carpets and wallpapers whenever he offers them. Dang it. But before you complete chores, the errands they request are all simple and um, and like guaranteed to be able to be completed. There we go. There's a new new item right there from my uncommon list. Excellent. Nice, another new carpet. Awesome. Prism shirt, snowy paper, and an orange. Do I need... Not need snowy paper. Do I need a prism shirt, though? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I, I can go for that. Sure. Yes! 
That was very risky and lucky. I gambled and it worked out. <laughs> nice. Oh wait, that was that was a guaranteed happiness. Oh well. So is that. Don't need it. Look at that shirt. Three. I think that should make him happy. Yep. Waterbird. Yes. 31%. Nice. All right. Uh, I'll do this for like three more minutes and then call it a day. I'll get three more, yeah, uh, okay. Three more pieces of furniture. They don't have to be new. Dang it. Maybe I should just keep going for furniture. And I'll just get wallpaper and carpet uh, whenever he does that one game where he just switches wallpapers and carpets with me. Because 
Because I also need to be collecting more furniture for the island as well. Alright, yep. Yeah, I'm just going to accept furniture whenever he offers. I've decided. Uh, dang, it's already 420. All right, we'll go with one more reward from Apollo and call it a day. There we go. All right, new item. That'll work for me. Good deal, good deal. So we're finishing at 4.21 p.m. There we go. There we go. <laughs> cool. Awesome. So first things first, I'm going to do a check. I'm going to do a count of how much furniture I have. I want to start swapping out all of my all the clothes, wallpapers, and carpets with furniture. So, to do that, I will drop off some of these things, and I will run around and pick up furniture. And I have a bunch of furniture over here from Apollo. There's one. In fact, I can let's see if I can get another piece of furniture. <clears throat> Eh. I think I've got enough. For now, and I can accumulate more. There's a bunch right here. So let's see, that is 16 pieces of furniture? Yep, 16. No, 17. Even better. <clears throat> Ideally, I have a little bit more than that, but it's a good start. Did I drop some furniture off down here? I'll, I guess I'll head to the island this way and see if I dropped off any furniture down here in these acres. I don't think I did. Oh, I did! Aha! Oops. Awesome. All right, that's 19 pieces of furniture. That should be good enough for now. And uh, I will I will continue to accumulate more furniture as time goes on. <clears throat> hey, what's up, Kyler? The challenge is going well. I have been implementing different strats, and I think they've been working out pretty well. But the new strat is to do island games uh, on the Game Boy Advance, and then simultaneously collect more items back in town. So I'll be playing the island at the exact same time as I'll be playing the game in town. And multitasking is going to be <laughs> uh, the name of the game here. Two games at once. 31% complete at 10 hours, I say, is decent pace. And um, I think 50% is doable. We'll see. I think that's my ultimate goal is 
And I have a feeling it's going to be close. We're going to find out, though. This, is, this became a very interesting challenge when I realized 50% is actually a, a possible and somewhat challenging but achievable goal for, uh, for the first 24 hours with the rules I've established. <clears throat> so we'll see. We'll see, but yeah, multitasking is the name of the game for this challenge. All right. So, for now, I need to make room. So I don't need, oh yeah. <clears throat> All right, there's the, there are the gyroids. I don't need any of these things buried here. However, it might be in my best interest to keep the wallpapers around a little longer because there are three rare wallpapers I can still get. And I will swap out all of the clothes first. Which is just a few rows here, not too much. <clears throat> Swapping out clothes <clears throat> for furniture. Hey, Charlie. Hey, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Oh, yeah, I need to bury some furniture here. Definitely don't want to forget that. That could be unfortunate. Yep, all's well over here. Alright, looks like I'm gonna keep a few clothes buried. Uh, just because I don't have enough furniture. Not quite enough, but that's alright. It'll be good enough for now. There are still a few rare shirts I could get. So we'll go ahead and go for them. <clears throat> and then over here, uh, all the carpets can be swapped out. Don't need... Oh, I've already swapped out a good amount of these carpets. I don't even know how many I have swapped out. All right. There, there, there. <clears throat> these shirts can also double as gifts for Flash to take. Why did I just... Oh, wait. Wait. Oh, there we go. So, actually... Actually, I'm doing pretty good with how much furniture I've got. Four more pieces of furniture I can swap out. And now... Okay, that's fine, I guess. That'll work for me. <clears throat> Alright. Right, right. Alright. So... <clears throat> let me just double check there's no carpet here. Okay, it's a wallpaper. That's fine. I will swap out these wallpapers now. And that is a good start. I will go get more furniture back in town while doing the Game Boy Island. And... Shovel. We'll put the shovel over here. There's Flash. 
because these these uh, buried items over here on the left, those are shirts that I want to exchange with normal mood. Transmitting data now. I think I've got it pretty well situated. All right, transmission complete. And zooming in. Good, yeah, this this will work just fine. And flashes off. <laughs> Currently s swapping out clothes for a I think it's a 50-50 whether it's a thousand bells or if it's uh, more clothes. <clears throat> Maybe it's 75%, 25% actually. If that's the case, then um, this is not that productive. Yeah, this is not actually that productive if that's the case. I think it is the case. But I still need some common, some clothes from my common list. So this is good enough, I guess. <clears throat> Yeah, that's not that productive to do. But I'm gonna go ahead, get this going. I'm now playing two games at once, once again, and uh, it'll take me a minute to get into the swing of it, but I believe in myself. There we go. And we're off. Now the strat is to say hi to Tybalt and uh, just keep talking to him over and over again. I think when he talks about muscle cramps, he gets happy. So that's... Oh, he gave me a botanical shirt, which I already have. Flash over here. All right. So I now have an inventory full of stuff and I made Tybalt sad, my bad. Flash, where are you going? Oh my goodness gracious, he got stuck behind a tree. Are you quite okay now? Okay. All right, he's good now. <laughs> Apollo! Can I help? All right, I think uh, running errands is, is ideal. Oops. Running errands is the ideal strat. But if no one has errands to do, then I'll just talk to them. Where did he go? Where did Tybalt go? 
Oh my goodness. Multitasking is hard. There's Yuka. All right. <laughs> yeah, I know. Day one, he's like, he's like, yep, I'm ready to move. It's uh, I've already had my uh, my my share of this town. There we go. Finally, Flash, you finally dug up the spot I wanted you to dig up. Oh my goodness, this glasses case has been shared around the entire village. Oops. Everyone but Ellie had that glasses case. You know what I don't like about uh, gaming chairs? The arm chair, the armrests don't go back far enough. Why? Why don't they go back farther? I got some furniture. A blue burrow. I'm pretty sure I have that. Flash, where on earth are you going? Oh, it is new. Sweet. Yeah, I don't know what the deal is with these gaming chairs and why they don't have armrests that go back for them. Is there like a, an, an, a reason for it or is it just really poor design? <laughs> a secret lab chair? Never heard of that. What's a secret lab chair? Is it like a like a brand or is it uh something else it's the brand okay <laughs> that's good <laughs> i'll look into it because i am my uh my gaming chair is currently kind of like uh i don't know it's wearing out pretty quickly and rapidly now I think it's about time I upgrade, or get an- I don't know about upgrade, but get a new one. And, uh, so secret lab. Got it. Alright, stationary. Ranch paper. Nice. This is actually going well, I have to admit. Oh yeah, Ellie wants a ball. Yeah, it's been about two years since I've got this. Maybe three years, actually. And it is pretty well destroyed at this point. So, uh, yeah, it's definitely time to upgrade. It served me well. But, yeah, it's, it's wearing out. Flash is on the complete opposite side of the island. He's not, I'm not ready for him to be way the heck over there yet. Flash, I look away for five seconds and you wander all the way across the map. Where's Alfonso? There he is. Flash, I'm not ready for you to be way the heck over there. Can we please... Mm. 
Eh, whatever. I'm just gonna let Flash do his thing for now. Because he apparently wants to be on the right side of the island. I'll just let him run the right side of the island. Check in on him later. Yeah, Flash is doing his own thing, digging up furniture randomly. Works for me. At. I've lost. Oh, there he is. He's way on the right side of the, of the island. All right. So, El, uh, Ellie wants a ball. Alfonso and Tybalt are out of commission because they want something. And uh, Apollo doesn't need anything anymore. That is unfortunate, but it is the way it goes. Oh, yes. Crazy Red game. Deal. I think I have that. Yep. Next. Weight bench. I will take it. Now, if I was very smart, what I should do is I should only accept items from the uncommon list. But that that just sounds like so much effort. However, I really actually should make an effort. All right, so my uncommon list is B. And unfortunately my weight, the weight bench was in my common list. So it is what it is. I will be more aware of that. Uh, sure. I also do need to accumulate some bells. I also kind of want to pay off my first debt. I'm just going to do that while I'm thinking about it. Because if I ever want to extend this into day two, oh, there's a ball. If I want to extend this into day two, I will want to make sure my first debt is paid off. So I'm just going to take care of that. Meanwhile, Flash is still doing his thing. There we go. Not looking back. Yep, and uh, got to make sure I enter nooks. Not looking back, just doing it. Day two, it would be nice if someone moved in with Peanut into the same acre. Because then I could actually grind out money. Very easily. With the, the uh, you know, Peppy Villager. And another villager and the the game to uh, make a bunch of money. Whoop, there goes those flowers. That's all right. Oh, Flash is back on the side of the island I want him to be on. All right, Flash, let's continue with where I wanted you to. Yeah, there we go.
right? Flash is doing pretty good. Oh, Ellie's into Gracie brain clothing. Alright, that's enough, Ellie. I need to... I'll just complete her quest and get rid of that ball since I know where it is. I, but yeah, the other day when I was doing this challenge, I made the second player character. And what was interesting is Ellie requested a ball, alright, from player one after I completed chores. But player two, when I made player two, there happened to be a ball in the same acre as Ellie. And Ellie, while I was running around completing chores in Villager 2, um, Ellie interacted with the ball and said, I found a ball while I was completing chores for player two. Just like that. And uh, I waited until I had the uh, the villager, you know, quest chore. And I claimed my prize from saying, here's the ball. And uh, Ellie gave me a prize. But it did not count towards the, uh, the nook chore to uh, complete a quest for a villager. Which is really interesting, and I wonder if there's any way to like, uh, you know, take advantage of that situation in some other way. But what's interesting is Ellie requested a ball again after completing it for Villager Two, or f for Player Two. But I did delete Player Two, so I wonder if that like reinitiated the the uh, the chore for Ellie to find a ball. If that's the case, that's kind of interesting. Because I have now found a ball for Ellie twice in one day. For two different villagers. Unless she just requests a ball from every villager. Or from every player. I don't know. thought that was an interesting situation. Alright, Apollo's mad at me. It's too bad. Apollo seems to be like a... Or Cranky Villagers seem to have the highest odds of giving things to you just by talking to them. But I could be wrong. Oh, Tybalt's happy. That's good. That means he'll give me something eventually. Perhaps. Or he's not going to give me anything at all. Jade. Jade, I can't see. What? Jade, I'm trying to play multiple video games at once. Could you please go lie down? <laughs> you're, you're heading out, Charlie? Jade says, why are you heading out? What do you mean you're heading out? I'm right here. <laughs> Not allowed to head out. Jade. Alright. Exquisite wall. Do I want that? Um, next. Palace tile. Yes. Alright. Palace tile. Meanwhile, Flash is still doing his thing. Good. 
There we go. There you go, Jade. That was a good game that you could play with me. We'll do this. Let's do that again. Oh, this is perfect. This will put her in a happy mood. Whenever she talks about her nail polish, she gets happy. And then, she'll give me something. Hopefully. There we go. There's a gift. Desert Cactus. Nice. Alright, let's see how Flash is doing. Flash, are you, are you done yet? Or you got more things to dig up? Do a quick rundown. Okay. This whole... Hi, Jade. Hello. Still finding things to dig up. Play a few more games with us. Jade, I'm trying to play multiple video games at once. Can we, can we please, can you just like go sit down somewhere? Jade, can you please just sit down? <laughs> Jade, get off, no, Jade! Stop! <laughs> Is everything alright? Okay, she just completely lied down on my keyboard. And messed up my gaming desk. Because <sighs> there wasn't space on my desk to lie down, so she just was like, alright, well, keyboard it is. I gave her plenty of attention. I'm not going to let her control my life. <laughs> but she's a very good cat. Jade, okay, you don't have to leave. Just go lie down somewhere else. Yep. <laughs> oh, Jade. Oh, Alfonso's sad. Alright, let's, uh, let's see if Peanut has any errands yet. Oh, she does. Alright, I think Flash is pretty well done. Uh, I have an errand on Q, or a quest on Q. Let's see if I... Uh, let's see if I got anything else for Flash to dig up on the island. Just go down the columns here. I think you got it all. All right. Back to the island. That wasn't too bad of multitasking, I gotta say. Not too bad at all. Got some good pets in for Jade, but uh, ultimately she left because she lied down on my keyboard. And that is unacceptable. And the problem is, even if I give her a designated spot to lie down, she will 100% um, ignore that spot because she wants to lie down directly in my line of sight. <laughs> she doesn't want to be near me. She does. She wants to be near me and directly in my line of sight so that all my attention is looking straight at her. That's what she wants. And I understand. I do. I fully understand. 
and I give her plenty of attention. Um, but she's not allowed to lie down on my keyboard or my mouse. <laughs> She'll be back, don't worry. She always comes back for more pets. <laughs> yeah, you're right. I just need another arm. That would solve a lot of problems. Sure would. <clears throat> All right, let's see what we got on this island session. And I brought with me some more furniture as well. <clears throat> I brought with me a little bit too much of this nonsense, though. Whoops. Yes, it's a beautiful island. Agreed. Alright, that should be good. So, first of all, I guess I might as well check all these. Number 23 shirt. Is that new? I don't think it's new. No, it's not. Oh, a thousand bells. Oh, that goes back. In fact, let's go ahead and take care of that now. So all these shirts I'm digging up are com are in my common list. Which means... Um, I don't really care for them to stay buried. Far out shirt. So I guess I'll just drop them off. If I were to extend this challenge for multiple days, I would allow the rules like I did for the 100% where you're allowed to get uh, you're allowed to make a second town for the sole purpose of getting nookingtons but nothing else I think that's how I do it all right here we go check out the wallpapers so there's only three wallpapers that I could possibly get kitty wall modern screen and green wall those are the only possible new wallpapers I can get and uh, so far, nothing. However, since it still can provide a decent odds of getting a new wallpaper. There we go, kitty wall. I'm going to keep them for now. Oops. Well, actually, I will replace... I'll slowly... Re I'll start replacing them with furniture as I collect more furniture. I think that'll, that'll be my plan. <clears throat> that seems like a good enough plan to me. Alright, the rest of this should be furniture with some shirts. Yes, Mario Trophy. Green Bench. Globe, I think is new. Nice. Definitely don't need a ukulele. Or that. Oh, yo. That is a ninth painting. Excellent. There's only two crazy red paintings left. The quaint painting and the dainty painting. Interestingly... If my if I'm correct, I should be getting or I should have dug up two other paintings by now. Actually, it's not if I should be correct. I don't know how I haven't dug up any of the rare paintings because they're in my rare list, which is the only possible um, the only possible piece of furniture I can dig up. The Islander will only is that? Oh, it's no, I already have that. 
The island Islander will only bury items from your rare list if they are not lottery items or crazy red items or island items. They are guaranteed to be in your town's rare list. So... There are still two paintings in my town's rare list that I have not dug up somehow. Or that I've not found yet. Um, so I should be I should eventually find them in this during this challenge. We shall see. Cool island items. Ah yes, the gyroids. Excellent. Oh, I already have a Howlwood. That sucks. Alright. Well, that's bound to start happening. And it's fine. But the gyroids are a great way to get new items for now. I think I had the long chair. Yeah. Dice stereo, I think I've got. Oh, I don't. Now I do. Stone couple. Do I have that? Nope. Sweet. I have a strat I'm excited to implement here in a little bit, which is going to be, um, it's going to actually, I'm going to lower my Islander's mood to the max, and it will give me a 75% chance for when he digs up tre uh, furniture that it will be a, uh, it will replace with a uh, furniture from my common list, which currently is more than my rare list since he only can uh, bury items from my rare list uh, with his mood at max happiness. But then there's a 25% chance he'll rebury a thousand bells instead. However, that's that's good as well because he can replace a thousand bells with an umbrella, and um, and that is going to also provide a handful of new items. However. I don't want to implement that too early because I still want him to, you know, I still have a lot of m furniture I could still get. Kinnis. All right. Uh, from, like, lottery items and crazy red items. So when I want to implement that strat, I don't know quite yet. But it will be, it will be at some point in this challenge. I'm not even halfway done with 24 hours, so keep that in mind. And I, also at some point, I'm probably going to be done with furniture from the island. I don't know when, but I think it will eventually happen. And then at which point I will want to focus entirely... Oh, there we go. There's... I already have that. Dang it. At which point I will focus entirely on uh, gyroids from the island. There are so many new gyros I could get. I just wish I had access to more than three gyros. That would have that would make my life way easier to get a bunch of gyros. But there's unfortunately no way to get more gyros as is. If I had a golden shovel, then um, you can Islanders have a chance to replace 10,000 bell bags with gyroids. 
but I do not have access to a golden shovel. All right, sounds good, Charlie. I'll catch you later. <laughs> she will come back, don't you worry. And at which point I will say hi. All right, so as you can see, I'm not really getting a whole bunch of new things at the moment, but there's still plenty of new things. Yeah, I could dupe the gyroids, but I'm choosing not to dupe. I've decided. I've decided I'm not going to dupe anything. No duping. And I thought about, I thought about it, and I thought about like, uh, like when I played City Folk when it first came out, as well as uh, New Horizons. There were duping methods in both games, uh, found basically day one. If not day one, then like day two or three. And I remember choosing to not do those duping methods. And I would do the same for Animal Crossing GameCube as well. Had I played it the day it came out. <laughs> hey, hey, age, dude. Yes, uh, yeah, yep, yep, that is true, and I was playing your maze. There were a few times I got duped. Very true. <laughs> Good times. I wish there were more awesome mazes like that, that people have made. I love mazes. Oops. Played a handful of them. Ooh, don oh, Donkey Kong already has that. Really now? Well, are they good? Or is your your maze the best maze? And no one has ever made a better one, as far as you're aware. Oh yeah, dream addresses. Yep. Yeah, I should make a GameCube maze. You're right, Kyler. There are some amazing ones out there. All right. Good to know. Maybe I should check them out and make videos on them. Because <clears throat> I do like mazes. You can make GameCube mazes with uh, trees and signboards. It would not be as technical. What was this, a table or a chair? Chair, okay. But it would still be a maze. Yeah, you can use save editing as well to make your life a little easier. But not necessary. Alright, sounds good, age dude. Sounds good. Black King. Nope, I need a black bishop. Yep, understood. They are not yours. <clears throat> oh, that's true. Yeah, if you want to use rocks and buildings, then uh, save editing is the way to go. Alright, Regal Bed. Nice. Still getting lots of new items from the island. That is excellent. Let's see what I'm at. 32% now. I've, ga I've gained 1% already. And I have a feeling I'm near 33%. Ah yes, shirts. Still got a few of those. Tiki shirt. Nope, don't need that. Fortune shirt. Nope, don't need any of that. But I'll keep them. I'll keep burying some shirts because there are still a handful of new shirts I can get. Not a lot, but some. Traffic cone? I already have that. Dang, I thought that was a new one. Another shirt.
Oh, there we go. I think that's all the TVs now. I think I got them all. Minus the Harvest TV and Jingle TV, of course. Got the TVs. I got all the TVs I can get right now. I think. Apple TV, retro TV, wide screen TV. Nice. Dang, I need a white queen, right? Yeah, I already have a white king. All right, uh, let's see, a few more here. Trendy top. I think I already got that. Alright. That should do it for this island session. Now we repeat and rinse. That was a decent haul, I think. So, still at 32%, but close to 33, I think. Transmission complete to the island. Flash, you can't just be stealing the shirts. Stop. Well, Flash just stole a bunch of shirts. <laughs> Flash. It's fine. Whatever. Flash over here. Oh, the crickets are out. I think it's it's five o'clock. Yeah, it must be after five. So after five, I can go check my letters in my uh, my house, which I assume, or I hope, are here. We'll see. Aw. Apparently not. Oh well. All right, back to talking to uh, Tybalt.
Tall cactus? Yes. Nice. I'll buy your stuff and you sell it to me. Okay, sure. There we go. Let's get some money again. I'm gonna save furniture as I collect it. And I remember I have a errand from Apollo I gotta do. I've noticed none of the villagers have left their acres yet. I was expecting more of that. Nice, stationary is good. That's the whole reason why I've affected my goods powers for more stationary. Yes! Excellent. Alright. Looking good. What else do you need? Dang it. Library wall. Um, no. What'd I get? I got a cherry. I remember, I think Yuka wanted an apple. So if I ever, f that's the last fruit that I need actually. Where we get an apple? That will be nice. All right, let's see if Apollo needs any more errands run. Meanwhile, Flashes doing good work on the island. Where'd he go? Oh, there he is. He's still doing good work. Right, cool. Paul, you need anything? Dang it. Nice, crazy red game. Alright, so what I want to do is I want to get items from item list uh it's b i think no wait what is my uncommon list b yeah okay so it's b pair wardrobe what oh i already have that Exotic screen. There you have it. Next. 
Flash, where on earth are you going? No, do not go all the way over there. Lady Palm, I think I have that. Yeah. This is good though. I can, uh, you know, I, I'm ignoring three of the things so far. Hopefully I get one that I actually don't have yet. Pond Lantern. Nah, okay fine, I'm accepting it. Alright, cool. You know, if I were to do this challenge again, Apollo's perfect, but I wish it was Apollo and a Peppy Villager, because then I could... I could get more money. And money seems to be a pretty significant factor from getting a lot of items uh, from these villagers. From like, generic talking. Ah, uh, I don't need a kitty shirt, but sure. Flash, no, get over here. Yeah, it's a good game. I love this game too. I've never actually played both the Game Boy Island and Animal Crossing at the same time. So this is a new experience. What happens if I say no to that dialogue? Will it give me stationery? Yeah, this is game. Wait, let me go check my catalog. I think I got a... Did I get a well earlier? No, I didn't. I just want to see if my catalog is accurate. The run will end at 6 a.m. the next day. So I do have one more thing than I have marked currently. But I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. It's probably just something dumb like I unmarked something at some point on accident without realizing it. I'm trying to see if any of this, like if I'm just like, aha, I'm trying to see if I have any of those situations. This all seems reasonable. I probably just didn't, I don't know what it is, but I'm missing one thing, I mean, my catalog says I've got it. Wait, 99 shirts? I'm missing, I haven't marked three whole shirts? Really? That's, that's interesting. It, well, I guess I should try to figure this out, shouldn't I? All right, this shouldn't take too long. Right? Flash is doing his own thing, so I can I can do this right now.
Ups. <clears throat> yeah, this is all marked correctly so far. Oh wait, red bar shirt. Oh. Alright, found one. Flash is still doing his own thing. Good, good. Gray tartan. No, we're good still. Trendy top. Oh, I have the green ring shirt apparently. Chi Chi print, subdued print, danger shirt. Is that all? Big dot, puzzling, and uh, thunder shirt. Where is that at? There it is. I'm still missing one. <laughs> Okay, well, I'm missing a. Did you guys did you guys catch that? Which was shirt am I missing? Apparently, I'm missing a shirt. I'm missing two stationaries as well. Airmail. Okay, that was an easy one to find. Oh, I bet it was from one of the uh, letters that uh, Apollo wrote back to me with. Okay, well, I got to find this one. It's kind of important. Vine, snowy, watermelon, daisy, bluebell, maple, woodcut, festive paper. I have festive paper? Huh. Alright. That puts me at 33%. I was at 33% this whole time. Alright, cool. Moving along. I have one more piece of furniture and one more carpet, or one more piece of clothing that I apparently don't know what it is, but I'll deal with that later. Uh, let's see what's going on. Nope, don't need anything. Oh, the Paul's mad. I thought that was long enough time for him to for me to be able to talk to him again. Is it possible to get everything available at this point? Um maybe theoretically, but very unlikely, because you can get all of the lottery items, all the crazy red items, every all three hundred and ten ABC items from uh, furniture, and all that stuff just takes time to get and uh, you would need insanely good luck to actually get one of every item within 24 hours. So, pass, yes. Um, realistically, no. I'm thinking 50% of the catalog is achievable. But we'll see. Alright, so Tybalt's done talking to me. Let's go talk to Yuka. I got bit by a mosquito! <laughs> How dare. Okay, good. That, that'll make her happy. She loves talking about her nail polish. Now give me something. Beautiful. 
Ah, she didn't give me anything while she was happy. That's unfortunate. Alright, there we go. Let's see. Exquisite wall. All right, well, that was a bust. Got some money, I guess, but not exactly what I was hoping to get. Hey, that's a new shirt. That's a hundred shirts now. That was in my common list. But it's still a new shirt, nevertheless. Flash, I refuse to believe you dug up all this stuff over here. <laughs> That's right, Flash. That, that's what I thought. You keep digging up more stuff. Dang, Peanut still doesn't need anything. Carpet or wallpaper? Doesn't really matter. Red tile. Do I need that? No. Cabin bed. Dang, I already have that. But it's a piece of furniture, so I'll take it. Running out of things to say. All right, who have I not annoyed enough yet? Let's see if I can go bother Apollo again. Apollo likes to give away things. Dang it. How is he still not over the fact that I've been bothering him? Dang. Hmm. 
What am I buying? I don't need it. Whatever it is, I don't need it. Unless it's an apple. In which case, I'll find another one later. Flash, are you quite done yet on the island? Now, I think Flash is pretty well done on the island. He did find something else to dig up, but I don't think there's much left. I'll bother Alfonso a little longer. Hey, Pope. Good to see you. How are you doing? Flash has dug up everything on the island so far. I'll do one more quick scan. Let's go over here, Flash. Let's let's just check it. Oh, he's ha Alfonso's happy. All right, uh, got to talk to him a bunch. He is a happy alligator. That means I can get a bunch of stuff. Talk to Alfonso. Don't need that. So this is a good way to get a bunch of carpets, wallpapers, and shirts. Did not last as long as I was hoping it would, but oh well. All right, let's uh, let's head to the island. I think this strat is working out pretty well. Alright, I do have to go to the bathroom. I'll be right Alright, let's see what we get on this island hall. <clears throat> oh. 
Starting with wallpapers. Green wall and modern screen are the only possible new wallpapers I can get now. High-end stereo, I think is new. Actually, it might not be. Oh, it is. Awesome. DK Junior Math. I already have that. Wait, which NES games do I not have? Excite Bike, Balloon Fight, and Pinball. Dang. Well, my rate of return is definitely decreasing now. Which is a bummer, but expected. There's still a good amount of new furniture I can get, so it's still worth it. Wow. That was just bad luck. That was all island items in a cow skull. Finally, Excite Bike. Two NES games remain, besides Baseball and Warriors Woods. Which um, I actually can get, but I need a lot more money. Mega Dinkoid. <laughs> Good. It's new. I think I have a Mega Stromboid. No. Dang. Oh. That's such a bummer. I only got one new gyroid that round. I should still be getting new gyroids regularly. Dang, that sucks. Well, rip that. Rip that gyroid session. There, there we go. Phonograph. All right. Already got a violin. Snake plant. Got it. Yeah, already got it. Modern wardrobe. I'm pretty sure I have that. Dracaena. Already got it. Lunar rover. Refrigerator. Dang. 
Hey, there we go. Owl clock. Excellent. Oh my goodness, another excite bike. Why does that happen all the time? Why is that something that just happens? An asteroid, nice. Kitty bookcase, pretty sure I got that. Yep. Did I get a modern wardrobe? Yes. Got one earlier. Another G logo, alright. That's a lot of G logos. Blue wardrobe. Do I have it? Yep. Robo clock. I think that's the last robo item. Yes. Nice. Classic desk and a life ring. Come on. I think I've got that. Yep. Oh, a space heater. Nice. I already have a space heater. I think I got one earlier. Clue Clue Land. Yo, Bliss, thank you for the raid. I appreciate that. Hope you're doing well today. Hope the stream went well as, as well. Did I get a folding chair earlier? No.
Thank you, I, I appreciate the kind words. Alright. So, what I've found is I am getting mostly lottery items and items from my rare list, but I have a ton of crazy red items I can still get. Oh, hamster cage is new. Good. But again, that's from the lottery, not from crazy red. I find interesting. I have so many crazy red items. Hey, finally got the lily pad table. A green chair. I think I've got that. Yeah. Yes, all these items I'm reburying will be bear will turn into something new on the island Game Boy uh, Advance. That is correct. <coughs> and it depends on the uh, the mood of the islander. If the islander is at max mood, there's a 25% chance it'll be reburied into an item from your rare list back in town. 25% chance it'll be a Oh yeah, some shirts. Um, that is not new. It'll be a 25% chance rare list item, 25% chance it is an island item, 25% chance it's a... What is... Um, 25% chance it'll be a crazy red item, and a 25% chance it's a lottery item, I think. Might have gotten that wrong. But it's close, it's very close to that. Very close, yeah, something like that. Cabin bed. I already have that. So another strange painting, dang. It's too bad. Yeah, this is a very good method of getting a ton of items quickly. Modern dresser. Dang. No, the villager, the islander will dig up the item, like the buried item, and replace it with something new. It's not like a certain time passes, but they will physically dig it up and rebury it, and you can see it. Famous painting. I already got it. Detour arrow. Nope. Don't need that. All right, almost done here. Almost at the halfway point as well, by the way. That's pretty crazy. 
Almost halfway done. With the challenge. <clears throat> All right, that will do it for this hall. Once the village, villagers are asleep, there's a few methods, uh, a few strats I can still implement. One of them is the island, because that you can do that any time of the day. Another one is I make a second player character, and I don't complete chores, because then the villagers will stay awake. So you can always do something 24-7. All right, let's see how we're looking now. 34%, 480 items. Awesome. And to the island. Here's the island, by the way. Playing on the Game Boy. I have footage of the island, like me playing it for an extended period of time from day one of this challenge. So, uh, uh, so I've shown off the island Game Boy Advance footage at one point. But now I am playing on the Game Boy Advance and back in town simultaneously. It is 6 p.m. That means some villagers are going to go inside for dinner. I think Ellie is the only one right now. I think. And that's fine. I want to save and quit and reload my town. Because there's a chance... Well, I want to save. There's also a chance that I will get letters in the mail from my villagers. Maybe. Meanwhile, I'm playing on the Game Boy Island at the same time. Dang. I'm gonna go check the post office and see if there are letters in the post office ready to send. That I can force send. No, there aren't. Bummer. Interesting. I guess that means I'll get them tomorrow at 9 a.m. Which is, uh, you know, that's the next day. So, too late. So now while I'm playing the Game Boy Island, I will uh, continue doing this. Let's see if Apollo needs anything. Yes! Dang. 
Dang it, I don't want money. That's an unfortunate reward. Yeah, these crickets are so loud. <laughs> They'll go away after, what, nine? Maybe seven? I actually forget. I think it's nine. Let's go spam Apollo with talking. Oh. See what else he needs, actually. Dang. But we'll spam talking to him because he likes to give away things. Hey, Cosmic. Good to see you. Good day to you, too. Hope you're doing well. Chevron shirt. Do I need that? I don't think I do. Nope. Four ball shirt. Yes. Nice. <coughs> Very good. Thoroughly annoyed Apollo. Let's go annoy Yuka. Actually, let's see if Peanut needs any errands. Dang. What do you mean what's in the items category? Green chair, I think I have that. Yeah. Hey, salad. <laughs> How are you doing? On my checklist, those are the categories that are in the catalog. It's like when you go to Nooks and check your catalog. There's also one more not on there, it's the fossils, but that's under the museum's category for the item tracker. Oops, I pressed B. Dang it. Where's that shovel at? There we go. No harm done. Wait, Flash. Where are you going? You didn't pick up the shovel like you're supposed to. Try it again. Wow, she was selling turns for three bells. <laughs> <laughs> What is steel? Alright, Flash is kind of doing his own thing on the island now. I'll just let him do that. Uh, let's see, uh, what do I want to do? Is there a more efficient m strat I can implement?
I guess I can try to get a Ellie and Apollo to talk to each other and be happy. Oh, that'll make him happy. That's a lot of money. September 16th is the day Animal Crossing was released. 2002. That is why I'm playing on this day. September 16th, 2002. That is the current day. That is why it is the 24-hour challenge. How much can I complete on the first day Animal Crossing was released? Tall Lantern. Nice. Alright, more new stuff. I do like to see that. And Ellie and Apollo are hanging out next to each other. So uh, I can take advantage of that. Red grid shirt. I don't think I need that. No. Sheesh. Apollo says. Hey, you two talk to each other. Kind of working. Kind of working out.
Dang. Where'd Ellie go? There she is. Worthy painting. Yo. <laughs> Let's go. That is a very good reward. Wow. I am worthy. Favorite color? I don't know, pink. Banner dresser. Nice, that yielded me a new item. Uh, sure. Ranch flooring. Um, okay. That's new. Yo. This is working out great. And Flash is still digging stuff up on the island. Once a year is Halloween. Flagman sign. Yo. <laughs> look at look at me go. This is great. Paulo, you wanna to talk to me yet? Oh yeah, you do. Folk guitar, I'll take it. Nice. I will take a folk guitar. That is in my rare list, unfortunately. And I say unfortunately because I'll probably get it on my island at some point. But that's alright, it's still a new item at the end of the day. Literally at the end of the day, because that is when the challenge ends. <laughs> Look at that, six pieces of furniture already. Ceramic tile or cabin wall? Um, I don't need either. Oh wait, I need I need the ceramic tile. Never mind. Yes. Sweet. Flash, how are you doing over here, buddy? Still digging some things up. I think I talked to Apollo one more time. Nope. Alright, let me go try talking. Actually, let me head back to my island. I think Flash is pretty well done here. I'll see if Peanut needs uh, an errand.
Nice. Alright, I will now let Flash sort of do whatever he wants as I head back to the island. Wait, I changed my mind. You can't do whatever you want. Dang it. All right. He dug up one of the 1,000 bells. <laughs> wasn't wasn't time, Flash. It wasn't time to do that. halfway done. I'm running out of new things on the island. So, uh, this is good. This is good. I think this is going well so far. And there's an interesting wallpaper I can get called the Shanty Wall. I can make a new player character and get that for free, as well as a folk shirt, daisy shirt, mint gingham, or paw shirt. So that's two free items at any point if I need them. I have plenty of crazy red items still that I can get. Anyways, we're at 34%. Hopefully after this island session, I'll be at 35 and maybe over 500 items in the catalog. That would be great. That would be fantastic, actually. I'd be very happy with that. We'll see. Flash dig up here. Jade checkpoint. Cool. How did I get an air check, you ask? Excellent question. I got an air check from the default starting grab bag you get from a brand new 59 block memory card. As if you bought Animal Crossing on day one. That is how I did it. And it came with KK Love Song. Watermelon share. Don't need it. Lovely armchair. Nope. Another lovely armchair. You gotta be kidding me. Tape deck. Oh my goodness. Yes. Perfect for the challenge. Absolutely. Exotic chair. Well, that was a bust. But that's alright. Plenty more things to dig up. Can I not move this? Oh, oh I can. Okay, good. Put that over there. Green golf bag. Don't need it. Blue cabinet. Don't need it. Folding chair, yay, finally. Folding chair, check. Still not a white queen. Keep getting white kings. Do not need a hamster cage. All right, one new item so far. Don't 
needed. Obviously. Oh, there we go. Finally got the Papa Bear. Yes. So I'm actually almost done with my rare list for uh, for all the possible items I can get for my rare list, which is kind of crazy. I thought it was gonna I thought I was gonna be a, a lot longer till I almost completed my rare list of items. So I have an interesting strat I'm probably gonna implement here soon. Let's see what gyro to get though. Oh my god, I already have that. You've got to be kidding me. Okay, that's new. Good. I should be getting three out of three new things for a little longer. At least two. Okay, well, we got two. I'll take it. 30 gyroids. So I've gotten four new things so far in this session. Let's see what else we get. An owl clock. No, don't need that anymore. There's a cabin low table. Wow. This is actually an interesting... This is interesting luck. The reason why I say that is that I have four items left in my rare list, which means there's a 25% chance a rare item is buried, an item from my rare list is buried. Wow. Now there's three left. The hand cart. Huh. Um, but I have so many crazy red items that I still need. And I was hoping I was going to get more of those. Did I ever get a Timpano drum? No. I was really hoping I was going to get more crazy red items than I've been getting. There's, I still have like 20 to 30 crazy red items. And like 7... There we go, there's an exotic bed. One less crazy red item. But I still have, I have seven lottery items left, three items from my rare list, and like 25 crazy red items. And it doesn't, I don't, I don't fully understand, but I guess it is what it is. Cabin bed. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's like my millionth cabin bed. So I'm thinking I'm going to start implementing phase two of furniture on the island. Which is, instead of max happiness from my islander, um, it will be lowest happiness, or mood, I guess. Lowest mood, and it will still be furniture. But it'll be a 75% chance that I will get a common furniture, which I still have plenty of common furniture left that I need. And it will be a 25% chance it'll be a thousand bells. Now at, um, actually, yeah, yeah, okay. Then at lowest mood, a thousand bells will turn into, no, at normal mood, a thousand bells is 50-50 uh, umbrella and then 50-50 common shirt, I think. I'll have to look into the exact stats for what about lowest mood in a thousand bells. Wow. Tennis! I already have that. I've gotten so many tennises. I need balloon fight, pinball, and I think... I think those are the only uh, NES games left. Highest mood is rare items, crazy red, and lottery items. And, um... What else am I forgetting? 
Oh, and an island item. Yeah, that is correct. All equal odds. Nook's portrait. I already have it. Another Papa Berry out. Yeah, my rate of return is dwindling pretty rapidly. But there's still a lot of things I could get. That's why I'm still going. Like, there's still seven lottery items I can get. There's still 25 crazy red items. So all in all, that would be... And then three more. So there's 35 more possible pieces of furniture I can get from uh, from the strat I'm currently implementing. I kind of want to do one more session of max mood before I do a session of lowest mood. That is correct. Yep, I have to decide when to switch to lowest move to maximize new item potential. That is exactly right. And I don't... I think I'm still doing good, but I am not getting a... I'm not getting too many new items anymore. I think I'm... There's a crazy red item. I, I just feel like I'm getting really bad luck with the crazy red items. Because it's 25% chance to get a crazy red item. And... I have gotten... You know... I still have so many of them left. I'm thinking one more round of highest mood, and then I'm going to do lowest mood. I think that sounds good as well. But at the same time, I'm only halfway done with the day. And I've actually been doing, you know, I haven't been able to do island uh, games for, uh, for all of it. So I've only been doing island games for like eight hours. Eh, like nine hours. And there's still 11 and a half hours left. But, on the other hand, I also at some point really need to focus on grinding out gyroids because I could easily get 50 more gyroids and that's definitely going to be something I need to do at some point. I will at some point I'm going to I'm going to spend a lot of time probably like 2 hours on gyroids alone. So I need to remember to do that and that I need to be at max mood for that, but that's fine. It's no big deal. Exotic Lamp, finally another lottery item. Oops. So six lottery items remain. Yep, yeah, with this setup, I only get three new gyroids per island run because that's how many gyroids you can start with. And there's no way to get more gyroids for a while, which is, you know, it's a bit of a bummer. I really wish there was a way to get more gyroids early on, but it, uh, it is what it is. To get more, you have to wait until it rains the next day. That's one way. Another way 
is uh, you can actually get them on the gyroid from Islanders. Oh, there we go. There's another island or another lottery item, the Plum Bonsai. There's a few ways to get gyroids from the island, but I have I do not have access to any of them currently. One of the methods is to um, yeah. One of the methods is uh, you can catch them in nets. You can catch them from fishing, like the islander can fish and and catch things in nets. And additionally, you can also, if you have 10,000 bells and a golden shovel, at max mood, an islander has a 25% chance to bury a gyroid. But I don't have a golden shovel, so that's not an option. Cabana Vanity. Nope, don't need that. So yeah, there's a few ways to get it. Normally, though, you would get it from... Uh, waiting the next day after it rains or snows, it'll appear around town. Two of them, specifically. Otherwise, you just start- you start a new town with three of them buried around town. Green bench. Well, I think that does it. I don't remember if I dug this stuff up. Did I dig this, dig this up? No, I did not. A nine ball shirt. Nope. Pine Bonsai is the last thing. Which I already got. Okay. One more round of max mood on the island. And then it will be time to move on. And I think with one more round of max mood, I'm also going to have... I will have collected enough furniture to replace all of the shirts with furniture. All the remaining shirts. So, moving along here. One more round of this. And let's see, what am I at now? 35%. I didn't quite get to 500, which I think is a little unlucky, but I got very close. So, two more items to 500. Very nice. The rare item list is randomly determined when the town is created, yes. But the items are already part of the rare list, um, so it's you already know what's going to be in your rare list once you find out what your rare list is. It is a preset list. Flash is max happiness, and let the island games commence.
All right, sounds good. Break it down for me. <laughs> I like it. Uh, thanks for the good luck. I appreciate that. I am going to need it. Where am I? There's Apollo. Let's see. Apollo does not need anything. Bummer. But, time to get items from him. Hopefully. Come on, Apollo. Come on, Apollo. Where are my gifts? What's he giving me? A barber shirt? Uh, it's alright. Oh, there we go. Dang it, none of those were new. It's a bummer. Ellie is now inside because it's after after six o'clock. I have a delivery. A cube clock. Is that new? Yes. Awesome. Yeah, I have a delivery, right? All right, piece of furniture. What do we get? CD player, yes. Now we're now we're getting somewhere. Let's go, Ellie. A lovely chair. I would love to take that from you. Wow. That was three new items. Really like all back to back. That was a very good haul. Paul's annoyed with me. Let's see if Peanut needs any more work done. Nice. Alright, Flash is now kind of doing his own thing on the island.
Uh-oh. Lint to Ellie, huh? She doesn't... She's not really, uh, happy with me at the moment. Well, I think I can talk to her one more time. My goodness. Is this everyone? No, everyone but Tybalt. And I got bit by a mosquito. Well, that sucks. I want errands that I can complete quickly. One, so I get more items. And two, I want them to. Be, I want it to be more likely to be stationary. Um, because I can. There's still a bunch of stationary that I need. These errands suck. annoy Apollo for a while, because Ellie's on not speaking terms with me. Red tile or bl blue trim wall? Uh, I don't need either. I don't think I've ever seen that dialogue before. Apollo's dad being a farmer. Alright, let's see if Ellie is willing to talk to me yet. Yes. Every August, there's a meteor shower. Green lamp? I think I have that. Yeah. Oh. More furniture for the island.
No, I don't want a thousand and nine bells. Need anything else? Okay, that's perfect. Now there's an errand right there. Alfonso, I would love some stationery. No. I mean, unless it's new. A weight bench? I already have that, Alfonso. Tybalt. Oh my god, Flash got stuck behind a tree. Okay. Yes, stationary, perfect. What do we get? Nice. Got some new stationary. Backyard fence? No. Wait, yes, I... Oh my god. I just spent 9,000 bells on new wallpaper. That sucks. Well, it is what it is. It was half my money. Alright, let's go bother Apollo. Flash is still finding things to dig up, so that's good. Oh, he still noticed me. What about Ellie? Flash, how are you doing on the island? Still finding things to dig up, that's good. An iris table? Uh, nope. Alright, that was 
was kind of a bust. Hmm, Tybalt, you uh, got anything for me? about Yuka. Classic desk. I do not regret my decisions. I think Flash has dug up everything. Mid-March is Sports Fair. Hawthorne Bonds. I think I had that. Yep. Alright, that's fine. Um, Flash, I think, has dug everything up. So, one more Max Mood Island trip. So we are now at 503 items in the catalog. Still 35% complete. Let's see how this island trip fares. This will be the last island trip where I go for max mood with the Islander, which means I need to start thinking about my game plan. Um, I do have to go to the bathroom, so I'll be right back.
Alright, I'm back. I'll just go to the bathroom. Alrighty. So, this is the last Max Mood Island trip, which means after this. Uh, it will be lowest mood. So, not expecting a whole lot of new things on this trip. But, you know, I'm hoping I'm hoping I'll at least get like five new things. That uh, that's really all I'm gonna ask for is five new things. Jasmine bonsai, interesting. Definitely don't need it though. Yep, nothing new yet. But what I'm expecting to happen is I'm going to get a ton of new furniture after this next island trip. Like a, a ton. And it's going to be great. Common painting. Wait a second. I already have that. Dang it. I need a dainty painting or a quaint painting. White Queen finally got the stupid White Queen. One new thing. One new thing. That was a lottery item as well. Another green chair. Another classic desk. <laughs> So, because of the strat that I'm implementing, I need to make sure I bring my the gyroids with me. I cannot uh, risk the Islander switching gyroids out for a thousand bells. That would be devastating. Hey, epic dude. Apple TV. Come on, can we get can we get some more new things, please? Dang it. Oh, there we go. Wow, that's from my rare list. And a well. Now we're talking. Iris chair and well. Nice. All right, that was that was excellent. More of that, please. There are two, only two items left on my rare list. One of which is a painting, of course, of course. The other one is the Kaiko figurine. These are gyroids. So let's uh, let's see what we got here. Mini tympanoid. All right. Good. Mini lullaboyd. Excellent. Can we get three for three? It's been a little while since that's happened. Mega Howl. Yes! Three for three new gyroids, finally. I need to save these, so they're going in letters. I will do a session of just gyroids in the future, but not yet. Come on, more new things, please. Luigi trophy, you know, regal lamp, nope. Rocking chair, nope. Lovely bed. Nope. Yep, 
Yeah, I'm going for the crazy red items, Kyler. This is my last session of going for them, though. I think. And uh, I still have like 20 of them that I can get. There's... No, that's a lottery item. But that is new. So I'll take it. I have three lottery items left and two items from my rare list. Yet 20 crazy red items remain. I did not expect that. Uh, I did not expect those, like, that distribution. Exotic Bureau, or Burrow. I think I've got that. Yeah, I got it. Alright, what else we got? Come on, more crazy red items, please. Nope, I need a black fish up, not a black rook. Definitely don't need a tape deck. Don't need a samurai suit. Come on. Bummer. Diver Dan. Pinball. There we go. There we go. All right. I'm pretty happy with this now. I think that is five new furniture items, and that's all I really asked for. But can we get more? Pinball, though, that's an excellent find. Balloon Fight's the only remaining NES game that I can get at the moment. Well, unless I have 30,000 bells. And, um, unless you include the standard NES as an option. In which case, I also can get that. Alright, carrying on. What else we got? Kitty table. Nope. 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 I think it's about a 1 in 10 chance I get a new item. No, like 1 in 12, theoretically. Something like 1 in 12 for a new item at this point. So uh, hopefully I get, like... Statistically, I should get, like, 2 or 3 more new items by the end of this. We'll see. Not super optimistic. We'll see. That lovely armoire. That was a crazy red item. Oh, there we go. Letter cubby. cubby. That could have easily just been a lovely end table. Um, but it chose not to be. It chose to be a duplicate from last island session. Of course it did. Cabana armchair. Nope. Don't need that. A base. That's my third base, I think. Cabin low table. Nope. That is uh, a rare list item, but I got that last time. Alright, so we got one more new item, the letter cubby. That's good. Still like a 1 in 12 chance to get a new item. For every time I dig up a piece of furniture. Mm. 
merge sign. Surfboard. Yeah, the Raid of Return has hit a point where I don't want to continue with the island games uh, uh, using max mood. I think the Raid of Return is too low, and I'm going to move on to a different strat, which I'm going to implement now, or shortly. I need a modern end table, but not a modern table. That is unfortunate. Yeah, alright, I'm getting bad luck here at the end. Statistically, I should have gotten at least one more new item. It's not over. But it's almost over. My ABC list is BCA for um, common, rare, or... Common, uncommon, or rare is BCA for furniture. And I got the other ABC lists figured out as well. But I only have two items left in item list A, which is my rare list. Kaiko figurine and perfect painting. Nice famous painting. Nice, another lovely armoire. Classic. Classic bad luck. All right, Apple TV. Come on, one more new item. No. There we go, there's a new item. It's from my lottery list, but I'll take it. <clears throat> I missed. Ski sweater. I already have that. I have only two items left from my lottery list now. Two items from my rare list and 20 from crazy red list. How does that make sense? I guess it, I guess in some way it does. And I've almost completely filled up all the spots with furniture, which is perfect. Since I'm going for lowest mood strats at this point. And the last item. Not new. Oh look, I actually have one extra piece of furniture. Alright. Cool. That worked out well. Alright, time for lowest mood. Now I'm pretty sure I can just poke Flash like three times and reduce his mood to the lowest. Um, Kyler, can you confirm that? If not, I actually have Peaches in town. That, uh, that I could bring over to lower Flash's mood if I need to. You believe that's correct? I believe so too. Well, we're gonna find out. And the music changes to like a, um, to like the, like a different tone if they're at their lowest mood, is that right? 
Poking them lowers their mood, but can it lower it to the lowest? All right, I have the music turned on. Yes, it worked. But he's mad, or he's angry. That worked, yep, yeah, easy. All right, here we go. Angry Islander time. Wait, did that work? Yeah, he's still angry. Yep. All right, perfect. There, <laughs> Flash is angry, and it is now time <laughs> to implement angry villager or angry uh, angry islander strats. There's a 75% chance that the furniture that I get from uh, from the angry islander will be common, and a 25% chance it will be a thousand bell bags. Common piece of furniture, or. Uh, or thousand bell bags. Both of them are perfect for me because then I can use a thousand bell bags for umbrellas and common furniture. Oh, he gave me a pitfall. Uh, Kyler, he gave me a pitfall. That's not what he's supposed to do. Well, rip thousand bells. I guess, uh, I guess it's not... Wait, what's Flash's personality type? Well, that sucks. I thought it was 75% chance for furn for common furniture. And, uh... 25% chance for a thousand bells for Flash, since he's a cranky personality. Well, I'm about to get a ton of <laughs> pitfalls. That sucks. Yeah, he's dropping pitfalls left and right. I don't, I, shoot, dang it, what do I, what do I do? What do I do here? Hold on, I need to stop the island stuff. Something's not right. This is not going according to plan. Furniture, lowest mood. It should be 75% chance for common furniture, 25% chance for flower bags. What personality is Flash? Cranky, right? Yeah, Kyler, I think you got the cranky personality and the uh, normal lazy personality switched up. Well, that kind of ruins, I don't I wouldn't say ruins the challenge, but uh, that significantly affects the challenge. Bummer. Oh well. I'll still try this strat, but yeah, rip. Well, might have to start this challenge over. I'll try though. I'll still try for fifty percent, but that's yeah, that's unfortunate. That's very that's that's a rip, actually. Yeah, check the code, Kyler. See if there's more to it. Um, but yeah, I'm getting 50% pitfalls, 50% furniture. That is, uh, that is a rip. <laughs> Dang, that sucks. I will still see what I can do, but yeah, that's that's not that's not good. Uh, it's furniture. It's just straight up furniture. Just normal furniture. For the lowest mood. For, uh, I have Flash who's cranky. Yeah, he's giving me pitfalls, so I think 
you got the, uh, I think you got the personality switched. Unfortunately. For the lowest mood. But, see if you can, see what you find in the code. Okay, um, let's, let me, let me see here. Let me see if there's another strat I can implement. There is another strat I can implement. It's not as efficient, but I got it. I have a, I have a backup plan I can do. It's not as efficient, but it's going to save the run, I think. I need Flash to have a normal, uh, yeah, Flash, come over here. If I put Flash's mood to neutral... There's a 50% chance he'll drop common furniture, and then a 25% uh, chance it's rare furniture, which is not useful. But then a 25% chance it's a thousand bell bags, which is better than uh, than what he's currently doing. So we're gonna do that. I lost a bunch of furniture, but I think this is still salvageable, all things considered. And in fact, it may actually make my strat a little easier with the umbrellas. So it's not the end of the world. It's not as efficient as it could be, but it is not the end of the world. I can adapt on the fly. Um, I think it's still going to be fine. I don't think it's a rip run. I just have to adjust my strategy now. And there we go. Strategy has been adjusted. His personality or his mood is now neutral and it's all good an exotic bench no All right. Not as efficient, but it is still a strategy that is going to work. And it actually is a little easier. It's just not as efficient. It's all good, Kyler. No worries, no worries. Yep, I lost probably about, I would guess between five to 10 pieces of furniture, um, which is gonna be five to 10 less items to work with on the island, but I'm getting him back. It's all good. Still at 13 hours. Come on, Apollo. about Ellie yeah yeah if if there's if they're swapped for the furniture they're probably swapped for all of them if that's what you were uh, oh. uh, sure. if that's the case for the pitfalls mm. 
Yeah, double check, because I shouldn't have been getting any pitfalls, assuming Flash is in the correct category of cranky, and it wasn't something silly like O'Hare was categorized wrong. Yeah, no worries. This backup plan uh, appears to be working fine. Yeah, rest in peace that strategy for this uh, for this island. But hello, new strategy. That's that'll still be fine. I'm not getting anything from these villagers now. How about Peanut? Peanut, you got anything? Got any? Oh my god, I hate this dialogue. <laughs> to the root of all evil. I like it. Oh yeah, I could... Peanut, do you need any... need any errands? Nah. Hmm. I think I want to go back to Nooks and try to figure out which shirt and furniture um... Well, actually, I'll do it after this island trip. I will check to see which shirt um, is in my catalog, but I forgot to mark. I'm try to figure that out. one shirt and I want to figure out what it is I know it's taking time but I wasn't getting anything new anyways and flash is doing his own thing on the island so this is fine all right Let me know if you guys see it.
Let's see if I missed it. Static shirt. Where'd Flash go? There he is. He's still doing his thing. Big dot shirt. Oh my goodness. Found it. All right, we're good. There's still one piece of furniture, but it might be in my common list, and I might end up finding it on the island anyways. All right, 36% complete. Whew. So far, so good. Let's see if Apollo wants to talk to me now. Yep. Never mind. It's unfortunate. Flash is still digging things up on the island. I am at 36% now, Lucky Game View. However, I just hit 36%, so it's a low 36%. Let's see if Apollo wants to talk to me yet. Oh, Apollo. Nope. What about Ellie? She just said it's so nice to be outside chatting on a perfect day, but she's inside. Silly Ellie, do you even know where you are? Come on, anything new? Getting, yeah, this has been a very unfortunate session for uh, getting items from villagers. Paul, do you want to talk to me? Yet? Oh my god. I hear you. Alright, well, Flash is still finding a few new things to dig up on the island. So he seems to be running out. Oh, there we go. There's something new. 
Kitchen tile. Uh, dang, I need kitchen flooring. There, he found something new. Found something new. Surely, Flash is almost done finding new things. Still finding new things. Alright, I think that's probably enough on the island. He doesn't seem to be finding any more new things now. So I likely got about 95% of the of everything. And now it's nighttime. So we are we're approaching the we're over halfway done. There's still plenty of time left in this challenge. I'm very curious now to see uh how the rest of this challenge is going to go. I'm very curious. My common list is item list C, and there's still plenty of items in item list C that I don't have, so I'm probably going to get a good handful of new items, and I'm excited. So, let's look here. I was hoping to be at about 40 wallpapers and carpets by the end of it, however... Well, I'm not super optimistic about that now. Yep. Well, it's all good, Kyler. It's all good. Thanks for checking. We'll see, though. You know, maybe, maybe it's all good. Like, maybe I'm still going to end up getting, like, all of the common furniture anyways. Oh, is that right, Kyler? Oh, so uh, to make him... Wait, so you can make him sad instead of angry? How do you do that? I didn't realize you could make him sad or angry. That was... Oh, good. Pitfalls. Yep, there they are. <laughs> Yep. Interesting. So I guess when you're angry, you bury pitfalls. That kind of makes sense. Well, can't fish, so that's not an option. What about giving them uh, like their least favorite fruit? So like peaches, for example, the flash. All right, I think that's all the pitfalls. Honestly, not the end of the world, but, oh, oh look, a mosquito on the island. All right, let's see what we got. Oops. 
A green chair? You must not have gotten that item. Sounds good, Kyler. Sounds good. Lawn chair. Huh. Interesting. These are all from my rare list, I think. Wait, that might be new. No. What is going on here? That's definitely new, right? Okay, cool, cool. There we go. There we go. Now we're getting somewhere. Yes. Excellent. Alright, now we're getting somewhere. Oh, there's a thousand bells. All right, cool. You know what? I have an idea. I have a, I have a backup strat. I can just bury all my thousand bells now, and uh, so all the all the pitfalls will just be replaced with thousand bells. Or many of them. Glad I, glad I figured out that backup strap before it was too late. Glad I came up with that. Look at all these new items. <laughs> this is fantastic. You love to see it. Oh yeah. Love to see all these new items. This is exciting. And there's more where that came from. In fact, I think I'm probably, actually even despite this, I'm gonna end up going, like almost getting every item from my common list, I think by the time all is said and done. Good. Classic painting. There we go. Look at that. I only need a perfect painting now. Oh, and I guess in the rare painting. Right. And a few other crazy red paintings. But that is 12 paintings now. Awesome.
And I'll keep the thousand bells randomly buried because they can be turned into uh, umbrellas. Furthermore, I will now bury a thousand bells in all these spots. There we go, it's all good. It all worked out. Uh, I guess I'll just move flash and I'll bury a I'll bury a carpet here. No, I'll bury a shirt because they can turn that can be turned into. Yeah, I can. Oh wait, where did I end up at? Did I do this column? Dang it! Did I do this column? I think I did this column. Did I? Ah, I'm just gonna do this column. I did not do this column. Or did I? Okay, no worries, Kyler, no worries. This strat is going to still be fine. Hazmat barrel, all right, nice. Here we go. Look at that. I'm at 280 pieces of furniture. And uh, I was actually only thinking I was going to get up to 300. I think I'm going to go... I think I'm going to get more than 300. I think that is getting surpassed. Nice. I think I should get up to like 320. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see though. Maybe not. Maybe 300 is still a uh, reasonable amount. And I'm going to start getting more umbrellas now with the thousand bells. So hopefully I get like maybe 15 to 20 new umbrellas. 20 would be a lot. We'll go with 15. 15 new umbrellas. So that's 15 more items. I'm going to guess more like 30 more pieces of furniture, at least from the common list. All right. Got it, Kyler. Got it. Barber, let's pull, oh, I already have that. Ooh, there we go, we got the other apple item. Apple set complete. Banana table. Oh yeah. Perfect paint, are you kidding me? That's my rare list. Wait, I already have that. Wait, I've already had that this whole time? Huh, well, look at that. Wait, how many, huh. Interesting. 
thought that was new. Apparently I already had a perfect painting. All right, sure. You know what? Maybe that was the... Oh, no. I don't know. Blue cabinet. I already have that. All right. 285 pieces of furniture. I only need three more paintings. That's crazy. That's actually really crazy. Two of them are crazy red, which means I end up getting one from my uncommon list. I think it was the fine painting, which I get, ended up getting three fine paintings. And then two crazy red paintings left. Hmm. Cool. A beach table. Oh, Flash didn't get that one. <laughs> he missed a piece of furniture. Still don't have a super toilet. Candy machine. There's a new, a new machine. Soda machine's the only one left. I think that's in my uncommon list, though. There's our red clock. Nice. So yes, it is still, it's 50-50 that I will get an umbrella from a thousand bell bags being, or from a thousand bells. 50-50, which I will take. Oh, Flash missed that. Dirt model. Nice. I already have a keg. I vaguely remember getting that, I guess. Water, melon, chair. Aw. Dang. I already dug that up. Alright, four more pieces of furniture for this session. Maybe a thousand bells, yeah. Okay. Yeah, more thousand bells, alright. It's fine. Another perfect painting. <laughs> sure. Rock guitar. All right, we got a new item right at the end. That's awesome. All 
All right, that was a that was a good haul. Now remember, this isn't endless because at some point I'm actually going to run out of furniture, or I'm, it's going to dwindle down significantly. But honestly, that's fine because at some point I'm going to focus on gyroids. All right, so that's that island trip. To a rat. 38%. Yes. All right. Not bad. Not bad. So now we're really going to get more umbrellas. That's going to help a lot. More furniture. Maybe even some more clothes. And at some point, more gyroids. That'll be a that'll be a, an adventure. All right, it is now nighttime, but this is an easy island session. All I do is I hand sh flash sh flash the shovel immediately, and then uh, let him go to town. We already buried an umbrella. We already got one umbrella. Awesome. That's exciting. Oh. Close. Another umbrella. Sweet. Another umbrella? Yes. bothering the villagers for more things. And at any point, I'm probably going to remove all 10 feng shui items from my house in order to bring them to the island. But for now, I'm going to try to get more stationary. Oh, Apollo. Need anything? Perfect. Jade, I... Stop. Jade, you can hang out up here. You just can't go... Can't sit on my Game Boy. <laughs> Jade. Jade is not happy right now. I am not giving her my undivided attention. Is split up between two games... Ah, 
furniture. Better be new. It's not new. Clock, I think. He's annoyed. Let's go see if Peanut needs anything. There she is. Dang. Nice. Yes, that's a new item. That's for my uncom. It's not a new item. Dang it. No, the strat for uncommon items is exactly what I'm doing right now. Unfortunately. Now, if I had two shovels, this would be a lot easier with Apollo and Ellie. But I only have one shovel, and it's dedicated for the island. For now. If there was a strat for uncommon items, uh, life would be a little, or this would be, it would be a lot better. I'd be able to definitely get 50% completed uh, after 24 hours. But this is this is the strat for uncommon items. Just talk to villagers. Now, if I had a second shovel, I could force them to be stuck in the same acre together, and then I can, uh, then I can. Incre in increase the uh, likelihood of them giving me new things and maybe a little quicker. But other than that, this is about the only strat. Do I have a Game Boy Advance? Yes, I'm playing it right now. <laughs> Thank you. 
Dang. Well. Back, or over to Yuka, I guess. I mean, I could go around and shake tree or shake trees. That's two pieces of furniture, though, and I, there, you know, there's a good chance they're duplicates. I don't really know if it's worth it. Now, if I get stationary. Happy Room Academy. What's that? By the way, I think I have enough items to uh, uh, to be able to. Well, let me think. I think I can get the house model tomorrow. If I were to continue this challenge, I actually think I would have enough to get the house model. <laughs> For the HRA. Because I have a bunch of completed sets already. I don't know, maybe not. If I got a completed series, absolutely. And I'm close on some of them. I think I've almost completed the ranch series, but there's always the uncommon items in said series, which is going to be an issue. Hmm. Let's see if Apollo's ready to talk to me again yet. Nope. How about Ellie? Ellie's still gonna be awake a little while longer. Oh my god, Flash got stuck behind the flagpole. What the? Where, what? Hello? Better have the shovel still. Okay. He dropped. What just happened? I Flash got stuck behind a flagpole. I dropped him off. The game glitched and like put him back inside. F Flash just buried a pitfall for no reason. What are you doing, Flash? <laughs> and then it like forced him inside with the shovel still in his hand. I've never seen that before. Okay, I think we're, I think everything, everything's fine now. Yeah, Flash was trolling a little bit there, but uh, we're back in business. Come on, Ellie. Give me something. Oh my goodness gracious. Can I please talk to Apollo yet? Again? No! Apollo, work with me. Hmm. Sure, I'll shake trees. Why not? No one wants to give me things. Might as well shake some trees. But then if I find bees, I would not be pleased. And finding 100 bells is just a tease.
You know what I could do? If I'm going for an extended day challenge, I should go for a perfect town rating. Right? Also, keep in mind, um, there is still something that I have not, uh, like, like, I don't know. There's something in my catalog that I don't have marked on my tracker, and I don't know what it is. It's a piece of furniture. So keep, I want to keep that in mind. If I find one piece of furniture from the trees, I'm probably... Probably just gonna stop there. I'm not gonna go for the second piece. Flash is still digging things up on the island. Video games have been known to tell you to get a life, like Melee, if you play too many uh, versus mode games, they'll be like, go outside. <laughs> Animal Crossing telling you to get a life, though. Yeah, I guess that's a different level, isn't it? That's funny. Alright, I'll get over it. There's bees. That's alright. Not today, bees. Not today. I actually just wanted to check to see which house had the shanty wall. And I can now confirm that is the house with the shanty wall. How are you doing over here? He is... He's actually doing a pretty good job scanning the island. Um, but he did in fact find some new stuff to dig up. That's good. over here flash but right in the middle bees but look where I am honestly I just wanted to check to see if there's any letters nope Alright, he found something new. Good. Found something new. Found something new. Alright, he's still finding some things. I will check all the trees. Okay, yeah. Oh. This one's going to be a hard one to dodge. Wow. That was probably my most impressive B dodge ever. Three out of five bees have been dodged. No pieces of furniture have been found. Right, I didn't complete this acre though flash is still doing a great job scanning the island all right how about over here flash I think uh, I think it's time to go back to the island I think he's pretty much found everything maybe a few things left to find but uh, yeah he looks like he's pretty well done
I am going to force him to drop the shovel because it glitched earlier. And I don't want to lose the shovel. I said drop it. Drop the shovel. There we go. He dropped it. We're good. Alright. Moving along. Where am I? Alright, here we go. I'm removing the common items that I found from my list. Or my second list. I have two lists. Technically, the one you see here is a list. Alright, that's good enough, I think. All right, I'm excited for this, uh, for this session, this island session. Still got lots of common furniture to find. There's a pitfall for some reason. I don't know why Flash buried a pitfall there, but he did. And he dug up some of these things. Cool. All right, let's see what we got. Yep, we're gonna get shirts. That's just gonna happen. Umbrellas though. All right, starting off with a gingham parasol. Perfect. I don't know what to do with these umbrellas. I guess I'll just bring them with me. I'll replace umbrellas with shirts for now. Flame umbrella, that's awesome. I already have a flame umbrella, that sucks. Not awesome. What else we got? Checked umbrella. Nice. Another one. Wow. Icy umbrella. Yes. Alright. I will replace umbrellas with shirts. Or... Alternatively, I can start reducing the items on my island. I think I'm going to do that, actually. Jade, oh my goodness. 
Just lie down. Lie down. Alright. What did I bury here? Thousand more, yes. Alright, what else we got? Don't need that. Don't need that. There we go, there's something new. Ooh, another umbrella. Perfect. Another one. Told you it wouldn't take long to get all these umbrellas. Wow. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah. Is that new? No. Yeah, this is a good time to start reducing items on my island. So I guess I can start bringing some clothes back. Shirts. Nice, more umbrellas. Very good. Another G logo. Classic. Did I dig this up? yellow umbrella. Yeah, because the umbrellas can't be reburied to be something useful. So they're all going to get replaced with uh, nothing, basically. So every umbrella is like a piece of furniture that's been converted into a thousand bells, which has been converted into an umbrella, which is now done. So this is not an unlimited process. This is not infinite. Which is why I didn't want to do it immediately, but now seems like a decent time to do it. Because I was, I was getting a pretty low rate of return from the crazy red items. Yeah, that's good. So the more common furniture I get, the better. Which is why I wanted the 75% odds instead of the... 50% odds because then I will actually likely go through all of the common furniture or the majority of it, 95%, as opposed to I'm probably only going to get through like 80% of all the common furniture at this rate. Maybe less, 75%. So that's like 20 less items ish. We'll see though. We'll see how it ends up. Nice. There you go. We'll see how it ends up. Maybe. Maybe it's still all going to work out fine. I need the Lunar Lander, not the Lunar Rover. And I can still go for crazy red items later. Just gotta keep in mind that um, I will not be doing longer uh, island sessions in that case. Honestly though, that is 
perfectly fine with me. I'm actually going to go ahead and rebury shirts because I still have common shirts I can find. And shirts can be replaced with thousand bells, which can be replaced with umbrellas. Regal bookcase. Great. Flame umbrella. Bummer. Oh, we got another one. Gingham perils. I, that's that is unfortunate. All right. Well, rip that. <clears throat> Yeah, I'm hoping to be at like like 13 more umbrellas by when all is said and done. Maybe a little more. We'll see. Less than 10 hours remain now, though. Wait, there's another umbrella. Blue umbrella. All right, sweet. Classic clock. Already got that. Got that earlier. Umbrella, a leaf umbrella. I think that's new. Oh, it's not. Bummer. got that. Chalkboard is new. Sweet. <clears throat> Don't need a keg. <laughs> Oops. Don't need that. Nope. Definitely don't need that. Another umbrella. Bumber shoot. Seems, sounds new. Yeah. Nice. Sweet. Awesome. All right, that was a, that was a good one. All these umbrellas actually can be used for uh, for gifts for Flash later to increase his mood. So I'm actually gonna, yeah, actually I'll just keep them uh, on the island. I don't know. He might he'll, he'll just randomly pick them up though. I think. Nice blue clock. I'm only two blue items away. All right. Misty shirt. I already have that. Two more pieces of furniture till 300. I actually didn't think I was going to get to 300 pieces of furniture this quickly. One more. I think I'm actually at 300 now. Uh, I'm gonna check the catalog 
afterwards and see if it's see if it's good now or if it uh, or if there's actually like an un maybe an uncommon item that I didn't mark. Because Nooks closes soon. I think that'll be my mission for this island trip. Checkered shirt. Nope. Checkered board T. That's why I wasn't positive. Nope, don't need that. Grapefruit table I think is new. Yes, 300! Wow, 300 pieces of furniture. Is that new? Nope. Exciting. Wow, actually. Nice. 301. That is over halfway done with the furniture. Officially. Cool. There's an umbrella. I think that's new. Aw, it's not. Bummer. Yeah, I'm hoping for like, like 11, yeah, like 11 more umbrellas at least, maybe a little more. I think that's still definitely doable. Painter smock and apple clock. All right, last thing here. Nope. <laughs> All righty. Good. Wait a second. Oh, there it is. All right. These over here. Gifts for Flash for later. We're gonna find out if Flash just picks up umbrellas with while holding a shovel. If he does, oh well. off. All right, another successful island trip. Not quite as e efficient as I was hoping for, but still efficient enough.
Let's see where we're at now. 39%. All right. Excellent. All right. We're going to definitely hit 40% today. Before the end of the session. Keep in mind, there's still a good 50 gyroids I'm, I'll be able to get at one point. That's going to be a good haul when that time comes. And we're off again. Alright, I want to go check the catalog and see if I'm accurate now with furniture or not. Okay, so Flash did just pick up a shirt while holding a shovel. So yeah, thanks for that Flash, thanks for just taking that for no reason. But now I know, it's good to know. So I have 300 flash, you stole that umbrella. How, why would you do that? <laughs> uh, all right, yeah, see my catalog. Oh, there's two things I didn't mark now. All right, well, we're going through that. I really don't want to go through this. <laughs> I got an idea. How many paintings do I have? I do have 13 paintings. Did I count that right? I have the basic painting. I already, I already knew that. Quaint. No. Never mind. I just miscounted. I do have twelve. Where did Flash go? Here he is. All right. Well. Everything else seems to be accurate. I'll figure it out later. So there's actually now two pieces of furniture that I'm missing in the catalog versus what I've marked. Oh, my God. 
All right, Flash is doing his thing now. Ellie, you said the same thing three times in a row. Oh, no wonder I'm not getting anything new. I need to go pick up some carpets and wallpapers. Oh, wait, I have a vibrant phone. Uh... Yeah, I don't have- I don't have 3,000 bells, so, like... These villagers are not going to play, uh, or not going to give me as much free stuff. Or Halloween, he gets excited or he gets happy. Interesting. That'd be crazy if Tybalt was like, oh, you're having a hard time catching a bug? Here's a net. That would have been, that would have been some insane discovery. But that's not happening. Come on, Tybalt, give me something. Huh. He sounds... Eh, whatever. Alright, Tybalt's done with me. It's almost 9 p.m. 15 hours, just about. Where did Flash go? There he is. But he dropped the shovel. Where'd he drop it at? Why'd he do that? You pick that back up right now. No. What? Where is it? Why the heck do you do that? He like dropped it behind a tree <laughs> for no reason.
Kitchen flooring. Yes. Nice. Awesome. I just realized something I need to do. I just realized a strat that I need to try to implement. The endless item trading game with Yuka. I actually can pull it off. Yuka's up for a while. Yes, it is. Because when she talks about her nail polish, she gets happy. And then there's a chance she'll play the endlessly endless item trading game with you. If I can get that, I'll do that for an hour, except... Oh, but I... I can't check my catalog. Oh my god, now she's sad. When does Nook's close? Nook's crannies. Nook's cranny. Is it ten, 9 or 10? I think it's 10. If I can get this game with Yuka, I could actually... This would be a strat to get a bunch of uncommon items. Potentially. This would be an hour for like maybe 20 to 30 new items, which I can't check. Uh, uh, until I can't check after 10 p.m. though. I feel like this is only useful to do for like one hour straight. So if I can get this dialogue, then uh, I'm gonna be very happy. Huh. Interesting, Yuka, interesting. Come on, talk about your nail polish one more time. If I don't end up getting the dialogue with the snooty villager, um, it's not the end of the world, but that would be one way to get a bunch of uncommon furniture. Potentially. is still going strong on the island.
cabin clock. I think I have that. Yeah. Stone couple. We gotta have that. Awesome. Oh, we got another umbrella on the island. Awesome. Flash can find any more items to dig up. I think he's running out. Yeah, Flash is. I think Flash has found everything to dig up. I'm gonna see if I can talk to Yuko one more time. And, uh,. One more attempt at the endless trade item dialogue. It's not the end, like I said, it's not the end of the world, but it could, it would be very helpful potentially. And I can only do it with player one because I need to check the catalog. A regal chair. Yes. Perfect. Oh, I got uh <laughs> That is funny. Uh, I got uh I got the fortune where villagers will ignore me because I uh I lied. <laughs> I did get a new item, but at what cost? Alright, Yuka's annoyed with me. That's fine. We got a new item out of it. Moving along, let's go back to the island. Thirty nine percent completed still. Almost at fifteen hours. Hey, what's up, Dune? Thank you for the raid. I appreciate that. Hope you're doing well. How was the stream? PB on E plus golden net. Congratulations. That is exciting. Are you going to continue pushing the category or move on to another one now? Still have about 
20 more common furniture items that I think are reasonable to obtain. So here's another island hall. And uh, I'm excited to see what we get. Another umbrella to start things off with. Classic. Excellent. Excellent, excellent start. Another umbrella. I already have that umbrella, unfortunately. Office desk. Do I have it? No, I mean, yes, but. Oops. Yep, I already got it. Candy machine. I only need a soda machine left. Sunny parasol. Oh, I already have that. Don't need that. Oops. Alright, drop these off. Nice. New umbrella. Good. Drop all these off over here. Yep, the furniture is dwindling. It is dwindling fast. Good, but we're still getting new stuff. So it's all good. I think this is next. Yep. Gelato umbrella. Awesome. Yeah, 
It is 9 p.m. now. Wardrobe, check. clock. Yep, already have all that. Desert camo. Is that new? Yes, it is new. That is why I kept shirts around for that situation right there. Already have that. Dainty parasol. I already have that. Yeah. I am running low on new umbrellas. How many left? There's actually not a lot left. Oh, there's a bunch right there. Never mind. There's like 10 umbrellas left. Yeah, there's like 10 umbrellas left. There's one of them. Cool. we got more thousand bell bags dang don't need that nice got the red vase Barber's pole. Alright. Yeah, ideally I get like seven more new umbrellas, I think. Seven seems to be a... Seems to be good to me. I wish I had a few more wallpapers than I currently have. I can get one more guaranteed. Oops. Again, the checkerboard shirt is one that I need, but not the checkered shirt. Hey Fazil, hey Mossy Matt, how are y'all doing?
Oh, I'm doing just fine today. Just enjoying some Animal Crossing. Oh, it is new. Yes, a new umbrella. Oops. Awesome. What else we got? More shirts. The strats I'm implementing are island strats. And I'm currently in phase two of said strats. I do not need that umbrella. Phase two is neutral mood from the Islander. Bad plaid shirt is new. Yes. Excellent. So he'll my Islander will replace common item or will replace furniture with common furniture or potentially rare furniture or 25% rare 25% thousand bell bags, 50% common. Same with shirts. Green golf bag. Oh, I need the blue golf bag. Right. Shirts is 50% common shirts, 50% thousand bell bags. And uh, there's actually a few more common shirts I still need. So I might as well keep that going. Three more common shirts specifically. There are two more rare wallpapers. One rare carpet, one common carpet. And, um... Yeah, might as well... Might as well have shirts buried if there's still three more common shirts I can get. I think if I find one more common shirt, I'm going to try to remove all the shirts. Because at that point, the rate of return is just not really worth it. Pastel parasol. Nice. New umbrella. Alright, and the last things here. Mod umbrella, don't need that, unfortunately. Thousand bells. Noodle shirt. That's that's another uh that's another common shirt. All right, I might get rid of the shirts now. Dang, but I still have them buried. So I guess if I find them all, I just won't rebury them next time. That'll work for me. I'll rebury one more shirt. My island's getting a little messy. Um, I would prefer to be a little more organized than this currently, but I think one more messy island trip will be fine. No, don't equip that. <laughs> All right. So those are all umbrellas. I need to put the shovel somewhere where I know it's a shovel and not an umbrella. I'm going to start cleaning stuff up off my island. Because I'm going to reduce the island uh, digging area now. Okay, that's fine. Actually, let me pick up a few more of these, I've decided. Okay. Um, I'm going to do one more island session today, and then call that a day. Alright, I'm excited. What are we at now? 
40 percent yes all right one more island session today and then uh and then i'm gonna call it a day like i said 40 percent though i could just stop now but i think i'm gonna do one more see where i end up at and this is great this is fantastic I am now on the flash. Where do you where do you think you're going? You pick up that shovel right now, mister. Alright, the island activities have begun on the Game Boy. I'm gonna try one more time for the Snooty Villager to get the endless trading dialogue. Even 30 minutes of it, I think, would be useful. But it's unlikely that I'll be able to get that. I'm gonna try. Flash is sort of doing his own thing now. Meanwhile. I never found any furniture from the trees. I'll just I'll remember to do that later, I guess. Flash, you he's stealing all the umbrellas. <laughs> Don't do that, little umbrella thief. There, now he's back doing what he should be doing. Come on, talk about your nail polish. And then be happy and then play the endless item trading game with me. Come on. You know you want to. Dang it! Flash, where did you go? Alright, no harm done. Oh yeah, 
she still wants an apple, doesn't she? Alright, well, we'll try again in a little bit. See if Apollo needs anything yet. Dang. A go-go shirt? Nice! That's my uncommon list. Excellent. Blue clock, sure. Alright. Alright, Flash is sort of doing his own thing now on the island. That's good. Oh wait, if I answer Halloween it makes him happy, I gotta remember that. Let's see if Yuka will talk to me again yet. Nope. But I can talk to her one more time. I guess I'll shake some 
Well, let me go talk to Peanut. Maybe she needs a quest. Alfonso's getting ready for bed. Uh, let's go with wallpaper, higher odds. Wait, is that new? Yes, it is. It's my uncommon list. Let's go. It is new. Where'd Flash go? Flash is stealing umbrellas and he dropped the shovel. Stupid bird. Did I tell you could stop Flash? <laughs> Dang. Still no apple for Yuka. Not that it really matters, but it would be cool. Alright, let me go see if Yuka is on speaking terms with me again. One final attempt for trading items endlessly. Nope, she's done. I kind of still want to try one more time. Flash is still doing his thing on the island, so I'll, I'll let him keep going. See if Apollo's on talking terms with me yet. Let me check my catalog one more time. See how inaccurate I am now. There's still two pieces of furniture that I haven't marked. That I, uh, that I have. Well, I'll figure it out later. I am going to go back to Yuka one more time. Come on, Yuka, please. One more attempt. So unfortunate. Shake a few trees. Oh, she's going inside. Interesting. Flash. Hey, hey, I haven't seen Flash find anything new in a little bit. Oh, there he just found something new. I guess he's still going. Yeah, still finding something new. <clears throat> look at it, look at this, look at this house. All right, good house, quality house. One more attempt with Yuka. Come on, Yuka, please. Yes, okay, one more attempt with Yuka. Talk about your nail polish. That's what makes her happy. This is very unlikely to happen, but it can happen. Come on, Yuka. I need Yuka to be happy and start whistling. Doesn't matter what the dialogue that does it, but I know one of them is guaranteed. And then after that, she needs to choose a dialogue where we trade endlessly.
Uh, sure. More money is fine for the island. Try to get a few more umbrellas. See, the problem is if I get this, even if I get the dialogue later at like midnight, I can't check my catalog to see what I got. <laughs> So Nooks needs to be open. What am I at now though? Still 40%, so I'll probably hit 41% by the end of the night. We'll see. Or by the end of this session. We'll see. New nail polish. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, Yuka. Okay. Alright. Come on. There's like a 1 in 100 chance this is going to work. That's right, it's still a new item. I'll take it. Yep, that's fine. I will still take it. Okay, time to go to the island. First of all, let me make space for everything. All right, last island trip for this stream. And I wanna think about how I'm gonna organize everything. I wanna start pushing furniture to the right and everything else will be on the left. Okay, let's see let's see where I'm at now. Oh, the manhole cover I thought was from my uncommon list, the one that I got earlier. It is actually my common list. Oh well. So it looks like I got about 20 common furniture items left. Maybe, yeah, about that. Maybe a little less. So realistically, I can get maybe like between the umbrellas and the common furniture. Not a whole lot left, actually. Where's the shovel at? There it is. Oh my god, I was that made me nervous. All good, all good. All right, first of all, I'm gonna start pushing furniture over here. The only two common shirts I have left are a uh, big star and checkerboard T-shirt. Furniture on the right. Shirts I'm removing from my island entirely. And Thousand Bells are going to be on the left. Dang it. 
Daffodil Parasol. Don't need that, unfortunately. Checkerboard tee. Yes. I only have one common shirt left. So this is perfect time to, uh, to start removing shirts from the island. Awesome. Only the big star shirt is left. And I'm starting to run out of new umbrellas. So this strat is... Uh, starting to dwindle down. Right, so everything else is going to the left for now. Which means I need to start digging up some furniture over here. Starting to get low rates of return. However, that is a new furniture item. I am running low on furniture very quickly. I'm actually going to start turning Thousand Bell Bags into my actual, like, you know, money. Because I'm running low on umbrellas. These shirts are going to go over here. Actually, I'm going to reset the holes so that way I can drop off more shirts. Nice, that's new. Awesome. <laughs> I 
I am running so low on furniture that did not take long. Nice. That's another completed set. All right. Cool, cool. Set the holes. Wait, is that the last golf bag? All right, I got all the golf bags. <laughs> Hooray. A hundred bells, oh yeah. parasol yes all right good i'm hoping to get like four more new umbrellas uh, that's not new wait yes that is new nice I think the rest of this can be thousand bell bags. The majority of it, at least. Mm. 
Nice, a round cactus. Three more. Yes. New item as well. One more. Wow, that was super lucky. <laughs> that was a very, very lucky finish there. I just got three new pieces of furniture all at the end. All right, nice. I'm feeling pretty good about that now. Awesome. And the rest of this will be Thousand Bells. Nice. A few more attempts at umbrellas. Hoping for like four more umbrellas. Eh, like three. Get to 30. That that seems good to me. I was hoping to get some more stationary by this point, but doesn't seem like I'm going to get much more. Maybe one more. Maybe. We'll see. Perfect. I'll have over 3,000 bells for back in town as well. All right, I'm gonna start picking up all the umbrellas because they have the same icon as the tool, or as the shovel. So I'm gonna bring back umbrellas first. All right. not be saving my island to the Game Boy now, because instead, I'm going to go save and quit and call it a night. But let's see what would the final tally is for the night. 41%, 16 items away from 600 in the catalog. 9% away from the target goal. Whew. I did 10% today in five hours. Can I get 9% in nine hours? Oh, we'll see. A lot of that was common furniture, which really added up. And I am, I've reduced my furniture total by like 75% after three sessions. And um, I still have a handful of items in my common list, but not a lot. So we'll, uh, We'll see. We'll see how this next session ends up being. I still want... Let's see how many umbrellas are left. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh! I thought there were a little more than that. Okay, so asking for a few more umbrellas is probably all I can ask for. Maybe th three more at max. I might stop at two more. Even though it's not a nice 30 out of 64. But six umbrellas left. There are a thousand bells each for a 50% chance to get an umbrella. I might just get one more, actually. We'll see. Oh yeah, let me drop all this off. Because the rate of return at that point just isn't really worth it. Because I need to start... I need to start uh, focusing on gyroids. I don't know if it's going to take two hours or four hours. But I really should focus on gyroids. Uh, yeah. Because that's going to be like 50 to 60 
new gyroids, depending on how long I spend going for them. And I will still go for crazy red items as well during that time. So before I end this, the stream, let me pick up a few things just to have them for next time. Nice yellow roof. And save. Again, 41%. Not bad. Not bad. Oh, what time was it when I ended? I'll load up the town and see what time it says. And then, uh, that's not a big deal. And I'll reset. I won't actually, like, load the town. Just see what time it is. Nine forty six PM. Got it. All right. Very good then. And that is time for now on the on my splits. How many gyroids I can get and how quickly it'll take to get them. That is going to be the primary goal for the day. So, let's do that. <clears throat> first things first is one more session of getting umbrellas and common furniture. So, looking at the uh, percent completed, 41% completed, and 317 furniture, 35 wallpaper, 36 carpet, 106 clothes, 26 items, 25 of those are umbrellas, 31 stationaries, 33 gyroids, 1 KK sliders on, 585 total items in the catalog. To hit 50%, I'm going to need 117 more items. So over 700 items are needed for 50% in the cat or 50% completed. Now this tracker kind of does its math weird. So, um, you know, half the catalog is actually 650, but half the percent completed is 700. Doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Where's the shovel at? Oh, there it is. Okay. Right, so, um, Thousand Bells on this side, Common Furniture on that side. I'm going to start moving some items off of the island, or some more items off the island. Well, that's good enough for now. <clears throat> Here, we'll do that. All right. <clears throat> so one more round of common furniture and gyroids. Or, no, not gyroids. 
before gyroids. One more round of common furniture and, and umbrellas, and then gyroids. I'm hoping to get at least two new umbrellas. And hopefully three more pieces of common furniture. So five more items for this island session, which shouldn't take too long. But yeah, so I've done the math. In order for me to get 117 more items, I'm going to need uh, about half of it will be gyroids, and the other half are going to be just random items for the rest of the catalog. Alright, so... I am now on the Game Boy Island. And I am... ...being flashed to come over to the right side. And he's off. We already got an umbrella. Excellent. <laughs> now that it's nighttime on the island, it's a lot harder to see. But I will make do. Flash, where do you think you're going? All right, back into multitasking. Back to the joys of multitasking. I think with gyroids though, I'm probably not going to end up multitasking. I don't think I'll have time, since I only have three gyroids that I can work with at once. We'll see though, we'll see. Oh, look, another errand that I can actually complete. Orange tie-dye is not new. I need green tie-dye. Alright, Alfonso is still awake. As long as I don't have to... Uh, you know, as long as I don't have to go to Ellie's place for any reason, because she's asleep, then I'll be able to con still complete errands for now. Carpet of Champions. Nice. Flash is now doing his thing on the island. I'll let him do that. Come on, let's see some stationery. 
Yes. Let's see some new stationery. I think that's new. Aw, it's not. That's unfortunate. At least I'm able to complete a bunch of these quests. It's nice. Well, none of them were helpful. Alright, Flash is making his rounds on the island. I think he's just about done. Let's see if Peanut needs anything. Nope. Cream sofa. Do I need that? Yes. Nice. Excellent. What do you do all day? Sit home, sit at home, play video games. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Calling me out, keeping it real. All right, fair enough. No, not this stupid dialogue. Come on, Flash. Surely there's more things to dig up. There you go, you found something. I knew you would. He's still finding things. He's probably, he's probably about out there. Oh, found something else. And it's 10 p.m. All right, I'm gonna head back to the island now. Back to the island. Cream sofa is excellent. That is in my uncommon list. Alright, so this will be the last round of... Sorry, this will be the last round of umbrellas. <clears throat> Hoping to get at least two more new umbrellas. Um, if I get absolutely nothing new, I'll, I guess I'll have to try, well, I'm out of money. <laughs> we'll see, we'll see. 
If I get absolutely nothing new, I'll have to try again. And I still have... How many is that? Like, 12 common items left? Or furniture items in my common list? <clears throat> I'm hoping to get at least a few more of the new common furniture as well. We shall see. The cream sofa was a great find. Every uncommon furniture is a great find from here on out. Because that's really what it's going to probably come down to for completing this challenge at 50% is how lucky I get with uncommon furniture. And crazy red furniture as well. So actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to start implementing the next phase of, uh, of furniture and whatnot. Gyroids and furniture. Next phase of that. I might, Lori, I might, I might. I understand the frustration. All right, let's, uh, let's do this. Wait, a big star shirt? That's my last common shirt. Wow. That was just there the whole time. Awesome. Okay, I've decided I'm going to put the shovel here. I'll put clothes here. Alright, that'll work. And then, 100 bells. Let's see. Let me, uh, let me do this right. So one, I want 10 pieces of furniture and 3 gyros, so that's 6, 7, 8. Villager can't actually dig anything here. Or here. Oh no, they could dig here. They can also dig here. Alright, so I'm I'm adjusting my island slightly. I could also dig here. Uh, they cannot dig here. They can dig there. Oh, something's there. Alright, so this is implementing the new phase of the island, which I'll be starting now. Gyroids and furniture. Alright, see how much space that is now. Eight. Nine. Ten. I think I'll just do 100 bells for the rest of these. Thank <laughs> you. 
Yeah, it's an in interesting challenge, isn't it? It is interesting. Alright, that should be a good enough setup for now. So, back over here, let's see what we get. Looking for two new umbrellas. That is not a new umbrella. Noodle shirt. All these shirts are guaranteed to be pointless. Flame umbrella, I already have that. Yeah, the no nooks challenge, you enjoyed that? That was, that is a pretty crazy challenge, I also agree. Pastel, parasol, dang it. Come on. Come on, we're halfway through the umbrellas. Please, please give me at least one new umbrella. Come on. No. Dang it. That was unfortunate. Oh, that was the 100% challenge yeah the uh the no nooks the no nooks is a different challenge unless did i almost corrupt my memory card on that challenge <laughs> on the no nooks i don't i don't think i did uh both of them were crazy though yes now you're good i have done multiple challenges it is understandable Dang, not a new umbrella. Come on. Come on. Can we get a new umbrella? <laughs> yeah, uncorrupting the memory card in real time. Yep, yep. That was pretty crazy. That might be new. Yes, alright. We got at least one new umbrella. Whew. Can we get another one? Maybe? Nope. Two more chances here. Oh, hello, Kevin. Oh, Flash didn't get to that thousand bells. That's all right. Yeah, it was the last day of the challenge. Yep, that's right. That That is what happened. Good times. Yeah, there's some strategy to items on the Game Boy Island. Well, ended up getting one new umbrella. Not as good as I was, I was hoping to get two, but um, at least I got one. All right, so looking at my common items, I'm hoping to get like two or three here. So far, nothing. So far, a whole lot of nothing. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Oh, all the holes are gone. Alright, so this will be furniture. How much furniture is this? That's nine. This will be ten. So the gyroids can go one, two, three. All right. That works for me. I guess... You know what? I'm gonna move some furniture over here. Yeah, the, the island's always here, even without the Game Boy Advance. That is true.
Oh, something can be buried there. Well, okay then. Sure. All right. What else we got? Come on. Oh, there we go. There's something new. Okay, we got something new. I will take it. <laughs> I've had a lot of 50 50s. Where like the the uh, like that kitty wardrobe? If it was a kitty dresser, as a 50/50, it could have been either. And I'm just not getting the 50/50s. Same with the cabin item as well. Well, let's see what else we got. Nope. Oh wait, yes, modern bed. All right, excellent. Excellent. That's two. I was hoping to get three new common items. There are four more possible items here. What else we got? No. No. Two more. Garbage can. Yeah, that's about right. Eh, nope. Oh, well. Alright. Well, I'll leave these on the island for now. They may end up being useful later. And I'll put the shovel here. All right, I only ended up getting three new things that round. That buried item is 100 bells. Uh, so that was not as good as I was hoping it'd be, but it wasn't as bad as it could have been. So still at 41%, but 10 items away from 600. So now implements the next phase, which is gyroids. Yo, what's up, Mason? How are you doing? So I'm playing two games simultaneously now, but thankfully it is not as challenging this time. Uh, 
That's awesome, Mason. Yep, that's my cat. She is currently hanging out with me. Alright, back to the island. So I just played a few minutes on the island and uh, on my Game Boy Advance. So it's transferring the data now. And uh, it is completed. So now there should be some new items on the island. I'm going for gyroids. going for I can do three at a time and I need about 50 to 60 new ones <laughs> so it's probably gonna take about three to four hours we'll see that's my goal but yeah I'm doing well doing well I had some free time today so I figured well time to play some Animal Crossing that's what I want to do. I'm also curious how long of a process it's going to take per island trip. So let's say I land at like 16 hours and 15 minutes, close enough. We'll see about how long it is until I land back on the dock. For the first couple hours, it's probably going to be pretty fruitful with the gyroids, but it's going to dwindle in uh, rate of return quickly. I already got a duplicate. That's unfortunate. Nice. Alright, the very last gyroid. Cool. Oh yeah, that's just a hundred bells. Actually, what? That's not the one I wanted. I'm going to put them here. There we go. That'll work for me. Forty two per cent. Alright. 
see how long this takes. So, 18 minutes. Transmission complete. Immediately go into the island. And we're off. Alright, cool. So I transferred data at about the 18, or at exactly the 18 minute mark. Now let's see how long it is until I transfer data again. I was estimating four to five minutes, closer to five. That might be, might be about right. Oh, this is gonna be fun. So it is currently 10.20 p.m. in the game. It will end at 6 a.m. the next day. That will be 24 hours. So, seven hours and 40 minutes remain. I'm hoping to get about somewhere between 80 to 90 gyroids total when all is said and done. We'll see what I end up with. I'm also hoping to get a few more new pieces of furniture as well. Sputnoid. Mini Sputnoid. What was the other one? Mega Decoid. Jukebox. Oh, yeah, it's right here. A mini Puffoid. Nice. Three new ones. That's awesome.
So a little over five minutes with that that rate. Five and a half minutes. I'll be able to do about 10 to 11 of these trips per hour. And eventually I'm going to average about one new gyroid per trip. So that's about, that's like one new item every five minutes. If I need 117 new items, now I need, let's see, seven, five, nine. I need 108 new items in the next seven and a half hours. I still need to hit about 15 new items an hour. I don't know if it's going to happen, but I'm going to try. I'm going to try my hardest. going to be close. I think. And if I don't get it, you know, I can always try this challenge again. I have another idea for a strat that might get more items quickly. We'll see. We'll see. I didn't mean to dig that up. My bad. Alright, now the gyroids. Mini Rustoid. I already have that one. And... Dang. Only one new one that time. Oh well.
I'm gonna switch it up a little bit. I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna put a um, hundred bells here. Yeah, I guess we'll go with that. Hundred bells there. <clears throat> here, oh, there's already a hundred bells there. And here. Right, drop this off. You know what? Never mind. I changed my mind. I think my setup was fine before. There we go. Alright, that should do it for my setup. I don't think I'm going to change that now. I got a good strat on the island. So what I'm going for is the three new gyroids, or three gyroids every time, and then four, wait no, five pieces of furniture, and every like, maybe every fourth trip, I hopefully I'm going to get a new item. There's still 24 crazy red items that I can get. It's about a 1 in 20 chance I'll get one per piece of furniture, and there's five. So it should be about a 1 in 4 chance every single time I uh, dig up a piece of furniture, or every single time I do a trip to the island, I'll get a new item, crazy red item. I'm hoping to get, like, at least 5 new crazy red items when all is said and done with the gyroids. And I want to give myself about 2 to 3 hours uh, after all the gyroids to try to collect a few more items. Ideally closer to like 3. So around 2 a.m. 
and it is currently 10.30 p.m. So another two and a half hours of this. We'll see. We'll see what I end up with. That's, a, that's fine. Got two new gyroids this trip. I will take it. Treasure chest. Very nice. <clears throat> Alright. Next. Hey Groat, thank you for the good luck. We get to listen to Captain Sea Shanty over and over and over. Meanwhile, I get to rest half the time. With this many island trips, 
the odds of me seeing a whale are uh, higher than normal. We'll see. Let's see if I find a whale. That'd be cool. Cool double beach tables. Clue Clue Land. Dang. Alright, furniture is a bust. But, gyroid time. That's definitely new. Nice. That is not new. Not nice. That's new. Alright. Two out of three, that's about all I can ask for at the moment. That should be 600 items in the catalog now. Yes. Cool.
So I started off with 33 gyroids. I've already gotten 10 gyroids in less than 45 minutes. So not bad, not too bad. It's about the pace I was expecting. Hopefully I get about 40 more gyroids. Fifty would be ideal. But yeah, now it's about a two and three chance I'll get a new gyroid per check. So still should be getting about two new gyroids per trip. And that pace should continue for a little while longer. Then it'll be between one and two for a little while. And then eventually it'll just be one on average. I've always gotten at least one new gyroid so far. Eventually, I, it'll, there will come a time when I will get no new gyroids in an island trip, and that's going to be very sad. But it will happen. Anyways. We'll keep enjoying the good times while they're going. Haven't gotten a single new piece of furniture though. That is unfortunate. <clears throat> I should have statistically gotten at least one by now. Alright, now for the main event, the gyroids. That is a duplicate. That's new. Good. Dang, I only got one new one this time. Bummer. Oh, and if any point I ever mess this up on the Game Boy Advance Island, I would. Uh, there's a chance I will reduce my uh, likelihood of reburying a gyro to 75%, and getting a thousand bells instead, which would basically ruin this run. So I'm really hoping I don't mess that up at any point. I'll do my best to not make any mistakes. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
101 items remain to 50%. And I got seven and a half hours. Actually, no, I have seven hours and 10 minutes to do it. So let's see, how's my pace? Mm, it's about, it's about the pace I need to be on. For now. Oh good, my other batteries are done charging, so when these batteries die, I'll have more. I always have a steady stream of charged batteries for the Game Boy. table. Merge sign. Cabin chair! Finally something new! Yes! Finally got a crazy red item. Took long enough. Alright, I got one. One new crazy red item so far. I would like to get at least four more. All right, that was exciting. How about gyroids? No, I got that one a few islands ago. That should be new. Oh, it's not new. All right, we got one new gyroid yet again. Dang. I'm getting fairly bad luck with this right now. But all I can do is keep going. Less than 100 items to 50%. 99 items remain. Half of those will be gyroids. Perhaps. I gotta take this call, so hold on. Um, I'm going to mute my mic. Thank you. 
All right, I'm back. Oh, sorry I had to take that phone call. Uh, but that's just sort of what happens when I'm streaming during the middle of the day. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, yeah, so we got some new KK... Or not KK Slider. Uh, that'd be awesome if I got some new KK Slider music. But that's not doable. Or that's not possible. I got more crazy red items. In fact, I got three, I think, while I was on the phone. Cabin Chair. Deer Scare. And oh no, I got a I got a Kaiko figurine, which is not a crazy red item. That was my last item from my rare list. So I actually have every single item from my rare list now. That's kind of crazy. 
And I did get one other crazy red item earlier. I forget what it was. But that is three crazy red items in the last rare item, which I was not expecting to get. That was, that was a nice bonus. So we'll count that as a crazy red item. So four. I'm, I was hoping to get ten. Like five to ten. Ten would be the max. Uh, reasonably. Like within reason to get. Uh, I still have like 20 possible crazy red items I could get. If I got all 20, I would be ecstatic. <laughs> Probably not going to happen. Gyroids have been a little lackluster. I am I should still be getting like two on average. Well, now it's a little less likely, but I've been getting like one. Like five in a row now. I think I got two once out of the last five island trips. Two new gyroids at once. So I don't know why I'm getting bad luck with the gyroids. But, you know... Maybe it'll all average out at the end. We'll see. Hey, Charlie. How are you doing? Regal sofa. No, I need a regal bed or regal chair. Not a sofa. Jade's doing well. She is doing well. She is... No. She was... Oh, pinball! Oh, I need balloon fight. Dang it. That sucks. That was a 50-50 from Balloon Fighter Pinball. They're both crazy red in yesterday. Anyways, she was uh, she was on my desk earlier, lying with me, or lying on the desk while I'm playing Animal Crossing. But she uh, she has moved elsewhere, it appears, and she is not behind me on the bed either. Maybe I was too loud. Tall Dingloid, <laughs> excellent new gyroid. And a Mega Crocoid. Alright, there we go. Two new gyroids. Finally. Yeah, too bad I got a second pinball. Actually, that could have also been a, just a regular NES. That was a 50-50 to be a new NES item. Oh, well. You know what? Just for fun, I'm going to keep this pinball and play it later. And I'll replace it with a regular piece of furniture, because I can. Hey, that's exciting, Charlie. Congrats. Business cards are... legit. Cool. Alright, so six and a half hours remain for this challenge. Is that right? Yeah, six and a half hours remain. Still got a good two and a half to three hours left of island of, of the island, at which point I'll be done with the island entirely, I think. I think this pace is still good. 614. I need 88 more items in six and a half hours. I think it can still be done. I think it is still reasonably possible to do this. We'll see, though. It's going to be close. If I don't get it, I'm going to try this challenge again with a new, with another strat that I can implement um, that I just wasn't able to implement with this town. But I'm going to finish this out no matter what. Because I'm, I'm still actually learning some new strats, at least optimizations for strats I had already thought about. Learning to optimize strats is almost as valuable as learning new strats in a way, because then you save time to do other things later. Yes, challenge would be interesting for every Animal Crossing game. I think this is a, uh, a universally interesting challenge for Animal Crossing games. Um, yeah, maybe, maybe in the future I'll do it for another Animal Crossing game. GameCube, of course, is my favorite. So I will focus on this. Uh...
But for now, Animal Crossing GameCube for the foreseeable future. I'd be interested to see if other people do this challenge for other Animal Crossing games. I think New Horizons, this would be a really interesting challenge for New Horizons. I mean, I kind of did it when the game came, when New Horizons came out. I only slept three hours that night. <laughs> and I played until like midnight the next day. So I played New Horizons for, I think like 18, no, I guess it'd be closer to 15. I played New Horizons for like 15 out of the 24 available hours when it first came out. And also, there's not really a good tracker for New Horizons to like measure completion, like game completed, game completion, as far as I'm aware. So that would have to be developed. Same with City Folk. I think there is a tracker for City Folk, but I'm not positive. Yeah, I remember I just ended up fishing a bunch. In crafting, I think. I don't remember exactly, but I do have it recorded somewhere, I, th I think. Actually, I don't know. Yeah. Oh, Nooks. Yeah, that's true, actually. I ended up playing a lot on day two because I started at 11 p.m., the previous day, so I unlocked the airport on effectively still day one for me, but it was day two in the game. Yeah, that's that's a factor of when you start your day. Absolutely. I think that's a new one. Nice. Two new gyroids. Can I get a three for three? Yes! Three for three new gyroids. That's the first time that's happened since the very beginning. Nice. No new pieces of furniture, but that is fine because three out of three new gyroids is very good. Going strong, 
that. That was my Windows Defender. It is uh, apparently it was time to do a security scan. It's fine. It can do that. Six and a half hours remain, and I need 85 more items. Good pace, I think. I think this is a, a fine pace. I've gotten four new pieces of furniture. Every piece of furniture at this point is valuable. Every new item is valuable at this point. Literally every single one. Ideally, I get five more, or like six more pieces of furniture, new pieces of furniture for the rest of this island session for the next three hours. That'd be very helpful. That would put me on a decent pace, I feel like. We shall see what happens. I got a mop last time. Why'd I get another mop? Another pothos. Interesting. Alright. That was all pointless. Alright. Mega Crocoid. I think I have that. Yeah. I already have that. Don't give me a zero out of three. Okay, good. That's new, I think. Good. I don't. I didn't have any quasoids. All right, we at least got one new gyroid. I'll take it. Can I drop off the shovel over here? Oh, I can just do that. That's easier. Fine. 
It didn't go according to plan this round. However, I'll make it work. I was worried that might happen. Basically, Flash decided to plant a flower where he should not have. I'll use this opportunity to uh, go get some more items. I'll let him plant some random flowers, I guess. Okay. No harm done. I needed to get more items anyway at some point. I should have enough items that will keep me uh, sustainable for the next couple hours. Pretty sure I do. Because I got a bunch on the island as well. Hey, yippa. Yippa. <laughs> How are you doing today? Yeah, Flash ended up planting a purple flower or a pink cosmos here. There we go. Fix that mistake. No, Flash, I don't want to talk to you. Oh, this is the first time I've actually talked to him. <laughs> That's really funny. Yeah, I guess I have not actually ever talked to him yet. Even though we've been working together for the entire day. <laughs> All day, doing stuff. Alright, gyroids, what do we got? I think that's a duplicate. Yeah, dang, that's the only nebuloid that I have. Oh no, I guess I got two. I know I have that one. 
No, come on, please. No, I got a zero for three. It finally happened. I'm not even, I don't even have half all the gyroids. Dang, I finally got a zero out of three. What a terrible, what a, what a, just a terrible island run that one was. Flash messed up. He didn't even give me anything new. Rip. Oh well. What are you gonna do? Keep going. business this time. picked up four this time because I lost the shirt earlier, which is not that big of a deal. But it's good to have an extra. Alright, that was the first time I had gotten nothing new from an island run. And it's gonna happen again, I know it will, but I was hoping it would be a little while longer till that happened. The nice thing about these island trips and the reason why I'm streaming today is because I can actually take care of other business like responding to emails during these during this specific cap and boat ride <laughs> and phone calls and whatnot. I almost dug up those flowers. It would have been not the end of the world, but for not to. Mm. 
All right, gyroids time. Come on. Oh, that's the first one. Nice. Got the first gyroid. Already have a mega squelchoid. No. Are you kidding me? I need any other. I need other quasoids. Yeah. Right, well, at least I didn't. You know, get nothing. I suppose I'll take it. Oh, there's Jade. Hello, Jade. Come on, Jade. Good, Jade. <laughs> there she is. Good, Jade. Okay, as long as you don't lie down on my keyboard, obviously we have no we have no issues. Just don't lie down on my keyboard, please. That's a perfect spot to let. Actually, it's not a perfect spot, Jade. It's close. Jade, you can't lie down on my mouse either. I'm sorry. Jade, stop! Stop! She almost ended the stream. Now she's lying down on my keyboard! God, this cat! <laughs> She's a very good cat, but she does not understand the value of... Okay, what did she do? She... Did she move anything? Surprisingly, no. I don't think. She almost clicked in stream. <laughs> yeah, you're right, Charlie. I do need that. That's exactly what I need. <laughs> Well, if I put it above my keyboard, then I can't see my computer screen. It needs to be the opposite. She needs to have a spot under the keyboard. But she would definitely not accept that, because she's a cat. Good job. Nah, even if she's slightly elevated, even like half a, even like, yeah, like half a foot up, I won't be able to see all my computer screen. I will consider creative solutions, though. Absolutely. Oh, Jade. She she found a spot where she is not lying on my keyboard or my mouse, and she can still get pets and appears to be content. Half a foot. Oh, sorry. Uh, a sixth of a meter. <laughs>
<laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> All right, blue cabinet, don't need it. Flowery painting? Dang. That is a... That is a painting, but I... Or a crazy red painting, but... It's not one of them that I need. I already have that. Yeah. That was a bust. Almost not a bust, but it was. <laughs> Mega Freakoid. Do I have that? Yeah. Here we go. Mega Dingloid. Got something new. Another mini Quazoid? Well, bummer. I am now officially getting bad luck with gyroids yet again. Flower. Okay, good. Yo, I thought he was gonna plant a flower, and that would have been very unfortunate. Right, I'm sure it would, Charlie, but um, I don't really, you know, that's not really my style. It might be Jade's style. Pink keyboards and pink mice. Not, not exactly for me. <laughs> But thank you for the suggestion, I do appreciate it. I do tend to spoil Jade. Um, though it doesn't take much to spoil her. She really only wants boxes. And a few cat toys that she can re-gift over and over again. Which is very thoughtful of her. still streaming? Yeah, I think I'm good. Okay. Yeah, she does just want to be a part of the challenge, and she does make it more challenging. That is a true fact. Thank you. 
Diver Dan? That's not what I want. Pinball? Another pinball? Now that's just not... That's just not right. That's not fair. Mini decoid. Oh! That's what happened. Jade did exit out of the hundo helper. Dang it, Jade. Oops, that's not right. What'd I get again? Mini decoid. <laughs> I, th I thought something had happened. Mini owl. I'm pretty sure that's new. Yes. Good. And a mega clankoid. All right, is my luck turning around? I think so. Good job, Jade. All according to plan. <laughs> three out of three new gyroids. That is excellent. Kind of makes up for the bad gyroid luck that I've been having. Not quite, but it does definitely help. Unfortunate that I keep getting pinballs, which are the same odds as balloon fight. But, three out of three new gyroids, I will take that. And somehow I still don't even have half of all the possible gyroids. In fact, I haven't even doubled the number of gyroids that I started the day with, yet. But, that's 44%. And that is less than 80 items remain. 79. That was interesting. Um, the lights were on in Flash's house on the Game Boy Island, but it, they just randomly turned off. But it's... Oh, I, it must be 11 p.m. It must be 11 p.m. It's raining! What? It's not... Oh, it's the next day. It's... Is it midnight? It is midnight! It's the next day. <laughs> that explains it. It is the next day. It is not another day as far as uh, Animal Crossing days are concerned, but it is a new day when it comes to, uh, you know, the calendar day. Okay, it is midnight. And Cap'n loves the rain. <laughs> His dialogue changes. Very interesting. Six hours remain, so my timer's a little bit off. I'm gonna update it. Make it a little more accurate. Stop. Start at 18. There we go. No, that's not what I meant to do. All right, that's, that's accurate now. Are right, we got rain? But only in town, not on the island. Six hours remain. 44% complete. 6% left. I just need to hit 1% per hour. For the next six hours. 79 items. Six times... 12. No, 13. 
about 13 items per hour now is the pace I need to be on. We'll see. We'll see. That's about a new item every five minutes or so. A little, a little more than that, actually. Or a little less than five minutes. Cool. Don't know if it's going to happen, but I am getting a lot of good information. I think about three more hours of island stuff. Maybe. Maybe three. Two and a half. We'll see. the gyroids. I think it's new. Yes. Also new. Wow. And uh, I don't know. Whoa. It is new. Huh. Okay. That is very good. That is excellent. Three out of three new gyroids yet again and I'm now over halfway done with collecting every gyroid or I've over half the gyroids excellent all right next island trip good good all right sounds good Charlie have a good one and uh, of course I will say hi to Jade she just meowed so she is still here happy as can be Six hundred twenty six items in the catalog now. Seventy six items remain. Still max happiness, even though it's after midnight. Good, good, good. His lights in the house just are not on. That does not seem to affect anything. Well, I've picked up everything on the ground. Here, so I will uh I will have to go get more shirts back in town. Well, there's a bunch on the island. I guess I could just I guess I could just use those. Yeah, I'll see if I need to bring any more from back in town.
I don't know why Jade's leaving. She has more important things to be doing right now, I guess. I get tennis. Nope. Treasure chest. Dang, another cabin chair. I got that earlier. It's a crazy red item. And uh, it could have been any other crazy red item that I needed. I'm getting... I'm honestly actually getting pretty bad luck with the crazy red items. I really hope that luck changes. But gyroids have been very good lately. That's a duplicate, yeah. I think that's seven in a row. That was seven in a row, that was new, but unfortunately, those were not new. One new gyroid, all right, back to reality. Oh, Flash is still around. Okay. Eh. There's still a bunch of items on the island, but what I can do <laughs> is I could actually go and like uh, move them on the island itself, which is kind of funny, but that seems like a lot of effort. Oh yeah, I definitely have another, I definitely have enough items for the entire island, for all the island trips, definitely got enough.
You can get a tan, so you couldn't pick your character's skin color, but you can get a tan on the island, or if it's summer in town. Yep, there's nine different shades, I think. And every 10 minutes it goes up one shade when you're on your island. But if you if you have an umbrella in your hand, it will uh, it will like you know you, it will not count towards going up a shade. Yeah, so the umbrella actually did yeah actually have a function. <laughs> it actually did something. Yeah, there's a lot to this game. So many details. I love it. Diver Dan's next to each other. An Umbloid. Awesome. Yes, three for three new gyroids this late into the gyroid game. That is very good. Still wish I had a few more crazy red items. But gyroids are doing well. Hoping to still get about 20 more new gyroids. Sounds good, Gizmola. Thank you for the good luck. Seventy-two items remain to fifty percent. Thank you. 
Three out of, th yeah, three island items. Oh, Luigi trophy! There's the Luigi trophy. Four, <laughs> four of those were island items, but the last one was actually useful. Hooray! Now gyros. Already have it. There we go, new gyroid, excellent. Two new gyroids. Another excellent island trip. All right. Keep those going. More excellent island trips, please. I'm trying to decide how many gyroids to stop at. I was thinking 90, but I might actually go for more. Maybe 100. 100 gyroids. We'll see. Oh, and that's 45% complete. 5% remains. Going for the 1% per hour. That is a very lucky last 20 minutes. 5% remains. 
How many items? 69. Alright. Nice. 69 items remain. For 50%. Which will be 700 items in the catalog. 702. And if I get any of these new crazy red paintings, that will be basically a double. That'll be two items at once, I think. I think it's how the percentage works for this, uh, this calculator. It's kind of a little jank, if I'm being honest, but it's good enough. And besides, 700 items in the catalog seems like a pretty good goal for the first 24 hours. Because it, it seems to be just doable. And I don't know if 800 items is even theoretically possible. 750 for sure. I have to count. I'm going to count at the end, see what the theoretical max is. That also would assume you get Gulliver on day one would be the would also contribute towards the theoretical max as oh and as well as which villagers you start with because they could start with like uh camper items and whatnot as well as their shirts mm. but that shouldn't be too hard to factor that in as well the theoretical max realistically though 50 percent is absolutely possible uh, but not easy by any means or free. Dang, another Ico figurine. That's a crazy red item. Perfect painting. Bummer. I already have that. Yeah, I need a quaint painting and a dainty painting. Those are the crazy red paintings that I still have. Alright, Jot Roads, what do we got? Already got that. Bummer. What else? I think I already have that. Dang it. Dang, I got a zero out of three for this island trip. That sucks. That's the second time that's happened now. Oh well, we're getting up there at the gyroids, it makes sense, but still, I should still be getting at least one new one per trip on average. Alright, back to reality. Rest in peace, five and a half minutes. I don't know about getting up to 100 gyroids. I don't know if that's reasonable. We'll see though. Maybe 90, I think, is a, it was my original goal. That might still be my goal. Maybe between 90 and 100.
Five and a half hours remain. It is 12.30 in the morning. I could try to finish this challenge today. I'm actually... I might. I don't really have anything else I need to do. And if I don't hit 50% for this attempt, I'm going to definitely try it again. I have another strat that I want to implement that I wasn't able to implement because I didn't... I want to... I need a snooty villager to be in the same acre as another villager. That way I can try to play the game where I trade items endlessly with the snooty villager for several hours. And I think that's going to really boost the number of uncommon furniture items I end up getting. As well as carpets and wallpapers. I'll be able to get like 10 more of those in total. Which, at this point, is a f is significant. Anyway, still five and a half hours remaining. You never know what's going to happen. Super toilet. <laughs> Got the super toilet. Gyroids now. Already have that. Already have that. Don't, don't do it twice. No. That's twice in a row I've gotten no new gyroids. Uh, at least I got a new furniture item. Bomber. I'm not even at 80 yet. I should be getting one... Or even maybe two new gyroids per island trip on average. For the time being. I got eight I got seven new gyroids in a row and then eight duplicates in a row. So cool. Very cool. O R N G. Thank you. 
So I'm still hoping for four new pieces of furniture by the by the time all is said and done, and 20 new gyroids. I think that's going to be my goal. 90 gyroids seems to be mm, somewhat reasonable. I, uh, 95 seems fine, actually. Maybe 95. We'll see. We'll see how lucky, or how lucky I end up being for the next like two hours. Statistically, I should get like 25 more gyroids in the next two hours. 30 if I'm up with slightly above average luck. 20 with with below average luck. We'll see. I should at least get two more crazy red items. Like at the very minimum. By the time, or but yeah, by the time all is said and done. Three would be average luck, four would be slightly above average. Again, every single item is valuable at this point. Especially crazy red items since there's no other way to get them. Well, that's not entirely true, but no good way to get them. No quick way to get them. Guaranteed way to get them. We'll see. Dang it, another famous painting. That's a bummer. Another deer scare. Dang. Yeah, it's unfor very unfortunate luck. Very unfortunate luck. Alright, gyroids time. Maybe I'll get good luck on the gyroid side. Nope. That's my fifth tall droploid, I think. Do I have that? Yeah. Dang it. No. Dude. That's so bad. That was just a sad run. That was a sad island run. Next. I need to see a whale to bless this run for good luck for the rest of the challenge. That's what I need to see. Mm. 
All right. I will now use the island items, or the items that are currently on the island, <clears throat> as gifts for Flash. And if I need to go back to town to get more shirts, then I have plenty left still. Is that a coelacanth? <laughs> Fair enough. Right, I got to uh, pick up shirts and whatnot on the way over here now. I don't have to, but I think it's still more efficient to do that. Finally, a new gyroid.
All right, I'm feeling good about this island trip. I'm feeling two new gyroids. We'll see. And balloon fight. <laughs> you know what? Let's go big. Two dain a dainty painting and a quaint painting. Get both. I'll get them both. I'm feeling it. That'd be huge. Bummer, garden pond. Yeah, that's a bummer about the garden pond. That is a crazy red item. And I've only seen one of those before. Alright, gyroids. Come on, I want two. At least. That's a new one. No, it's not! Oh, I thought it was. That's definitely new, though. Okay, we got one. So far. And... No. Well, better than zero. Better than zero. Still got five hours and fifteen or like ten minutes. Five hours and ten minutes. I think ninety-five gyroids is gonna be a reasonable amount.
Go to the bathroom and be right back. timing. A lot of garbage from the furniture. Not even one crazy red item. That's right. Can't always get a crazy red item. It's about a one in eight. Actually, it's exactly one in eight. Anyways, gyroids. Yes, a new one. Good. Two new ones. Yes. And I think that's the third new one. Oh my goodness, I just got three out of... Well, I just got three new gyroids at once. This late in the game. Alright. That is... That is fantastic. Good, good. I made up for the last couple island trips. Yes. Yes. Seventy six gyroids, forty five per cent completed still. See how this ends up. Still another two hours of this though.
I exited out of the Game Boy Island while I was talking to Cap'n. And I actually didn't know exactly like when you had to exit out of the Game Boy Island. Um, I actually still don't know. But now I know you can exit out of it in the middle of your dialogue with Cap'n, so it might be before you even... Actually, I don't know what it is. It's probably just before you say, like, yes to going to the island. That's probably all it is. Which is very good to know. So see how many crazy red items do I have left? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Less than 20. I'm hoping to get four more still. We'll see if it happens. We shall see. G-Logo. Now's not the time, G-Logo. Dang it, that was really unfortunate luck. I needed a classic vanity. I got two other classic items. Alright, well, now for the gyroids. Are you kidding me? I just got a Sproid. I already have... Uh, that's my sixth tall Droploid. No, dude. That's so bad. I, I get three for three, and then zero for three. Just cancels out the luck. You'd think it would average out at the end, but... I don't know. I feel like I'm definitely getting on the bad luck side, all in all. Next. I want at least 20 more gyroids before I'm done with this. Still doable. Absolutely still doable.
All right, so that worked. I uh, I pressed B to leave the animal or the Game Boy Island, the Animal Island uh, frames before I pressed A to tell Captain to go back to the island. So that does work. It's just before you press A. Perfect. Now I know. Five hours remain. It's 1 a.m. now. <clears throat> Wisp cannot spawn because you need at least eight weeds in town for Wisp to spawn. No, not a strange painting. It needs to be a dainty painting or a quaint painting, not a strange one. That's a bummer. Another bummer. Right, I'm tired of getting bummers. Can we at least get at least two gyroids, right? At least two new gyroids, I believe. No. That's new. Alright, we got one. That's two, I think. Oh, I already have a poltercoid. Dang it. One new gyroid. It's better than zero. Hey, thanks for commenting, Black Knight. I appreciate that. Glad you're enjoying your new leaf time while you watch me play GameCube. Means a lot. Thank you. All right, one new gyroid, better than zero. Next. Oh, and hello, Pokes. Yes, hello. Hope you're doing well. Let me know if you guys see a whale, if I miss it. I, I'm looking up from time to time just to see if there is one, but uh, it's entirely possible I've missed a whale. <laughs> oh, no, there's a fish in the acre. No whale. Thank you, Poke. I appreciate that.
These batteries are starting to die, but that's alright, because I got a second set of batteries. Oops. There we go. This is why rechargeable batteries are good. <laughs> For this situation right here. One battery. Two batteries. And the nice thing is I can switch them out during a boat ride later. I'm not about to spend a hundred dollars on batteries so that I can do Animal Crossing challenges. <laughs> I mean, I would, but rechargeable batteries are very nice for this situation. I never have to worry about running out of batteries. Six hundred and forty items in the catalog. Sixty-two items remain with five hours left. That is twelve an hour on average. My average has improved slightly. But I wish I was at at least eighty gyroids by this point. Woman pole. <laughs> There's a new item. Ah, very nice, Kyler. That's a good idea, actually. I might invest in that. Alright, we got a new crazy red item. Umbloid that I don't need that. Mini Drilloid, I think, is new. Yes. Oh, there's a whole section of new gyroids here. Mega Lullaboid. Is that new? No. One new gyroid. One new crazy red item. I'll take it. No modding. Good, good, good. Also... Yep, that is very good. Yeah, I currently have my Game Boy Advance set up on a, like a foam wedge, which keeps it propped up so that it actually receives adequate lighting so that I'm not like straining my eyes to see. Um, one easy solution to fix that issue is get a Game Boy SP, but uh, yeah. I used to have one. I don't know what happened to it. I think I let a friend borrow it. And that was a mistake. The SPs are great. I really should just get another one. Hmm. 
backlit screens for Game Boy Advances would be nice. Frames before I said yes to Cap'n, I exited out of the Game Boy Animal Island, and that works perfectly. So it looks like eight items seems to be about the optimal amount if you intend on immediately returning to your island. Eight items, three gyroids, five furniture is what I'm doing for now. However, that is not the optimal strat um, to... Uh, maximize your time because these boat rides take forever but they're fun yeah i bet they do kyler i bet they're in high demand I still want to get three more new pieces of furniture before I finish gyroids. I'll take two, but three would be ideal. Especially a quaint painting or a dainty painting, because that counts as two, I think, for the way this Hundo Helper is programmed. Oh yeah, I really should move these things over here. Is that right, Kyler? That's awesome. Nice. Wait, Flash is in bed. It's 1 a.m. Oh, wait. No, he shouldn't be in bed. He's just somewhere else. Lawn chair, classic hutch. No, I need a vanity. Green wardrobe. Oh, I do need a green wardrobe. Yes. I do not need a diver Dan. I do not need my hundredth diver Dan. <laughs> Anyways, green wardrobe. Excellent. Alright, now the gyroids. Excellent. A new gyroid. Let's keep that going. That's not new. Come on, one more. Dang it. Well, at least I got one new one. Fifty-eight items remain for fifty percent. Hello, Jade. 
Welcome back. But yeah, even if I don't hit 50% for this attempt, um, I have new strats that I can definitely uh, that I can definitely work with for future attempts. And I have the the general plan pretty well down now for the for this first 24 hours. But we'll see. There's still a decent chance I can hit this goal. Still got five hours, a little under five hours. Still hope. Jade. Yes! Finally! The very last NES game that I can get besides the two, uh, two island NES games, which I can technically get. Yes! Balloon Fight! Awesome! Alright, so that was very good. Now the gyros. Nice. That's the 80th new gyroid. 81st new gyroid. Yes. I have a, I've had a billion mega gongoids. That's fine. Two new gyroids and a new crazy red item. I will take that any day. All right. I only need. I only like um like I'm only expecting to find one more new crazy red item with this whole gyroid session. So, uh, that's, that's pretty dang good, I gotta say. I'm feeling pretty good now about the crazy red items. I wish I was a little further on the gyroids, but it is still fine, especially after that. Hoping to be in the mid-90s for the gyroids when all is said and done on the island.
No whale. Yet. Oh whale. There are 16 more possible crazy red items that I can still get. Another coelacanth, very nice. Classic vanity, regal chair, lovely end table, ranch chair, tympano drum, dainty painting, blue table, modern end table, regal bed, NES, black bishop, tanabata palm, quaint painting, backyard pool, steamroller, and saddle fence. Uh, and there's actually still two lottery items I can get as well, which would be just as excellent. Lovely Kitchen and R-Wing. Don't know how I haven't gotten an R-Wing yet, but uh, that would be a nice furniture item that I could get as well. So I'm at four, oh, at 46%. 4% left with uh, still four and a half hours. Good. 46%. I must have just hit it with those gyroids and the balloon fight. A little over four and a half hours. Yep. Almost 1.30 in the morning. In Animal Crossing, of course. An amazing painting. Dang it, I've gotten duplicates of, I think, every painting now. Besides the ones that I haven't gotten. That's a bummer. Well, still hope. Another Mario trophy. Could have been an R-Wing. Alright, now for the gyroids. already have that. Uh, do I have that? Yeah. Dang it. <sighs> Why does it seem to happen that way? I get two, three new gyroids, then nothing, then nothing. Two new gyroids, nothing. Why? Bummer. Keep going. I think I still got enough for like another hour of this. We'll see.
I need to go back into town to pick up more shirts. I can go this way though. There's some shirts there. There's a bunch of stuff there. I'll remember that. There's some shirts there. now. Four and a half hours remain. Oh, another cabin chair. Dang it. That's a crazy red item that I got earlier. Could have been a regal chair, which I also need. Alright. Bust on the furniture. Please don't draw dead for the gyroids again. One new gyroid. It's better than zero. And we're getting to the point where getting one is the statistical average. So 
I will take it. Yeah, I'm going to say about another hour of this, and then three and a half hours left for the remaining items. Fifty-four items remain. Ten more gyroids. Hopefully one more crazy red item. We'll see. Yo, Cosmic, what's up, man? Thank you for the raid, dang. Appreciate that a lot. How are you doing today? It has been a while since we've had a Cosmic raid. Thank you. Yeah, currently I am playing two games at once. However, this is a little easier right now. So when I'm looking off screen a little bit, looking down, I am playing on the Game Boy Advance, which is connected to my... GameCube, or I guess my Wii in this case, and um, and then I'm playing on the Animal Island while I am collecting new items on the island on the Game Boy Advance, and then um, I immediately, as soon as I get the eight items that I uh, acquire on the Game Boy Advance, I immediately transfer the data back to the Wii, where the island will have new items ready for me to dig up when I get back. And so we're just taking Captain's boat ride over and over again, and then digging up eight items at a time. And I'll be doing that for the next hour, at which point I think I'll have accumulated enough gyroids, because this is the only way to get gyroids right now, or new ones. And the goal is to hit 50% completed within 24 hours. So four and a half hours remain for four more percent. I expect to get about 10 more gyroids. I was hoping to get closer to 15, but my luck has been kind of poor lately with the gyroids. Hoping to get one, at least one more new uh, rare furniture. Two would be great. Three would be perfect. And then after that, new strats back in town. Or not new strats, but different strats. So that's what we're doing. Yep. Thanks again for the raid, Cosmic. I do appreciate it. I hope your stream went well. And, uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. So after this wonderful boat ride, we'll go see what items I got. And, uh, statistically I should be getting at least one new gyroid each visit. But that's statistically, so I may get two new gyroids, or I may get zero. If I'm super lucky, I'll get three. We'll see. But yeah, the challenge is going well. All in all, I would say. There's one strat that I'm disappointed I'm not going to be able to implement. And it was just doomed from the very beginning. Which is, uh, uh, which is a strat I may implement if I do this challenge again. Or I will definitely implement if I do this challenge again. But I would say I'm still on pace to get 50%. Uh, I just have to get a little bit more luck. Alright, nothing new on the furniture end. Gyroids time. Alright, that's not new. Hmm. 
There we go, there's a new gyroid. Yes. Can we get a second one? I actually don't know. Nope. One new gyroid. Alright, we hit the statistical average. That is fine. It is better than zero new gyroids. Oh, by the way, I actually have over half of the catalog completed now. So if you're looking at a pure catalog stance, I have actually officially already completed half of the catalog. Over half. But it just says 46% because this factors in the museum items as well. So it's not the most accurate representation of percent completed of the game, but... It's good enough, and 700 items is definitely doable for this challenge. And that's going to be 50% overall, according to this tracker. And it's a nice number, it's doable, so that's fine with me. So 53 items remain for this challenge. Hit the goal. I got four and a half hours to do it. Still technically on pace. And the strat that I'm using to max out the friendship is uh, a new strat recently discovered. Thank you to Kyler. So Kyler found some more island data, which has really made this challenge a lot more uh, feasible to hit 50%. So uh, drop three items off, give them to the islander on the Game Boy Advance island, have the islander go back inside, back outside, and their max happiness. All right, Cosmic. Thanks for uh, thanks again for the raid. You have a good rest of your day, and uh, and uh, yeah, I'll see you next time. Maybe even later today. I'll probably be streaming for another four hours. I'm probably gonna finish this challenge tonight. I don't see why not. Something would have to come up. We get this time. Treasure chest, an orange chair, 
Speed bag. Traffic cone. Oh my goodness. Not even a single crazy red or lottery item. Alright. Bust on the furniture. Alright. Happens. But if I get good gyroids, it'll make up for it. What do we got? I already have a mini dinkoid. That, I think that's new. Yes. All right, we got one new gyroid. I'll take it. Uh, what else we got? We got one more. A mini fizzoid. Two new gyroids. Excellent. Excellent. All right. That was good. Especially for this late in the gyroid game. That is very good. Next. Fifty one items remain. I'll be doing the island run for about one more hour. After which there will be maybe another island run at the very end if I need to clutch some items out at the very end. Um, but other than that, I don't plan on doing another island run after this, uh, after another hour. A little less than an hour, actually. I'm aiming for 92 gyroids, I've decided. I think is going to be my, uh, my goal. I'm hoping to get at least one more new crazy red item. Or lottery item.
Oh look, I got a black knight. <laughs> How fitting. Flash. Are you Flash? You've got to be kidding me. Move! You stupid bird! Oh my god. You've got to be kidding me. There. <laughs> he wasn't. He was in the way. I couldn't bury the item. So annoying. Alright. Well, bummer. Bummer on that trip. Bummer. Flash, where the heck are you going? You gotta be kidding me. Get over here. Five more island trips, I think. Yeah, I think five more island trips will be enough. I think five. I might do a bonus trip or two, depending on how many gyros I'm at. Hope we still get one more crazy red item. We'll see.
Oh, a green dresser. I got that earlier. It's a crazy red item that I needed. Bummer. No island items. Or lottery items. Alright, now the gyroids. Yes, that's a new one. It's right there. Dang it, I have all the decoids. Dang it. Alright, that's alright. We got one new one. I'll take it. Fifty items remain. In four hours. Wait, where's the shovel? I didn't drop off the shovel. Oh my god. You gotta be kidding me. Rip. <laughs> Rip five minutes. <laughs> do, 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 do. Alright, we're doing five more island trips, apparently. This is the boat ride of shame where I forgot to drop off the shuttle. <laughs> I could also just be done with with the island entirely. Hmm, that's a thought. No. I can't do that. Unless I come back later. Hmm. No, I need the shovel. I have the shovel. You know what? Let's do it. We're done with the island for now. I've decided. We are done for now. I will do the island later if I need to. Perfect. Alright, well, slightly changes my plans. Oh, I got letters? <gasps> do I? Five of them? Six of them! All with gifts. I didn't think I was going to get these today. Oh. This might have just saved the run. We'll see. What do I have? Gyroid paper. Yes. Fireworks paper. I think I already have that. Yeah. Oops. Octopus paper? Yes. This might have just saved the run. What is this? Felt paper? Um. Oh, it's because it's my birthday! That's why I'm getting all these gifts. What is... What paper? Is that noodle paper? I already have that. And, uh... I don't remember what that paper is. That's why I'm getting gifts. So... First, let's see what I got. Cactus. Should have also gotten a letter from home. Two ball shirt. No, don't need that. 
Sherbet Gingham. Coffee Machine. Fall Plaid Shirt. Why did I- oh, a racer shirt. Why did I not get a birthday cake? Uh, I don't know. Maybe it's in the backlog? Alright, I need to look up those stationaries. Meanwhile, I'm going to make a new character. I got ranch paper, that's what that was. I already have ranch paper. And the other paper was... I think it's tile paper. Yeah, it is tile paper. Nice, that's new. All right. Excellent. Today, we'll go with my other cat, Matsu. Because I could get a paw shirt and a mint gingham. So I need 46 more items in 4 hours. It is now 2 a.m. So that means... Is that right, 46? Yeah. So that means I need... It's still, I'm still on pace. Hey, Walba. Yep, we are doing another, uh, another challenge. I'm just making a second character in this same town. 20 hours because if I choose other homes other houses then I can get wallpaper that I didn't have before as well as a potentially new shirt paw shirt or mint gingham the mint gingham yes all right we got a new shirt and I'll get a new wallpaper just for making a new character awesome That's two new items, which I can mark off later. I just gotta make sure I drop off the shirt and wallpaper. There's another reason why I'm doing this, and that is... Wait, how many sta what station are you at? 34? The other reason why I'm doing this is because I can run errands and also... Um, yeah, I can run errands and also do games like talk to villagers since they'll be out and about during the chore sequence even in the middle of the night all right this is good this is the shanty wall i think i don't yeah i'm pretty sure that is i guess i can look you can verify Yeah, it's the shanty wall. Alright. Perfect. So my plan of attack here is to get a bunch of new uncommon furniture. That's what I'm hoping for. So I will immediately pick up the shovel. <laughs> and, uh, and I will start greeting villagers.
specifically Apollo, who's apparently already out. Oh yeah, that's because he's awake. 203 and 49 seconds. It's actually very good information to know. And we got Ellie over here. He's playing with the ball. And now, I will get them stuck over here. Apollo, work with me. Thank you. Let's see, I want Ellie to be stuck right here. Ellie, come back. Oh no, I want Apollo to be there. So if... No, I want Apollo to be here. No, I want Apollo to be here. So I want Ellie to be here. Ellie. Oh my goodness. Ellie, get over here. Now Apollo, where did he? Okay, good, he's still here. He's looking at the cricket. All right, we are now ready to go. Oh, you know what, before I do this, I need to talk to Ellie a bunch to get through the normal generic dialogue. I'm getting through the generic dialogue. You know what I just realized would have been genius? No. Yes. Actually, make four characters and have all their birthdays be September 17th. But then how do I transfer saved letters? Can you transfer saved letters between characters? Through the intro dialogue. Now back to this. Come on, have a little little emotion. A little positive emotion. You know what? I know why. I can still have generic dialogue with Apollo for now. Alright, what I'm most curious about with this is to see how much Apollo talks about uh, me. 
Yep. There we go. There it is. How often is he going to show me that stupid letter? I'm also curious to see how efficient this ends up being. There we go. Modern lamp. Yes. That's an uncommon furniture item. Perfect. Oh, I gotta make sure I save the new items. Right. I'm gonna put new items over in the Nook Acre. I think. I think that's the way to go. Come on, come on, Apollo. Little emotion. Why is Apollo not showing literally any emotion? There. <laughs> Was that so bad? Come on, more free stuff, less generic dialogue. There we go. There's a new item. Or there's a well, there's an item he's gonna give me. What do we get? Dang it, I don't need that. I should go find the money rock. Maybe. Now give me some money. I think you'd sell me more things. 
Well, let's see what he gives. What he gives me? A ranch couch. Don't need it. Here we go. Nice, that's a new item. Now I got 3,000 bells. Oh, he's still happy. Well, still happy. Number 67 shirt? Yes. Yes, that is new. Awesome. Need that. Now we're now we're getting somewhere. Seven percent, three percent left, four hours and forty-five minutes. I'm gonna see what happens if I say no twice to this. Okay, nothing. That's fine. Now I know. Classic wall. No, I need a classic carpet. Dang. See what happens if I say no to that as well. Oh, my God. 
I think I have that. That is a new shirt. Yes. Awesome. Forty seven per cent still. Yes, and a new piece of furniture, a lunar, lunar lander. Awesome. Thirty-nine items remain. Three and a half hours. Yeah. 
Dang. That is an uncommon item, but I happen to have gotten it earlier. Yes! Detour sign. Awesome. I've got that. So this is very good information. The reason why is Apollo is not showing off the letter from my other character. Brian, my main character, and that's good because that is really annoying long dialogue that I was fearful of. But he only shows it off during his normal mood, but when he's happy, he is not showing it off, which means his standard rate of giving away free stuff has not changed, and this strat works perfectly. Thirty-eight items remain. Three and a half hours. <laughs> Apollo, the stars are beautiful tonight. Look how clear and lovely they are. Immediately afterwards, get a life. <laughs> Come on. Classic clock. Don't need it.
I know I do not need that. I got that earlier. Dang. Okay. Got that as well. Yeah. See if Ellie has anything. Oh, Apollo's still whistling. I should keep talking to him. Hello. Excellent. Another new item. Where is it? Oh my goodness. There. Yes. Lovely vanity. Six hundred and sixty six items now. Gold Econo chair. Nope. Pretty sure I do not need that. It's a decent way to make money while also getting items. 
Black Pawn? Yes! Wow. That's insanely lucky. I'm only one chess piece away from completing- having every chess piece. And, um... Could have easily gotten it on the island. With a little more luck. Anyways, new item. Obviously I'm thrilled about that. Thirty-five items remain, three and a half hours. Jade. Kitchen tile? I do not need that. Jade is so annoyed with me because I'm not letting her lie down on my keyboard. Jade, just, just chill. Pitfall? Oh, that's right, it's not actually a pitfall. <laughs> Cabin wardrobe is new! Yay!
34 items remain. Have to go to the bathroom. Be right back. All right, I'm back. Thank you. 
I think I've got that already. Finally, I got that iris table. That's from my common list. Hooray! A new item. Oops. A green desk. No. not need a shanty mat. Oh, that's new. No way. A blue bookcase. I am a blue table away from completing the blue series. Oh wait, actually I need a blue wall. But furniture-wise, and the blue table I can get from the island. Hmm, so if I were to extend this into a day two challenge, I could actually max it, or I can get the HRA rewards on day three. Kitty couch? Yes. Yes, awesome. Oh, my God. 
think I've already got a sprinkler. Yeah, I know I do. Alright, he showed me the letter because that was not actually his happy dialogue. That was his generic dialogue. Yes. Nice, a new shirt. Sweet. Got that. Yep. Mm. 
Sweet! Another new item! Yes. Extinguisher, yet another new item. Still at 47%, but I've got to be really close to 48. Twenty eight items remain. Right? Yes. I know it's so close to fifty percent, and I still have three hours left. But the problem is, I'm running out of new things I can get. I think I've already got that. Yeah. Yeah, regardless, even getting close to 50% is insane. And actually, if you look at the catalog, I've technically, I mean, I own over 50% of the catalog. So just the way that this program uh, calculates percentage, it also includes museum items as well. So 674 is over half the catalog, so I've already completed over half the catalog. But seeing 50% on the Hundo Helper is gonna, will look very nice. I think I have that. Yeah. 3 a.m.
I can still reasonably get like 10 more items whoops from the island between furniture and gyroids in about an hour I can obviously get more So once I get like, yeah, I guess 18 more items here. And if I can get 18 more items in two hours, I think I've got this. We'll see. That's nine items an hour. Yep. We'll see. I think I've got that. Yeah, I have all the TVs. I've got to be one or two items away from 48%. Uh, I also have a strat for 30,000 bells on the island, which could get me potentially one more item as well. So all this money I'm saving up will come into play, potentially. I should also be talking to Ellie when she's whistling. A scale, yes. Um, I need to uh, save the scale. Where is it? Oh my goodness. Oops, wrong animal. Forty-eight percent, two percent to go. I don't know if I should talk to Ellie. I just need more carpets and wallpapers. Three hours to get two percent. Fancy carpet, I do not need that. I have so many regal bookcases. It's funny, a regal bookcase is one of Apollo's items that he has in his house. But I have not entered any houses to get the 10% chance to get an item from his house. Regal carpet is new! Yes! Need to save that. Good, finally got a new carpet. Oh, my God. 
table tennis. Dang it. Oh, hey, we got a raid from the real Rabbit Heart. Appreciate that. How does this stream? Hope it went well for you. We're approaching the end of the 24 hour challenge, three hours left. And right now I'm trying to just get some uncommon furniture. Classic painting. Unfortunately, unfortunately, I already have that. I need a rare painting. My stream's going well. Sitting at 48%. 2% to go. Three hours. That's my goal. I don't know if I'm going to get there. But I really hope I do. Because I'm running out of new things I can possibly get. It is possible, though. No, I don't want another Regal bookcase. <laughs> that is very unfortunate. My goal is to get 700 items in the catalog, 24 away, and then two more will make it 50%. So really 26 items remain. I do not need a green table. Yes, yeah, this is a fun challenge. I have strats if I were to, if I don't hit 50% and I want to try again, I have strats to just push it over 50% that I was trying to implement earlier in this, in this run, but I wasn't able to because I didn't have a, a, a good enough starting town. But I still might be able to get there. Red vase. Oops. I already have that. Dang it. It's a tea vase that I need. Anyways, three hours. Still chill. I can reasonably get 10 more items on the island. So really, 16 more new items in the next, like, hour. Ooh. No, two hours. Okay, that's much better. Are you kidding me? Another number 67 shirt? Dang. That is unfortunate luck. Because I got that earlier and that was a new shirt. Could have easily been a number one shirt or a number four shirt, both of which are new as well, or would be. No, I don't need your stupid minute work sign. Sixteen items in two hours, so I need eight items per hour now. Still definitely doable. I have a strat to get one new shirt if I need it. I'm gonna try not to use that strat though. Basically making a new character, a female character, 
and there's a one in four chance I can get a new shirt. But it's only one new item, and not really worth it. Oops, I meant to do wallpaper since I got more carpets, but let's see what we get. Another regal carpet. You gotta be kidding me, that's so unfortunate. I already have Jasmine Bonsai. Waffle shirt is new! Yes! Awesome, there's another new item. Good. A blue burrow, I'm pretty sure I do not need that. No, the only blue item I need left is a blue table, which I could get on the island if I'm lucky. Pretty sure I have that. Yep. Yes! Ranch table. Awesome. Whew. <laughs> this is kind of working. Alright. Fourteen more items until I'm going back to the island. Oh my goodness, another regal bookcase. Four items remain. That's unfortunate about the lovely vanity because that was an uncommon item that I got earlier while talking to Apollo. Oh, my God. 
Come on, Apollo. Give me something new. At some point, I, I'm thinking about running errands for villagers to try to get some more stationery and shirts. I don't know though. I think that's new. Yes. Awesome, that's from my uncommon list as well. MVP shirt, yes. Nope, don't need a sprinkler. Two MVP shirts. I like it. You know what I need to do? I need to drop off this mint gingham. If I forget. I'm pretty sure I got that. Yeah. Bamboo walls new. Yes. Yes. Did I drop off the bamboo wall? That would have been crazy if he stole the bamboo wall. Oh, I'm so lucky. <laughs> wow. Uh, if he stole it, I could not have put it in the catalog for the other player character. So it would not have counted. <laughs> I'd have to reorder it from this catalog, but it's the middle of the night, so I can't do it. So I would not be able to do that. All is well. All is well. Six hundred and eighty items. Twenty two to go, two hours and forty minutes. Nineteen to go now. Wow.
This might this might actually happen. We'll see. We'll see if it happens. It's coming down to the wire. Yes, another new item. <clears throat> wow, classic cabinet. Okay. Twenty items remain. Two and a half hours. I feel like I can get ten of them in one hour, but that's also not guaranteed. I was hoping to get a few more carpets and wallpapers by now. Like two more carpets and wallpapers. Ideally three. But we'll see. new yes it is wow that's from my common list though but that's all right I will still take it
19 items remain. I could go for 19 new gyros. Hmm. Nah. That's too risky. I definitely need to go for a few more gyroids before the end of this. I didn't think un- yeah, no, the uncommon list items can't become the most common. They always stay at exactly 35%. And I've acquired every single item in my rare list, so there's no point in trying to get rare items anymore. I still have 9 items left, wait no, 10 items left in my common list, but I still have like 30 items left in my uncommon list, or 40. A club shirt, nope, don't need it. But yeah, 2% in two and a half hours. It's just the fact that I am running low on possible new items. But I do believe it can be done. I'm trying to decide when I want to stop doing this. It's still working. <laughs> There's another new item. Still working. Eighteen items remain. I feel like I can definitely get one more new piece of clothing. One more new wallpaper, one new one more new carpet, and a few more uh few more new pieces of furniture. Alright, what do we got here? Ceramic tile is not new. I also have a strat to get the island NES games if I save up enough money. However, it's not guaranteed. It's about a 50-50 I can get one guaranteed new island uh, item with 60,000 bells. Ooh, crazy red game! Yes, crazy red game! Alright, I'm ready. That's five items. Candy machine. No. Next. Soda machine? Yes! <laughs> oh my goodness, that's all the machines. 
Wow. Crazy Red Game is an insanely good strat right now. Especially at this very moment in time. Can we do that again? That's <laughs> alright. The lovely vanity, it was a duplicate. Classic wall is... Not new, I need a classic carpet. That's sad. Boxing Barricade. That might be new. No, it's not. Sandbag is new. Hey, what's up, Cold? The challenge is going well. I need 17 more items to hit 50%. And I got two and a half hours to do it. So we'll see. It is closer than I was hoping it would be. However, it's exciting. Two and a half hours for 17 more items when I'm running low. I never did the infinite trading game because I couldn't, I just couldn't get it to happen. I thought at some point in the day, Yuka would leave the, her acre and like go to like, I don't know, a wishing well and then someone else would go to the wishing well and then I could, I could get it, you know, going through that. But the villagers never left their acres. So that was a bummer, and if I were to redo this challenge, one that I'm definitely going to try to implement, one I'm going to guarantee myself to implement uh, for next time. Because yeah, that would be a lot more new items. I did try though. I did try a handful of times. Because you can make snooty villagers whistle if they have certain standard regular dialogue. Um, and I got it a handful of times, but she never played the infinite trading game when she was whistling. Dang, that's a duplicate uncommon item that I got earlier. So, yeah, I mean, that's, that's gonna happen. I was also hoping to implement a strat with Alfonso, where he would be happy forever and just keep giving me a bunch of new shirts. But I, I don't know why that didn't work out as well as I thought it was going to. There's still like, like 15 uncommon shirts that I haven't gotten. Nah, not quite. 10 to 15, somewhere in that range. I'm hoping to get a few more. I think furniture is still higher odds. Is that new? Yes, it is. Okay, another new item. After this, I'll probably go back to speedruns until I can think of another interesting challenge. I might extend this challenge to a day two challenge. <laughs> However, extending it any further is just gonna be grinding out what I couldn't get on day one with maybe a few new things. But, so, no. Not at the moment. I have all the golf bags. Yeah, 350 plus furniture within the first 24 hours is actually kind of crazy. And there's still plenty of furniture left to get. It might be possible to get five, uh, 400 pieces of furniture on day one. Like, theoretical. I'll have to add it up at the end. But it might actually be possible. I think it is. I'm actually almost 100% sure it is. Yeah, actually I am 100% sure. It is possible to get over 400 pieces of furniture on the first day. Huh.
Stage show? You have you have stationery to give me? Oh, I already, already have that though. It's a bummer. I'm trying to decide if at any point I want to do villager, like run errands for villagers. Oh, I got that earlier, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I did. I need a lemon table. Yeah, 16 items away. Two hours and 34 minutes. It's definitely doable. I just need to figure out the best plan of attack. I have all the watermelon stuff, right? Yeah. I'm thinking about going back to the island. I'm also thinking about running errands for a little while. I think I'm reaching a point where I'm the rate of return from Apollo is not going to be as high uh, anymore. I don't know. When do I want to stop doing this? Maybe one or... Mm. Maybe like five more minutes of this and I'm going to start running errands for villagers. I think I'll run vill errands for villagers for like 30 to 45 minutes, and then the rest of it will be island. I think that seems like a reasonable plan. So I can still get like 10 more gyroids. Yeah. I want to play another crazy red game with Apollo, that would be great. Alright, yeah, I've decided one more new item from Apollo, and I'm going to run some errands to hopefully get some new shirts and stationery. Yep, that's my plan. Come on, Apollo. One more new thing. How much money do I have? Ooh, I wish I had a little more money. Because if I can get to 60,000 bells, then I'll be able to do the... Uh, I'll be able to do two attempts for island games, or for island NES games. Alright, I'm going to talk to Ellie, see if she wants to give me anything new. Perfect. <laughs> Hmm. 
Okay, that worked out well. All right, come on, Apollo. Work with me. Yes, I do like this game. Tall cactus is not new. Dang it, I thought it was. I have all the cactus. I keep forgetting. Wait a minute. Dang. I was hoping you'd play the uh, crazy red game with me. I keep forgetting after the carpet trade, he still whistles. Come on, Apollo, come on. One more one more thing. One more, and then we'll we'll be done with this. I also want three thousand more bells. Actually I want six thousand more bells. Okay, let's try to get that from both Apollo and Ellie. No, see that's a duplicate uncommon item that I got earlier from Apollo. So I'm... Yeah, that would have been new if I hadn't had it uh, earlier. Botanical shirt? No. I do not need that. Alright. Keep going. I think I have an alarm clock. Uh, Alright, this is the last one. Even if I don't get anything. I think that's new. Yes. <sighs> Excellent. Okay. Good deal, good deal. Time to finish errands. Good. All right, we got something new right at the end. That's perfect. Time to finish errands. 
or chores, sorry, chores, and then I'll start errands. Forty-eight percent complete. I'm almost at forty-nine percent. Fifteen items remain. And if I end up having time at the end where I hit 50%, I'm going to go and make a perfect town. Because uh, just for fun, that'd be like how you'd continue playing normally. To continue the challenge beyond the first day. Oh look, it's a new... Oh good, an axe and a net are the items available in Nooks today. That's just great. Well, this is, this is, uh, <laughs> this is not going to continue past this day, that's for sure. While I'm thinking about it, I'm going to go and swap out, where am I? I'm going to swap out the shanty wall so that I don't forget to do that. So I'm only going to do chores up until the carpet. After that, I will not need to continue. This would be really cool if I got new furniture from the chore sequence. hours and 10 minutes remain. I'll do about 30 minutes of errands for villagers. And then it'll be island for the rest of it. That's too bad I can't buy the axe and net because those are new items 
that would contribute towards the catalog. But as soon as I finish chores, nooks will close. Yep, even with Nook and Go, still wouldn't be enough. <laughs> oh well. All right, finally time for some to unlock time to unlock errands. Oh, I'll I'll, I'll Paulo's whistling. All right. I'm gonna actually try to talk to Apollo to get the Crazy Red game more than once. And I will complete, yeah, I'll deliver the carpet because that could be a new carpet, but I will not be entering nooks again after this. No need. All right. So, can I get the crazy red game? It's not a guaranteed new item, but the odds are pretty good. Stupid letter. <laughs> I'm talking to him one more time. Because I also don't want him to annoy him for running errands. Oh my goodness. Alright, that was a waste of time. Anyways. Come on, new carpet, new carpet, new carpet, that would be huge. Yes, it is new! Yes! Oh, there's a problem with running errands. These villagers still want bugs, even though I am playing on a different character. I'm playing with a different character. So only Peanut and I'll, and Apollo are willing to do errands right now, because everyone else is already they already want me to do something for them. All right, good to know. Shirt off his back. What was he wearing? Stormy shirt. I already have it. Wait, no, you cannot have a tartan rug. No. Okay, I gotta be careful with that. Well, so much for errands. I might have to clutch this out with island stuff. Where'd Apollo go? There he is. 
Zipper shirt, that's his default shirt. That is funny. Alright, what do you give me? MVP shirt. That was actually the last shirt he was wearing. Before he changed into a generic shirt. Why am I talking to Ellie? <laughs> okay. Back to Peanut. Dang, I forgot about this little, uh, little detail. I might have to go back to the strap trying to get more items from Apollo. Two hours left. How many? I need 14 more items. I might be able to pull it off with just island items. I wish I had a little more money though. That is a bummer. I need to find the red rock. It's a fossil. I do need to find the red rock to get a chance of another island NES game. It's a bit of a risk. But um, it will give me a decent chance for another item. Alright, good. I'm 3,000 bells short from having enough money. So I guess I'm going to have to do uh, the Apollo and Ellie strat one last time and see what I end up with. That'll put me at 60,000 bells. You know, I don't even need to use the shovel. I can just, like, force them to talk to each other. I just need 3,000 bells. Come on. Oh, I can get it from the island. Oh, I can get 3,000 more bells from the island. I should do that. I have two hours. It's 4 a.m. See if I can talk to Apollo yet. Okay, yeah. Okay, he does, still doesn't need anything. Okay, we'll finish talking to Apollo. See if I can get one more crazy red game, and then it's two hours of island games to finish off the challenge. Hopefully it'll be enough. 14 items remain. Oh my goodness, Apollo, please stop showing me that letter. <laughs> Please, Apollo, one crazy red game, one more item, and I'm going to feel a lot better. You know you want to.
Oh my god, Apollo, please. <laughs> Stop showing me that letter. Well, that was a waste of time. Alright, it's off to the island. Let's see, do I have anything I need to drop off? Sure. Well, I got that one new rug, or new carpet out of all that, so it was kind of worth it. 14 items in two hours, I need seven an hour. I could just go for, just for 100 gyroids. Might be able to pull that off. Two hours. Hmm, okay. I've got my plan. My plan has been established. I will do the island for the next 14 items for the next two hours. And hope for the best. Oh, I got more letters in the mail. Yes, it's the birthday cake from home. I don't throw that away. I was wondering if I was gonna get that. It's gotta be. For setting my birthday to September 17th. Yep, it is. And that's airmail paper. Do I have... Oh, wait. Is that airmail paper? I think it is. Anyways, that's birthday. That's a birthday cake. So that's a new item. Yep. <laughs> All right. Yeah, that, that's clutch. 49% <laughs> going into the island with 1% left in two hours to do it. And I've got a few strats to potentially pull it off. <sighs> All right, let's get these bells. Oh wait, I do have 60,000 bells. I thought for some reason I was off by 3,000. Well, there we go. Uh, I mean, calculate, obviously. All right, that is a decent chance at, a, at one and maybe two more items if I'm very lucky. Next up, let me... I, oh, I need to uh, I need to drop all this off. Before I do anything, I need to pick up all these items so they actually count towards my catalog. way more than I could actually drop. I do want to actually keep one carpet and wallpaper. Oops. Um, I have an idea to try to clutch out one more carpet and wallpaper on the island. I don't know if I just re-picked up stuff I already picked up, but that's fine. Okay, that's good enough. The rest, I'm gonna bring all these shirts to the island as gifts. You know what? I might as well bring furniture. They, I can gift furniture. I'm not gonna run out. I may end up using this furniture anyways. Okay. Cool. Have my strat ready. Everything's been picked up. Catalog is correct. Here we go. Yep. Island is ready to go.
13 items remain. I got two hours to do it. I am feeling pretty good, if I'm being honest. Feeling pretty good this is gonna work. But we'll see. <clears throat> I still have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine common items left I can get, which I'm gonna try to go for one or two of them. I still have five umbrellas I can get. I'm gonna also try to go for those. I'm gonna do two rounds of common items with thousand bell bags. That should take about 30 minutes. And then hopefully get like four new items from that and the rest will be gyroids in an hour and a half. I think. <clears throat> Or I could just go for 13 new gyros. But that makes me nervous. I definitely do need to do at least one round of furniture though. Let me drop off these shirts. And let me get this going. Actually, no. I want to do 30,000 bells here. This is a gamble to try to get one more NES game. I could also... Ooh. Maybe I should only do one. I was going to say I could also use all that to try to get umbrellas. Instead of one NES game, go for umbrellas. I can, I can think about that, actually. I don't have to do that immediately. But I do know I want to get this furniture going. How do I want to set this up? Actually, it doesn't matter, because this is going to be normal mood. So actually... Um... Yeah, I'll just... I don't even need to deal with any of these coconut trees. Why am I dealing with these coconut trees? I'm digging this back up. I know it's going to cost about 30 seconds, but it's worth it. Because then I don't even have to deal with these coconut trees. Just bury furniture right here. Don't need to get fancy. So all this furniture is going to hopefully turn into common furniture. And this is a bit of a setup. I don't like how long this is taking, but I think this is going to be worth it to squeeze out a few more common furniture items. I think. I really hope this is worth it.
You know what? I'm gonna go one more over. I've, I've decided. This is fine. Alright, now just this furniture. Four twelve AM. <laughs> One hour and forty five minutes remain. I'm gonna spend like thirty to forty five minutes on common furniture. And umbrellas, maybe. That is enough furniture. All that good. The rest of this furniture can actually be used as gifts. Alright, we're set. Hour 45. Oh yeah, this is going to take a moment. It's alright. <clears throat> Five umbrellas are possible. Orange umbrella, lacy... Paper Noodle Retro Blue. Oh, six. I actually can get six umbrellas. Hmm. Maybe I don't go for the Island NES games, but instead I use that 60,000 bells that I have to, uh, uh, to go for more umbrellas. Flash, stop stealing these shirts. I need these shirts. <laughs> For later. Get over here. Keep going. Keep going. Ignore the tree. Ignore the tree. Thank you. Flash is uh, not cooperating very well. Okay, here we go. Time to start digging stuff up. Meanwhile, I'll go back to town, I'll get more gifts for the gyroids. And I'll also talk to Apollo a bunch. I think that's the play. Flash is now kind of doing his own thing on the island, but I'm going to be monitoring him. Meanwhile, I'm going to go spam talk to Apollo since I got nothing else to do while I wait for Flash. Apollo is awake for 40 more minutes. And I think he actually goes uh, into, into his house. He doesn't need any errands, that's fine. 
He's gonna be showing me letters. Well, hoping he does the crazy red game. <laughs> sunny days, yeah, super sunny right now, Paul. Dang it. Oh, I need to do. Come on, Apollo. Something. Come on, Apollo. Please. I wonder if Mati's still doing well. Yeah, he's fine. He just moved into town. Well, that was not useful. Let's see if Yuka's still awake. I actually don't remember if... I think she's in her house until 5, but she might... Oh no, she's asleep. But I can do this. Flash actually might have already dug everything up. There, he found something new to dig up. Alright, I need to uh, start heading back to the island. I was hoping I'd get something. But apparently not. Alright, now what I can do is I can I can max out Flash's happiness and do a double... Flash just shook a coconut tree that did not have a coconut in it. Meanwhile, I can start picking stuff up. Flash is max happiness, now I need to figure out where he dropped that shovel. Oh my goodness, where did he drop the shovel? Wait, really? Where is it? Coconut. What? I can't find the shovel. He's stealing my stuff. There, I found it. Okay. It's behind a tree.
Alright, we're good. more things to dig up. Flash, are you kidding me? Dig it up, dig it up. Let's see, already did. Good now. All right, so on the right side of the map will be generic furniture, which hopefully will be at least one or two new common furniture items. And then on the left are gyroids, carpet, wallpaper, and three pieces of furniture which could become crazy red items or new crazy red items and I brought with me some more gifts for flash when uh, when I continue the gyroid grind okay look at all those twos an hour 38 remains 13 items still but I should get a few new common items, common furniture, and umbrellas. <clears throat> if I get three new common furniture, I'll be done with furniture, and I will probably go for three more umbrellas and the rest will be gyroids. I think seven to eight gyroids is reasonable. We'll see, we'll see. It is very close. Where's that shovel at? There it is. All right, we'll start off with the rare stuff because that's, that's fun. Wait, what? Oh no, this is fun. Shanty mat is not new. Green wall or modern screen? No. I'm hoping to get one new wallpaper or carpet because those odds are better than trying to get another crazy red item. All right, what do we got here? Treasure chest. Blue table. Yes, that is a new item and the last blue item. Yes, where right, we got a new item. Twelve? No. I don't know how many. Alright, now gyroids. Yes, a new gyroid. Okay, okay. The blue table was such a good find. Alright. Two more gyroids. Tall aw. Oh. I already have that. Sputnoid. Two new gyroids. Okay. Okay. Ten items remain now. I just got three new items. And I haven't even dug up the common furniture yet. Okay, that was super lucky. Uh, let's see what we got over here. Oh, yeah. And drop off these gifts. Wow. All right, so we are looking for, not that, kitty dresser, baby bear, uh, writing desk, Maki figurine, daffodil chair, elephant slide, nice classic painting, orange cone, iron frame, and satellite. 
I should have decent odds of getting at least two new pieces of furniture. Stupid sawhorse. <laughs> I think the no, I think the last item in my no in my no nooks challenge was the uh, minute work sign. It was in the construction theme, that's for sure. I don't think it was the sawhorse, but it was definitely in the construction theme. You are correct about that. All right, violin, pine table. Come on, just one or two, and then I'll I'll be done with this. Fan palm. And go right back where it was. New chair. And whole cover. Green lamp. Come on. Oh, this isn't good. Alright, eight more things. There should be thousand bell bags as well. Maybe this was a waste of time. Even if I get one new piece of furniture, I'll say it's worth it. Come on. Okay, there's a thousand bells. That sucks. Do I even bother doing this one more time? Yeah, one more time. I guess. Or do I just go for gyroids? I'll do this one more time, no more. The 30,000 bell bags could become uh, island NES games. There's a 25% chance. So Wario's Woods or Baseball. All right, one more of this and then not doing that. Yeah, it's a substitute for a golden shovel, basically. Hour and a half remains. Ten items left. I could just go for gyroids and the wallpaper and carpet. Whoops, my, my Game Boy went into sleep mode. Alright Flash, let's get to work. Flash. Let's get to work Flash, come on.
Alright, Flash is getting to work now. Hello, Sandbag. Yeah, I'm only doing one carpet and wallpaper right now because I only need two. There's only two more possible carpets and wallpapers I can get, and so I think that's. Wor I think the odds of getting a new wallpaper or carpet are better than trying to get a new crazy red item with two other furniture. So I'm just trying to get one more of each. That's all I really ask for. And once I get it, I will switch it out with furniture. Alright, I I don't even know if I want to bother talking to Apollo anymore. I guess I will. I still think it's worth it. He's still awake, he's inside. He's inside until, until 5 a.m. I remember it all very clearly now. Flash is now doing his own thing. Oh, I need money for him to play the Crazy Red game. No wonder he wasn't playing with it. Or, no wonder he wasn't playing the Crazy Red game. A mod wall? Ah, oh, I need... Sure, why not? I need a modern wall or a modern screen, but not a mod wall. It's a bummer. <laughs> Notice it's the dead of night. <laughs> yeah, maybe. So this is basically a waste of time unless I had 3,000 bells on me. Alright, that's, that's enough. I have everything in his house as well. Flash, where the heck are you going? You come right back here this instant. Ellie's asleep. That's fine. Flash, you come back here. You are not done. You are not even close. Sure, I'll talk to Ellie. Flash, you just dropped the shovel. Unacceptable. Alright, I think this is a waste of time talking to these villagers. I should just focus on the island entirely now. I got an hour 25. This should be all the gifts that I need left for Flash for the rest of the challenge.
Okay. I think you've dug up everything over here. Flash, let's head back. So that'll be the last time that I do furniture. I'm really hoping I get at least one new piece of common furniture, else it feels like it's all wasted. No! Flash! You dropped the shovel right now. You dropped it right now. Okay. He wasn't max happiness. He almost dug up a gyroid not at max happiness. That would have been very bad. Okay. All good. Almost heading back to the island now. There we go, that's the last thing. It is, there will be no more heading back into town. It is all going to be hanging out by the island. Gyroids, furniture, umbrellas, maybe one carpet and wallpaper. I need 10 items in the next hour and 20 minutes. I don't think going for gyroids alone will be enough. So I'm really hoping I get at least one more new carpet or, or wallpaper, and or wallpaper. However, he dug up a carpet and replaced it with a common carpet, which uh, the odds are the exact same if it was a rare carpet. So, you know, I'm not too upset about that situation that happened. That's why I did not put the gyroids up there. Anyways, enough rambling. I'm hoping to get two more common pieces of furniture, but I didn't get any last time. Hoping to get like two or three umbrellas. I, honestly, two is enough. And then uh, take it from there. So if I can get five items besides gyroids, I'll only need five gyroids. And that's definitely doable. Statistically, absolutely. All right, 10 items remain. Let's see what I can do. No way. Are you kidding me? I'm getting so lucky with crazy red items all of a sudden. Okay, nine items remain. Wow. Regal wall, don't need it. All right, lovely carpet? Nope. Nine items remain. That was some crazy luck with furniture. I haven't even dug up the gyroids yet, come on. At least one new thing. Yes! We got a new gyroid. Eight items remain. I think that's a duplicate. Yep. And that's definitely a duplicate. Alright, that's fine. We got one new gyroid, one new 
furniture, and I haven't even dug up the common furniture or umbrellas yet. That'll be the last time I dig them up. Let's see what I get. Six items till 700, which is, honestly, that would be fine if I reach that alone. But eight items to, to uh, 50%. Alright, don't need that. Right, I'm going to start getting shirts, which will become gifts. Paper parasol? Yes! A new umbrella! Seven items remain. Shirts are guaranteed to be useless. Don't need that. Shirts are guaranteed to be useless. I think that is... Oops. Yep, that's a duplicate. That's fine. Don't need that. Come on, at least one. At least one new common furniture. Alright, what I'm going to do now is just clear these holes so I can drop everything. Perfect. This is honestly insane. Honestly, this is insane. Well, that was a monumental waste of time, unless all that was for RNG manip, which, you know, maybe. Yeah, that was rough. Gotta make sure I drop off the shovel. Well, I got a bunch of new crazy red items, which I wasn't expecting to get that many new crazy red items, so... It is what it is. We are not doing that anymore, though, so from here on out for the next hour, will be gyroids. And, uh, carpets and umbrellas. And if I need... or not umbrellas, carpets and wallpapers. I have five more umbrellas I could get, and, um be a risk. It'd be a gamble to try to get him. Wait. Yeah, five, yeah. There'll be quick sessions, though. Yep. So each of these takes about five and a half minutes each session. So uh, I got about 12 sessions to do this.
It is doable. For seven items, 12 sessions, absolutely doable. And I don't have to go back into town ever again, because I have all the items I need between uh, here outside the island and on the island. I don't really regret going for more common furniture items, because statistically I should have gotten at least one. And, that's, and on average I should have gotten two. I got zero. Now here's an interesting thing. If I get a painting, a new painting, dainty painting or quaint painting, it will actually count as two items because it'll count towards the museum as well. If I get both, <laughs> I only need to hit exactly 700. If I get none of them, I get 702. So regardless, I will need to get 700 to hit 50%. Yeah, I figured out it calculates the percentage like that. Yeah. The calculation's kind of jank, but it's still a good... 700 for the catalog is still like a good goal, and it's going to make the Hundo Helper look nice and pretty at 50% if I get there. Hour 10 minutes. 70 minutes to get 7 items. So I needed 1 item per 10 minutes, which means I need on average a little... A little under... Uh, what was that? An item every 10 minutes? A little under that? think. I don't know. That's about right. We'll, we'll just we'll just see what happens. Where's the shovel? Oh yeah, it's over here. Alright, starting off with crazy red items. Or potentially crazy red items. Dang, I need a modern end table, not a modern dresser. Alright, now for the carpets and wallpapers. A modern screen! Yes! Six items remain! That worked out very well. Okay. I am going to actually replace this with 100 bells. Because I, I actually don't feel like it's necessary to try to get... Oh wait, no! A second carpet! I'll replace it with a second carpet, of course! I should have one on the island, right? No, I don't. That's so dumb. I will bring one with me. And uh, and then I'll have two carpets going. Okay. For now, it'll be a piece of furniture. It's fine. Not the end of the world. Two carpets. Yes. Absolutely. In fact, I should get more carpets. Yes, in fact, that's what I should do. I should bring more carpets. I have enough carpets back in town. I just need to get them. And yes, I could always make extra characters. I have already gotten all the possible wallpapers and carpets from the houses. That's fine. Uh, but there are still two, no, three shirts I could get from making new characters. Of course, they're not guaranteed. but it is an option. Oh, the gyroids! I got so excited. Well. Rest in peace, four minutes. At this point, it does not it's not really worth it. That sucks. Well, we'll just pretend it was a dud, right? Yeah, 
Just pretend it's a dud, all's well. It's got the modern screen. Okay. We're, yeah, that's unfortunate. But, uh... Oh well, at least I got a new item. I was thinking about the stupid carpet plan. Didn't even dig up the gyroids. Alright, two carpets is gonna just have to be enough. Dang it. Two carpets will be enough. Well, actually no, there's two carpets over here. Five carpets should be the strat. I should go for max carpets. I know there's some over here. It won't take long. It'll be worth it. Okay. Home stretch. Yes, it is. Six items left. I should probably check the catalog on the second day to make sure uh, <laughs> I didn't, like, miss something, or do something wrong. I should probably do that at the end of this challenge, regardless. I think 50%'s in the bag. I need six more items, and I got an hour to do it. Gyroids, I have a... Uh, I have a statistically average odds of getting one every, like, three and a half. So gyroids are, you know, I'm still doing good on gyroids. I could definitely get six more gyroids. Even if I get nothing else, just six more gyroids would definitely, or it would, would be all I need. But it is also doable. Because I'll still have ten more of these island sessions. Actually, eleven. If I don't make any dumb mistakes, like I just did. Eleven more island sessions. Statistically, I have this in the bag. Now let's see if it actually happens. Honestly, I can just dig everything up at once and then rebury it all. I don't need to do anything fancy of like, you know, check this group of items. I think I'll just do that so that way I don't mess that up again. Gyroids. Harmonoid. Nope. Nope. Yes! Squaltroid. Oh, we got one. I got one more. This is the carpet. Don't need it. Okay. All right, five items remain. Still have an hour. I'm gonna, mo more than likely, I'm gonna get a one new carpet. So it's really down to four gyroids, probably. And I always have the backup strat for the Island NES games, which I should just go ahead and do anyways for fun.
Five items remain. I already have three furniture in my inventory. All right. So I have, I currently have five carpets buried. I need the lovely carpet or backyard lawn. Those are two possible carpets I can get. The odds are pretty good I'll get it in the next like uh, six island runs. After this I'll have like, I'll actually only have like five more after this. I need five items, so I need to average one new item per... Wait, no. No, I got like nine still, never mind. I was like, wait, no, that's that's way too close. So I got like nine island trips, and I need five more items. Hopefully a guaranteed carpet. I'm thinking after I get the carpet, I will just go for the 30,000 bells. For the uh, NES games. And then after that, I'm thinking I'm just going to reduce the number of crazy red items I actually dig up. Because they take time to dig up and, and rebury. I might be able to squeeze in one more island trip. I don't know, though. Don't know if I need to get that optimal. We'll see. It's starting to get lighter outside in the game. It's 5 a.m. Alright, gyroids. Yes, a new gyroid. Okay, four items remain. This feels so doable. But we'll see. Alright, check the other gyroids. Do not forget. A regular clankoid? Oh my goodness, that's so lucky. Three items remain. Okay, I already have that. Wow. That just completely made up for the missed gyroid session earlier. I am at 699 items. I have an hour to get three items. 
I think this is gonna happen. Statistically, th I have like a like a 90% chance of this actually working. Uh, maybe more. Wow. Gyroids are powerful, um, but I am getting really lucky. But yeah, they are very powerful. I have one hour. I have less than an hour. <laughs> Why is it coming down to the last hour? <laughs> Why is this so close? It's easier to see the island again. It's, it's kind of like daytime. It's morning. if you see the whale. Nope, there's the regular fish. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Even if I get just one more item in the next hour, I'll be happy because that's 700 items in the catalog. But I think, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Start with the shirts. Yeah, I'd be surprised if I didn't get it by this point. But, you know, it can happen. It's still not guaranteed. Lovely carpet or backyard lawn? Come on. Dang it. Alright, gyroids. That's new. I've never seen that before. Wow. Two items remain. That's insane. Two items remain. I means I'm at 700 items now. Alright. <laughs> wow. 
two items. I'm gonna go for a little more even after that in case I accidentally click something that I don't actually have, and I'll check the catalog on day two. All right, carpets haven't panned out yet, but uh, I still think this is worth it. And I still can get an NES game, potentially. 700 items in the catalog. Let's go. Wow. All right, moving along. No glitches, one town, no note codes. Of course, no e-reader cards since they didn't exist yet when the game first came out. Yeah, New Horizons Day 1 would be jealous right now. <laughs> Halfway done with the game, Day 1. Yeah. I need to bring two this time, you'll see why. Alright. Fifty minutes remain for two items. I don't want to jinx it, so I'm not going to say anything. See what we get this time. I think it's about a one in. Oh, let's see, there's 30 some. Well, there's. No, there's 40. There's. Let's actually I can count right now. One, two, three, four, five, six. There are 44 carpets and 44 wallpapers that I can get on day one. And with the carpet strat, it's a. There's two different carpets I can get, so it's a 1 in 22 chance per island trip. Or no, 1 in 22 chance per carpet I dig up. And therefore I have 5, so it should it's about a 1 in 4 chance that I get a new carpet using this strat. Which is better than, uh, the better odds than the crazy red items. So, statistically I should get one of these carpets. And then that's only that leaves only one more gyroid if I get the carpet, which uh, which seems very very likely. But I uh, just wanted to calculate the odds of that. About one in yeah, about one in four. A little somewhere between one in four and one to five, but closer to one in four. Okay. Right. We'll see. Flash is asleep because it is after five a.m. Oh, my God. 
I still think it's worth going for the carpets. I really do. Harmonoid. I'm pretty sure I got that. Yeah. I know I've got a Mega Puffoid. Yep. And... Drilloid. Yep. Alright. It's alright. I was getting very lucky. Next. I got seven of these left at best. Six of them is more... Seven is going to cut it close. Six is like, I've guaranteed six more. Oh wait, no. I have eight more. Sorry, I have eight more guaranteed. And nine more at uh, absolute best. We're good. Math is hard right now. Forty-five minutes remain. Two items to go. I still feel very accomplished hitting 700 items in the catalog. So no matter what, this is a very successful challenge. But it sure would be nice to get this arbitrary 50% calculated based off of this arbitrary item tracker. <laughs> 700 though, is uh, that's a good goal. which I'm very happy to have already achieved. I think I can get two more items. If I get one more item, I might just grind for uh, another player character to get the last... Yeah, to get another shirt. Could do that. Honestly, that's not a bad idea. If, I'm, if I literally need one item, it's a one in four chance. I get a check every two minutes. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Or this was probably good. This way. Now, I want to try to get more than 702 in case I missed one for some reason. Anyways, come on, let's get one of those new carpets. 
Statistically, I should have already gotten it by now. Alright, now gyroids. Mini poltergoid. I think I've got that. Yeah. What else? That might be new. Yes, it is! One item remains. I think I've got that. Yep. One item to go. If I just had that last carpet. If I had that carpet, I would have already gotten there. It's alright, though. One item to go. 40 minutes. Should I go for the NES game? I could just end on with the NES game from the island. It's a 50-50. But if I were to continue this challenge, getting 60, having those 60,000 bells is a good start to paying off my second debt. I'll do it as a last resort, I've decided. One item to go. 40 minutes left. Did I not drop off the shovel? Why am I making this so hard on myself? Ugh. Guys, I need you to help me. <laughs> I can't do this alone. <laughs> help, I'm making too many stupid mistakes. You need to spam shovel every single time until I get it. <laughs> oh my god. I'm one away. Should I just go for shirts? I'm not doing that. I can get it on the island. I know I'm one item away, but I don't I don't feel like this is guaranteed still. <sighs> I'm still nervous. I'm one item away, but I'm still nervous. Cause I also don't know if the cattle if I've marked everything perfectly accurately. I checked the catalog at 9.30 p.m. before Nook's closed, but I haven't checked since. I could be off. So I want to get a, more than just one item left. I'm going to cheer when I get to it, but I'm not going to feel completely comfortable until I get, like, two more items after that, at this point.
Okay. I think my plan to check for the catalog is I'm gonna do a reset. So I'm gonna like fast forward the time by three hours and then I'm going to check the catalog and then I'll reset to go back to 6 a.m. in case I wanna continue this challenge in this town in the future. Okay, here we go. Am I gonna get the last item? Lovely carpet, backyard lawn, or any new gyroid? Got a lot of them. I still have 23 gyroids I can get. So every, yeah, so it's about a, it's a one in six chance I get a new gyroid. Every time I dig one up. So it's about a 50-50. I'll get a new gyroid. Okay. Still the same odds as getting an island NES game. Twice as likely than getting the new carpet at this point. So that means I've got about... Let's see... One in four chance, plus one in 50. I don't know, like a 60, yeah, like a 60% like a chance I complete this in this island session right here. Those are pretty good odds. And that's every island session. I got still five more good island sessions left in me, even after these dumb mistakes. Four more good ones. Five more possible ones. All right, here we go. Is this gonna be the last one? Start off with the carpets. Nope, not yet. Nope, not yet. Two blue floorings. Come on now. Yes! There it is, everyone. The backyard lawn. <sighs> Excellent. That is... Incredible. Okay. That is... Not 50%? I didn't calculate it right. Uh, okay, we're not done. But that's alright. Um, these will now be furniture. Uh, it's close. It's got to be close. I, I thought I calculated I needed uh, 702. 
apparently, I need more than that. It might have something to do with the weird calculations with the paintings. Uh, I'm gonna test on the... I mean, it's alright, it's alright. It's not over. I know I'm very close. <laughs> and this is why I needed more than 702. Because uh, I wasn't sure if everything was calculated correctly. Alright, gyroids. I think that's new. That's a new gyroid. That's 703 now. I don't I still know if that's 50% yet. But uh, what else we got? Oh my goodness. Two new gyroids? That's 50%. That's... <laughs> and we still got one more to check. That's... Uh, that's a duplicate. There it is, everyone. Now we got 50%. I did it! <laughs> yes! 50% complete! With 30 minutes to spare. Let's go. <sighs> wow. That's crazy. I actually did it. I actually hit 50%. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get a few more items. Try to get a few more new items. But there it is. 50%. I'm going to do two more island sessions. And I'm going to try to get one of the shirts from starting villagers. Two more island sessions and go for a starting shirt. And uh, whatever happens, it happens. And then after that, I'll call it a, uh, I'll call it a, the end of the challenge. I'll actually pause the time there. And... Um, and can maybe continue this in the future. So, fun fact about the shirts that I would get from the starting characters. I have I have three shirts I can still get, but only but one of them is only available from the boy characters, and two of them are available from the girl characters. The girl characters have the folk shirt and daisy shirt, which are which are seasonal shirts. And there's no other way to get them right now, unless I had a villager that wore them naturally and I got them. Oh, whoops. I should be playing on the island. Oh, that's fine. Let me focus on this. Anyways, um, there was no other way to get them right now. And so if I was going for a max theoretical completion, I would absolutely um, go for those. But yes, that's 50% right there. I'm going to go for a few more items to secure the 50%. And then, um, and then check the catalog. I'll do reset. I'll do a reset to check the catalog. I'll go to 9 a.m. And then I'll reset back to the time I started at, just to check the catalog to confirm everything is accurate, or if it's not, adjust it to make it accurate, and then make sure I'm still at 50%. Anyways, um, I was talking, so uh, I still got a few more things to dig up. I think that's it. Yep. Okay. I want to end the challenge with like 10 minutes to spare. That way I have time to, uh, I don't know. Oh, actually, you know what I should do before I end the challenge? Uh, I'm going to do two more island sessions. I'm going to get a perfect town. And then I will go for another shirt from a starting character. I already have my town map. Like, I already have my town layout ready to make a perfect town. Um, so I need... I think I need... Yeah, if I did the math right, I need 8. I need 11 fruit. That's all I need. Or 11 trees, actually. I could get 3 from a starting villager, but I don't really need to do that. So I'll get a perfect town layout... Or a perfect town. For fun. 
That way, if I ever extended this beyond two days, up to like two weeks, I'll get the golden axe immediately, or as, as quickly as possible. Anyways, we'll see how this island trip fares. I ended up not digging up one of the pieces of furniture. I've decided I'm going to save the 30,000 bells. If in case I extend this challenge into day two, so I have some bells to work with to potentially get more bells. Right. Wait, what did I just dig up? Oh, bookcase. Okay. Yo, Drewpag, thank you for the raid. I appreciate that. I hope you're doing well. How is your stream? Alright, all that furniture was pointless. That's fine. Thank you for the good luck. Thank you, thank you. So I'm at 50% completed, which means I have completed the challenge with 30 minutes to spare. I'm gonna try to I'm gonna do two more island sessions to see if I can get a few more new items. Is that new? No. Um, just to secure. That is new. Wow. Okay. I got another. I got. I secured one more gyroid at least. And uh, we'll do one more island session. I'll go for the perfect town layout. Try to get one more new shirt from a starting character. And I think that should do it. Or I could go for 100 gyroids. That'd be cool. Though I don't... I don't feel the need to. But... I'm close. I'm closer to 100 gyroids than I thought I was gonna get. So that's 705 items in the catalog. That's either 2 or 3 over 50%. But yeah, regardless, I'll do one more island trip, and then uh, I will call that enough for the islands. Bring back my shovel to make a perfect town. Yep. Do it. So right now, everyone, I'm playing on my Game Boy Advance off-screen. I have footage of it from the very first uh, part of this challenge, first stream of this challenge. But the Game Boy Player didn't exist until 2003, so I technically should not have been playing on the Game Boy Player, but I wanted to show off the footage of it for at least one session. So I decided that was fair enough. Last island trip. That'll give me like 15 to 20 minutes to do whatever else I want to do. Seven hundred five. Feeling pretty good. I actually managed to pull this off. I can't believe it. <laughs> One carpet away from 40, two away from 40 with wallpapers. 
three away from 100 with gyroids. Uh, let's see. Five umbrellas are still possible to get. I can still get like 20 clothes. Oh wait, no I can't. I can get like 15 clothes. I'm gonna go for one of them before the end of the challenge. And I can still get, there's still nine items in my common furniture list that I can get. Can't believe I didn't get any of them earlier. Two lottery items left. 15, 10 to 15 crazy red items left. Still plenty of stationery. I couldn't find a good strat for stationery. Still have like 30 to 40 uncommon furniture items I can get. Honestly, I got more than I thought I was going to. And obviously I could still get 30 whole gyroids. Anyways, let's see. Am I gonna get anything on this last trip? <laughs> Nook's portrait, cool. I might as well rebury all this stuff. Beach table, wave breaker. Nope, don't need any of that. Nope. And the gyroid. have it. Nice, a new gyroid. That's 98 gyroids and one more to dig up. Ninety-eight gyroids. That'll work for me. I could probably go for a hundred if I really wanted to. But I don't. I'm going to dig up my 30,000 bells. Take back my money. Keep my shovel with me. I do want to get a few more coconuts. Do I want to take anything else back with me? I don't think so. I think that's fine. Seven hundred and six. I'm gonna go for one more shirt. And I'll be that. I have absolutely no idea if you can use Quest 2 controllers in Dolphin VR. I think you can. Couldn't tell you how to do it though. I don't have a quest to. You gonna get a whale on the way back? I don't think so. Nope. Didn't get to see a whale. Right. All right, so I'm gonna go for a perfect town. I definitely have time to do that. Shouldn't take me more than five minutes. And then I will try to get a new shirt from a villager, a starting character. So one in four chance, I can check every two minutes.
Thank you. I appreciate that. All right. Two coconuts over here. Some nice, peaceful 5 a.m. music. I guess. All right. One tree here. One over here. One here. Hey, look, I found the golden spot. I never found that all day. Finally found it. over here. <laughs> that is funny. Two here. I don't need to pick up any more peaches. Three over here. No, not there. Sure. Uh, one here. And then finally, one over in this acre. And hopefully that's enough. We'll see though. All right, time to go check the wishing well, and then I will save and quit. And I will try like two times to get a new shirt from a starting villager, starting player character. Assuming this is a perfect town. Let's see if I see if I did. It. Yep, perfect town. Nice. Very cool. Oh, you know what I need to remember to do? Glad I remembered. I need to pick up a fossil off the ground, and I need to go dig up one more fossil in order to maximize uh, future f uh, fossil hunting. Just for fun, and I know there's one over here. Should have brought the shovel with me. There we go. That will give me museum paper at 6 a.m. in 14 minutes. All right, two attempts for one of the new shirts.
looking for a folk shirt or daisy shirt. What do you guys think? Do you, should I wait until 6 a.m.? Should I like actually see the clock roll over to 6 a.m.? Or say, or just call it a, uh, a challenge before 6 a.m.? What would you like to see? I kind of want to see it roll over to 6 a.m. if I'm being honest. But at the same time, I couldn't use reset strats to try to get better items on day two. But if that's something I need to do, then that kind of doesn't feel quite genuine. Let's see it roll over. I'll do it. I want to see it roll over as well. It'll con it'll conclude the challenge. If I ever do a day two challenge or a 48 hour challenge for this town, I'll just accept whatever you know has happened already, and it'll, uh, you know it is what it is. Maybe I'll allow, I'll allow Nook codes. Maybe I'll have a friend on day two, so I get the fishing rod or something. And a shovel. <laughs> it's not a bad idea. I'll think about it. But for now, let's see if I can get a folk shirt or daisy shirt. So we're looking for a pink or red uh, color on the shirt. That's a wavy tan shirt. Try again. I could try a few more times. I just want to make sure I'm playing my main player character when it rolls over. I w we want to actually see it roll over, right? I'll try two more times now. That should give me enough time. Yeah. I made friends playing Animal Crossing. Exactly. <laughs> One in four chance for a folk shirt or daisy shirt. I like that idea for a day two challenge. I can use player to player codes. Um, given to be my by friends. Which is actually realistic of how it, it would go down uh, on day two in Animal Crossing. It's actually somewhat realistic. It's not just somewhat realistic, it is realistic. All right, come on, red shirt. Red or pink? No, what is that? That's a sherbet gingham. All right, one more try. It's all right, the odds are one in four, so I'm not like too upset. Let's see what time it is. All right. Um, yeah, this is the last attempt. Cause it'll still take me four minutes to get through Nook in his dialogue. Last attempt. It's not the end of the world if it doesn't happen, but uh, it would be cool. Be cool to get one more shirt, folk shirt or daisy shirt. No. Oh, I, that's right. This is great. Okay, cool. So glad that dialogue exists.
Another Sherbet Gingham. Eh. I don't even like those eyes. Well, it was a good attempt. It's not the end of the world. One more try. I got time for one more try. Because this intro cutscene is faster than, um, uh, than if you start a brand new town. Speed run. Slow. Dang it. Oh wait, no. This is fine. This is perfect. I'm trying to get certain eyes. Oh yeah, and Jade's over there in the background. Good Jade. She's being adorable. She should just lie there all the time. Nope. Optical shirt. Well, it was a good attempt. If I do a day two challenge, I'll definitely be going for those items. Oh well. Jade will move in on day two. <laughs> Alright, we got five minutes till it rolls over. Ah, I can breathe easy now. Five minutes till 6 a.m. Tybalt's awake. Good morning, Tybalt. Tybalt gets up at 5.30 in the morning. Wait, my house is upgraded? Oh. Is it because I started at 5.55 a.m.? Is it going to roll over now? Uh, is it day two, according to Animal Crossing? We might not see a rollover now. Because so when it's five minutes until an event... Um, well, no, if it's five minutes until an event is over, the event's done. You can't go see it. Is that... Like something I didn't know. Can your house? Will your house upgrade five minutes before six a.m.? Uh, because a new day kind of counts as an event. Well, I don't know. Huh? Yeah, it's upgraded, all right. Interesting. I th it. Yeah, it should still roll over. And I don't have any letters in the mail. That might that must count as an event. Huh. Yeah. The the That's interesting. We learned something new. Because I should at 6 a.m. I should get a letter in the mail from the museum. Uh huh. Well, let's go shake trees. That sounds fun. Yeah, you're all always learning something new with this game. Where should I be when it turns 6 a.m.? Where should I stand? I don't want to shake trees in case I find a bee. Well, now I'm curious. Is there a new item in the police station five minutes before 6 a.m.? Nope. Yeah, I have a fossil in my inventory. And, um... 
So we'll see if this counts as... We'll see. We're gonna... We'll actually learn a few things, maybe. So that did not count for getting the letter from the museum. But upgrading the house must count as an event. Huh. Alright, we're just gonna see what happens. I've already completed the challenge. And uh, let me get this... Let me get this timer more accurate. 23-59-00. As soon as it turns 59... I want to get this timer, like, within, like, spot on. There we go. I think I'll go hang out by the wishing well. That sounds fun. Just to confirm, the town is still perfect. At 30 seconds left, I'll check. Everything is perfect. Awesome. Okay, 20 seconds remain now. We'll do a countdown. 15 seconds, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 6 a.m. I did it! Yay! They didn't roll over. We didn't get the message saying it's a brand new day. Because I started at 5.55 a.m. Well, rip. We could redo it. <laughs> There's nothing stopping us. Interesting. We learned something. I did not know that. Alright, let's see. Did I mess anything up? 355 pieces of furniture is correct. 38 wallpapers. 39 carpets. 113 clothes. 29 items. Oh, I actually have an extra umbrella. What is it? I assume it's an umbrella. Oh, I got a blue umbrella at some point. Yo! All right, how about stationary? Okay, I am accurate on stationary, accurate on gyroids, and KK slider songs. So actually, that's 707 items. Yes! I must have dug up a blue umbrella at some point randomly without even realizing it and didn't mark it. That's a good number to end on, 707 items. All right, that is the conclusion for the challenge. I will reset, and if I ever do a day two, I will uh, I will start up this town on day two at 6.01 a.m. And that is done. There we are, much better. I've completed the challenge. 707 items, 50% complete final standings here. That was fun. 